get the days right one day. Add this, yo. Thanks for the- hey! <coughs> hey Mario, thanks for the- <laughs> You know, that's a- I always call that a power- a power- uh, a power move when, uh, you- you like sub to the stream and then you hadn't followed yet, so that's a power move. Yo, what's up everyone? Wallen, hello. OG, Zerverus, yo, what's up man? Lin, FNG, Jason, Fubar, what's up guys? Trey, hello. I forgot- no, hey yo, don't- man, don't apologize, you know? You know the thing is, hey Abyss and Nick, the thing is like- I mean, follows are great. Like, don't get me wrong, they're great. But honestly, like, if you're here, and you're checking the stream out, and, like, you're here for, like, more than, like, a day, I mean, you're here. So it's like, you're paying attention, it's fine. I'm, you know, it's not a big deal. Um, my query mill's popping off. There's a lot of people here, yeah, for sure. There's a... There's there's a people here. Dude, I, I don't even... I don't even stand here anymore. Look at this, I don't even stand here anymore. <clears throat> With Onyx? Oh, you're with Onyx! I saw Onyx doing some party stuff. Hey, cool. I, I was I was lurking I was lurking in her stream. Uh, what's yes? No, was it yesterday? Or the day before? And she was in uh she was in Palace doing doing party. Oh, cool, cool, cool. Um, hey, Pixel. Hi right, guys, we're gonna continue with controller run. Also, uh, I do want to make a note. Uh, we have added a little layer of security to the stream, so I don't think it really affects a lot of you, but we do have uh, email verification on for the for the stream. I'm not gonna get into it. I don't want to get into it. But if anyone has a problem typing into the chat, that's why. So just a heads up for that one. Um, is there any way to stop infantry? Nope! Kill it before it kills you, or actually witching would be also a thing. Um, hey Wallen, congrats too, dude! Congrats on clearing DR Savage, my friend. Advance, hello, Night Monkey. After getting frustrated at, at, at the, I got inspired. <laughs> wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait. A minute. You got frustrated at at Mr. Asman, and you're like, "Fuck it, I'll go in." I I mean, I guess that's inspiration. I mean, you know, all right, all right, I'll take it. Hey, you did a really good job today, honestly. He um, he just died to just a really bad situation. That's all. Um, am I ready? Do I, oh, I didn't food up. Oh, right, let's go. You want your second slot available again? Yeah, I know the feels. Oh, I die, controller. So my keyboard layers, my keyboard uh, layout is out, it's open, because I can't find one for a controller. So basically I'm using it so that you see that I'm not pressing buttons. Also, if you've been here a lot, you would know that when I'm typically on controller, you'd hear a lot of clickety-clack. So, um, you're not hearing that. Yeah, I mean... The thing is, when it comes to Deep Dungeon Night Monkey, what, how you get better at this place, and this is something I always say, how you get better at this place is that you don't want to get surprised. If you don't get surprised, then you will fare better. And he got surprised, and he had to create he had to create a, a winning a winning scenario to handle the the surprise. But unfortunately, he just had not run into that before, you know. Um. It's it's really easy for the for the viewer to know what the answer is, but not when you're actually doing it. I can tell you that from experience. You have to just train yourself, to, like over and over, to know what to do. Especially on the spot, especially when you're trying to entertain, you know. So he did the best he can, he could on that day, but he'll get better easily. You're in four one sixty six now, and you're typing in my chat. Yo Diablo, what's up man? How you doing? Happy Sunday. 100%, like 3 quarters of my death have been seeing mods that I didn't know. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's, it's all it is. It, it's experience. I would bet you, Knight, if he was presented with exactly the same scenario, like on his next run, he will know what to do. The exact same scenario, by the way. Of course, that's very unlikely when it comes to Steve's dungeon, but yeah, it's fun. He learned. He knew what he knew. He basically knew, like, what he should have done. That's fun. He got better. Hey, Sarah. Did I kill it? Oh no. Uh, let's go here. Uh, Shatter and Sarah, thanks for the follows. Welcome in, guys. Thanks for the live tutorials. I did my first machine trying to die on 180. <laughs> I mean, dying to 180 is uh, it's great. It, I'm, I'm laughing more at the fact that you just got to 180. Like, yeah, you know, did my first run, got to 180. <laughs> it's like, fuck, dude. <laughs> God damn it. Uh, the tutorials are pretty good, aren't they? <laughs> Yo, what's up, Matt? Well, hi there. Well, hello there. Well, hello there! Yo, Matt, thanks for the 17 months of continued support, my friend. It is good to have you in this community. Two questions! 
Hold on. Oh fuck, hold on. I gotta deal I gotta deal with Paralyzed Boy one second. Okay. Uh does POTD have issues with losing connections? Not in itself. It is known to some players that some people do have problems. Uh, but that's really a case to case basis. It's not um it's not a server thing. Second question, if I use Pomander Raising in 99, I die then get raised. Yep, you will. Raising is your raising is your get out of free jail card. It's extremely important to have raising or to, to utilize it correctly, if that makes sense. Yo Z yo Zutsa, man. Wiped on the 100 boss on both of your files! Oh n oh you forgot about the bodies. Oh no. Oh uh, it's okay, you learn. Oh you learn twice, but you learn. It's fine. Whoops, but oh god, buttons are hard guys. What am I doing? Oh, I don't have the right target. Shit. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, welcome to me on controller, guys. I'm gonna hit. I'm gonna. I'm gonna skip six GCDs trying to hit displacement. Yeah. Welcome to me on controller. What the fuck? Hey, Carrie. Good after. No. Good morning. Nailed it. My pom pulmonary in it is wishing you good luck. <laughs> Yo, I appreciate that. Seeing on one. Too stressed about the last set. What on the last set? The fuck? Oh, were you were you speedrunning or something? On the idea, does it work on a floor timer too? On the floor timer? What do you mean the floor timer? Can you describe floor timer? Is it possible for alteration to turn treasure? Yep, absolutely, Komi. Absolutely. For score runners, it's actually something they want to do. <laughs> the time you have to finish the boss. The time you have to finish the boss. Oh no, it is not like Boja. Boja. So if anyone has done the Boja duels, uh, you would know that when you die mid duel, you can get back up and continue. The boss resets when you die. In in deep dungeon, the boss resets when you die. It does not. It does not continue the fight. It just resets. I mean, my pulmonary Indiana does look like a carbuncle. Really? So you have a literal carbuncle? Does it change color? Which one? Try to shame it before I had to out. Gotcha. Had three chest rooms on the end. Fuck. <laughs> <clears throat> That's not good. Oh my, dude, I- oh my god, this is so bad. Okay. Uh, this is switching. Only means- oh. Had me my Corrigan T- oh, you did! Well done, man. You learned twice, yeah, you learned twice. Oh, wow! See, that's good luck. That worked out nicely. Well- yeah, I mean, if you're fishing for for palm, palm, palms too. My clear on had Corrigan chest stream on, on 90 plus. I think one of my, uh, I I must have had a Corrigan chest room in one of my clears too. I can't remember. I know I've had it. I just can't remember if I got a clear on it. Poseno, thanks for the follow. Also, Storm Brewer, thanks for the follow earlier. I appreciate it. Appreciate it, guys. Um, I want that other chest. I really, I, I do feel like I'm a little unsure if my comfort on a controller is because this is like the second time I'm using it or because I didn't make edits to my keybinds. I do feel it's more towards the keybinds because some of my keybinds are a little bit better than last time. Um. Oh yes, that was the one for the tutorial I think, Matt. Was it? Oh no, was it my clear? It must have been my clear. It's insane how you make this content so relevant fresh. Googs? Um... I think... I think what it is more Googs, it's not so much that I'm injecting life into it. Well, I guess I am. But it's more like a lot of people still don't know this is something you can do. Well, they are now. But what I mean is this is new to people right now. You know what I mean? So, I guess on my end, I'm just presenting it in a way where it's it's current because, like, 
Like right now, a couple of the videos I put up on YouTube, I'm I'm actually making a conscious effort to put the patch the patch number that we're on. Like 5.3, 5.4. Because then it would give a little bit of perspective of like when the run was done, maybe there were changes to the job since then, etc. etc. But but that also gives me a slight excuse to maybe return to certain jobs if say something changes to said job, you know? Like Monk was one instance where I had to go back on Monk a couple times because they kept changing Monk, which I'm not going to complain about, but in essence that keeps it fresh too, right? Okay, well we have to go back on this job because it's not the same as it was before. So... Do you wait to 6.0? Fair. The only thing I, I always kind of push why you should probably go for Necromancer or Lone Hero now is only because we're going to have so many things to do in, in the expansion. And, I mean, you know, we're gonna have- and also, we're gonna have dead time. Like, there will be dead time in the expansion, like, don't get me wrong. You're gonna do everything you want to, and then you're gonna sit on your thumbs and hands, and you're like, okay, well, what can I do now? And that'll be the time when you can go back, for sure, but... Right now, that's that time, you know, depending on how much you've done in this game. Teammate, hello. Is my playlist available online? Not this one that you're listening to. The one you're listening to is, like, a mix of a lot of 14 tracks. And I didn't shove them together in the, uh, in the playlist. It'll take a while for me to do that, but I will eventually. I need things, so that's why I left this. Gotcha. You expect a lot of changes? Yeah, there's going to be some changes. I mean, I'm going to I'm gonna 100% investigate a con on my end. Like what 10,000%? You're gonna you're gonna see me trying to figure out all the little differences and nuances and whatnot. Uh, we're gonna be we're definitely going to be all over that. So that's nice. What did I spawn? Oh, I'm just going to Witching, because, uh, one, one, I have it, and we have a Wyvern. If I had three Spriggan, I would have been okay, but the Wyvern is the problem. Not to mention for the Imps. Dude, there's like- are there three Imps? Yeah, <laughs> three Imps, nice. Cool, thanks, game. Uh, oh, I cannot hit one, two, three. Uh, yo, Jeremy, thanks for that follow, I appreciate it. I went 1 to 3 again, holy crap, man. See, this is, by the way, this is where, like, the perspective of panicking is what's going to get me on controller. If I'm on my normal keyboard, I'm fine. But because we're on a, a play style that I'm just not used to, you're gonna start seeing me, like, literally have fumbling moments. Um... So it's gonna happen, but I have to be able to know what, what I need to do. Also, I need to kill that Wyvern now to get that thing, but... Why res? What do you mean res? My... Wait, why res? Which button does the thing? What thing? Uh, uh... Okay, here we go. I've been giving Machine as an honest try, I really like the job. Yeah, Machine is great. Machine is great. Wait, didn't I have a witching? Oh shit, it was on the other floor? Oh fuck, I didn't have a witching. I thought the witching was here, damn it. Oh. Yeah, yeah, I mean, you can see I'm just not hitting G cities. Are you talking about the raising? I use the raising. Oh! Yeah, I got it free on the chest, yep. Yeah, I got it free on the chest. I used it first, Vamp, because if I died, that's just priority. I, I, I wouldn't have used it. Yeah, yeah, I wouldn't have used it, Vamp, if it wasn't there. I wouldn't have done that. But I did it because it was free. Good song. Oh, I don't have abilities. Rip. Not that I use them anyway. Did you get to see... Did you get the service with Selena? I did! We got it last night. It was awesome. It was actually close. I think we were about to hit Enrage. Why did I get the Serby? Yeah. You'll never see it. <laughs> I'm kidding. You'll see it at some point. Um, well, I'll, I'll visit Primal on my on my car on my somewhere sometime. Um, but it's on Primal, so. Um, oh no, screenshot yet? I mean, I posted this screenshot on the. If you look at the screenshot in Discord, I posted it there. You know, I'm so happy. Uh, but I, I didn't I didn't screenshot it myself like on it. It's too big. You're gonna try. You're gonna. You'll try it next week. I may not be available next week. But I'm gonna keep going. I just don't- I'm not sure if I'll be available next week. I'll see. The mount? Dude, look, Matt, I don't actually really like the mount. <laughs> like, honest- like, honest truth, I don't really like the mount. <clears throat> it's big. 
I'm standing on a dog? I mean, you know. No, I really don't. Like, what's my favorite mount? Ozma. Sweetest Fish, thanks for that follow. Welcome in. Wait, Sweetest Fish has in... The one I keep seeing in Asmin's stream? So what do you think of Asmin's 4 in Deep Dungeon? I saw you in chat the other day, it was Flame Machinist. Pretty good. He got caught up, he got caught in a really tough situation. Honestly, you know what is- you know, this was honest. On the floor that he died on, it was gloom, and I saw Gravekeeper, so I'm like, hmm, you know what, if he's gonna die on this floor, it's gonna be to Gravekeeper. Because I don't think he experienced how hard a Gravekeeper hits him in gloom, and unfortunately that's actually how he died. Which really sucks, but also, I mean, he tried his best to figure out what the game plan was, but... I mean, essentially, like, look, he- to me... He looks very well trained on a majority of the harder enemies, as well as uh, the bosses. But it's the it's the in, it's the inner workings of home under management, and that is the one I think is probably what he needs to try to work on. But that's difficult because you just don't like you just don't like learn it. You have to run it and do it in like in the actual runs, you know. Like, you can visualize what you'll do, but unless you're presented with the situation, that's the only- that's the only time you'll actually be able to practice it, which makes it really hard. That makes sense. So... Wait, you are? Hello. <laughs> yeah, Ozma is the best. <clears throat> I love the experience and I have some alt too. Oh, you're gonna go with the alt? If only I could take my alt in, but I cannot. Starry, hello Starry, good to see you, my friend. Is doing 21 30 more efficient for Pasha? Yes! You know, Shok, I'm actually about to finish my Imperian Pasha video for YouTube. It's just about done. And pretty much what I say is 21 to 30. That, like, there's just no other way to do it. The only problem with Heaven on High is that you actually have to, prop like, go out, go out of your way and farm. That's the only crappy part about Heaven on High, in my, my opinion. Palace? Unless you're taking in a melee? You don't have to go out of your way to farm. Like, even a tank has to probably go out of its way to farm posture. That's how annoying it is. So... But, yeah, that's the only thing with Heaven on High. How are you today, Starry? How was your weekend? Time management later? Um... Yeah, that, I think I think time management... Matt will, will come down to also palm management. I am doing... actually today was pretty good. I'm a little... I didn't really get too good of a nap. I have, an, I have a headache that's like deciding if it wants to kick it, kick my ass, but I have something in case it kicks in. So we'll see how it goes. I, like, I'm not worried. If, I, if my headache kicks in, I'll just take something and it'll be fun. But it's kind of just been like, you know, like those headaches that like you kind of feel it and it's like teetering on like, does it want to activate or not? That's how I'd feel right now. So I, I have something in front of me that I can take if it kicks in, but right now I'm like, okay. Today's okay, school's almost done, school it has me anxious. Oh dear, okay. Well, you're awesome with the work, dude. You nail all this school work. Uh, okay, we did the- we, I did the thing. I did the thing, guys. Oof. Okay, uh, here. Oh, crap. Ooh, I can't see it. You went even on pot potions? Yep. Yeah. I have 2k potions to have a high leveling. Oh my god, Antonia. Can I borrow some? I need some, because I'm gonna do warrior. I'm planning on doing Warrior four days in a row. Bassy Red Mage still working on clearing the class! Oblivion, you make my heart happy to know that you're going Red Mage. What if I could? I know, I know. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me. I really should keep going, but yeah, it's it's a grind, a teammate. I know I know, I know what that feels like. It's a grind, you know? So what class have I cleared with? Otra? In Palace of the Dead, we've done Red Mage, Machinist, Summoner, Paladin, Gunbreaker, and all four melee. So I think it I think that counts up to nine. I think it, it should be nine, but that I think that counts up to nine. Oh, okay. Ooh. <laughs> I've done Red Mage, I think, like five or six times. But I've never done it on a controller, that's why we're doing it now. Oh, well, I'm trying to. <laughs> I'm trying really hard. <coughs> uh, Athlons. How's controller treating me in Deep Dungeon? Eh, oops. 
Um, it's better than last week. I will say it's better than last week, but I'm still in like the later and later we get into floors, I 100% assure you, I will just want to literally just put my controller down and just go right to keyboard. Like that's just how I'm gonna feel. But like if I can keep all of the shitty situations to a minimal, we should be okay. But if I get into a panic situation, I'm in I'm in big trouble because I fumble my buttons way too much. Did I? I did. Mm -hmm. What are my thoughts about it? He did great. Um, he was just presented in a situation that he couldn't practice for. He he seems very well versed in a lot of the enemies and the details and whatnot. So I think like 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 here's here's an example. Here's an example. If he were to climb without making a single mistake, both in time and in and in just aggroing something, like let's say he's able to. He's capable of literally pulling one at a time the entire run. He can very easily get to 180. How he does in 180 is just going to be questionable because I, I don't know how he's going to practice that. Not saying he can't, just implying that I don't know, like, what his process is for practicing a fight like that. You know, he could have a really good one. He's going to yell. I don't know. Like, I just don't know. So, so I don't know what the results are going to be. That's really the only thing that's going to be a problem. But, you know, he was presented with a what do you do with a really bad situation type of thing, and he was just, you know, unfortunately unable to find the right answer. There were like a handful of answers, but yeah, I understand that, uh, that, that lockup. It's just, it's hard. <laughs> you're thinking about, you know, you're thinking about what can I do to keep going, then you're thinking about, no, it's over, then you're remembering, oh, I just spent, you know, 10 hours on this run. I kind of don't want to lose. Yeah, it's just done is for this one, you don't- so basically for Red Mage, you don't have to burst, if, if that makes any any sense. You just, like, Verkir through it. You think it's sloppy? Um, I don't know. I, I think, uh, I think he's still, um, working out the kinks on the job, considering it's only, like, literally, like, his third day on the job, so it's really not bad at all. Um, I think, if anything, again, it's gonna be up to how he practices for one Ania. Like, I just don't know what that's gonna be. He doesn't- I mean, I don't use my skills. <laughs> I don't use my skills on a controller, so I can relate. Like, on a keyboard, I have everything, like, laid out, and we're kind of doing things in Cadence, but I know on a controller, like, you'll see me just not do Verse Stone and Verse Arrow, like, all the time. Actually, last week was terrible, too. So, I know the feel. I mean, it's just, it's just, he's, he's not comfortable yet, you know? He's still learning the class, so... <clears throat> yeah, the heat of the moment is ridiculous. Especially on stream and trying to communicate with chat at the same time. It's, it's, uh... It's, um... Matt, you got that one, right, Matt? It's, uh... <clears throat> it's not easy, man. I was about to go right to my mouse, but that's a baby one. Everything's smooth, then 30 seconds of hell. Yep. You die so fast in here, man. You die really fast in here. It's actually pretty incredible how fast you can die for how long you survive for. Hey, Oblivion! Thanks for the... Thanks for the... Thanks for the tier one, man! Appreciate it! Yo. I appreciate that, man. But for the end, not on uh, 147, I think? I believe 147. Yeah. Boop, 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 boop. Rage. <clears throat> uh, here we go. Yeah. Hell yeah, I am a tinia. Like, at this way, well, it's almost like positive we're getting one. Yeah, Jason, it took me about 10 minutes to get in. It took me like 10 minutes to get into the to the damn server. This will be my second one. Thanks, Matt. Appreciate it. This will be my second... This is my second one. We did our first one last week, so this is my second time on controller. This is... <coughs> this is, um... I have played on a full keyboard for 8 years on Final Fantasy XIV. This is like day 3 of controller. I've never touched a controller until last week. Oh no, don't worry about it, man. It was a baby one. If it was gonna be severe, I was gonna do it, but it was just a baby one, not a big deal. Astro, thanks for the follow. 
Hmm, something in my throat. Apologize. Left way, hello. So you require mail in each world. Yeah. I should have used Embolden, but now I'm lazy because I already committed my combo. Do you think I'm making clips? Do you think I'm making clips of each of the 150 boss? Do you think it would be nice to do it on my Twitch channel? Um, Twitch is weird. Like, I mean, Vamp, if, like, if you tell me that you're using Twitch more than YouTube, then I'll believe you. But I, I do put more effort on YouTube when it comes to clipping and seg and segmenting the runs. So a lot of, so I have like a lot of the bosses split up on YouTube. But I don't bother it on Twitch, because Twitch is weird. Like, I don't know. Like, I don't know how you guys feel. You guys can tell me. Like, I don't know if anyone uses Twitch to find VODs. Like, maybe the stream that you missed, but not like, you know, like, you're, if you're gonna look for a guide, you're probably not gonna use twi Twitch. Like, is that a correct assessment? Would you just go straight to YouTube? That's how I feel. Um, yeah, I mean, that's just how I feel. Like, I don't think it's gonna be worth my effort to do that on Twitch. Cause, cause that, cause right now that's that's essentially time that I would be sacrificing when I could just be working on YouTube. You know what I mean? Like it's not a it's not a bad idea, but then I could have I could just be doing it on YouTube instead. <laughs> so yeah, yeah, yeah. Like like I know like yeah. So yeah, like in general, you guys probably just like if you just want a guide for anything, you're probably looking at YouTube for it. Hey, ah, oh, Talladega Knight, thanks for gifting a sub to Pim. Appreciate that, yo. Thanks for that, man. Yeah. Yeah, so that's why I don't really put much effort on Twitch. I I'll highlight certain- like, essentially, I'll highlight certain things. Just because it's a lot easier to, to edit- like, it it's easier to edit on Twitch. Or rather, I can't edit on YouTube, unless I download the video and do it myself, which, by the way, is also annoying, because then I have to reconvert it. But I edit on Twitch, and then I just shove it into YouTube later. <clears throat> I'm gonna just ask me what I thought of them branching into enjoy try either try harder or stop <laughs> I don't know the search function is just trash. I don't know. Yo, what's up Haps? Yo, can we get a shout out for Mr. Happy who who is working on Oh no, I'm sorry. He's uh potter farming. Uh he's not doing necromancer. No no no, he's not doing necromancer. He's just in Palace of the Dead for a lot of floors. And I think he got up to 150 today. But he's just he's just he's just there for whatever. Like he's not really getting necromancer. Not 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 at all. Not even close. Six thirty. Six thirty is good. <clears throat> yeah, it's happy. Check him out. Ooh, double dip. Let's go. Oh, and you're gonna. Oh, and you're gonna get. Yeah, you're gonna have more than enough potions. Easy game. Thanks for all the info I put out. Just recently discon. Oh fuck. God damn disconnects, man. Dude, the disconnects have been pretty bad. Matt's been telling me that EU has been wild and crazy <clears throat> with the queue times and everything. Um, so hope, man. I hope, I hope, I hope everyone's gonna be okay with that. He's watching it. Hell yeah. Hey, Desi, what's up, man? I had to re-upload. Um, I had to re-upload my one to one twenty one for reasons. So. I hope I explicitly said that it's exactly the same video that was there before, just a different link now. <laughs> I had to re-upload it. Thank god raisings exist. Oh yeah. How do I bind walking? I don't. I, I, I use my analog stick for walking. The other option, by the way, for walking is to hold my circle button. I'm on a PS5. So to hold my circle button and then start walking, which will cause walking. However, I've been told that if I get hit while doing that, it will kick me out of walking. And there is going to be a situation later that I can't have that happen. So I will just manipulate my uh, analog stick for walking. <clears throat> oh, oh, did you keep it in the puddle or your steel went out? Forgot to reply steel. Hmm. I had to pull this. What I re upload it? Uh. Copyright. <laughs> my, uh. That was when I think I found out YouTube didn't like Xanarkin, so... But I never changed it. But then now I'm like, oh, I should change it now. So I did. 
I have to actually be a little bit more... I have to be a little bit more, um... Depending on what run we're doing, Matt, I have to be a little bit more conscious of the songs I'm picking to use. <laughs> hey Colin, what's up man? I like that emote, that means it's nice. I've been using my keyboard for 180 for walking. Yeah, I mean, people use the mouse for the Poemanders. Uh, but, I, but, but for me, Mo, I, it has to be authentic, right? I, I, like, I, like, if you want to use the controller or mouse, that, there's nothing wrong with that. But, but I have to know, like, I have to think that someone out there is literally full controller. So I need to represent them. Anything in between, that's that's your call, but, you know, I'm gonna represent them. Oh, ooh, okay. Hey, cool! Trying to summon white- is trying to summon white mage bad? No, it's fun. It's hard. It's a challenge. What did- how did Zeppla put it? A challenge upon a challenge? Hell mode on top of hell mode? But it's fun. I mean, I am semi-working on White Mage myself, and it's a lot of fun, so... This is the second time I've used Acceleration. What floors do you need to be on to start getting them out? 151 plus. Hey, look far. Pure controller gives confidence to exactly advanced arcs. That's that's just how I have to do it. Elo. Elohim, TTV. Thanks for follow-up. When are you going to represent Mouse with rotation clicks? Uh, 2025. I suck with keyboard. Yeah. You know? Uh, yeah, I know a lot of people have been asking for, like, if there's a Poeman- But, but, I don't know, for me, I'm fine with the Poeman. I just go here and I menu. But I'm used to that on the keyboard, so... Serious, thanks for the follow-up, Finn. Ah! God damn it. Oh my, the VR? You make me puke, man. <clears throat> what exactly does. Oh, and uh. D. D. Scorn? I don't know. I'm sorry. I don't, I'm not quite sure how to say your name, but thank you for that follow. Um, what exactly does Poemander Alteration do? It will change the next floor. So. So, Dirty Mike, like, you can see on the map, there's like separate rooms. Everything is, is like tiled out to a room. So, like, this is a room in front of me, you know? It will change one of those rooms to Mandy's, Mandragoras, Corrigan's, Pygmyoys, or it'll change into Mimics. So it's like a 50-50. Well, we think it's a 50-50, but some other people will tell you it's quite not quite a 50-50, but anyway. It'll be like a 50-50, whether it changes it in. So like, instead of these enemies being what they are, they just change into Corrigan's or Mimics. So it's a gamble, because if they're Corrigan's, they're one-shots. But if they're Mimics, they're quite annoying. Also, you have to kill them, probably. About... Can I ask questions? Oh yeah! No, no! Come on! It's Deep Dungeon. You're fine. If you got some heaven on high, I got you, dude. Am I going to boss? Hell yeah. Uh... Ooh! Perfect. Oh! No, go yet. When should alterations be used properly? Um... It's depending... Um... A lot of times, like... Okay, let's say you're a mach Let's say you're a ranged DPS or a tank. You can use them willy-nilly, because you're not really too concerned about... Um... Inter uh, pox and stuff. For a class like Red Mage, I'm a little bit concerned about Pox, so I may not decide to use Alterations this early. You probably will see me use it more uh, when we get up to like uh, the high 160s, 170s. Because there, there might be situations where I actually would prefer to have Mimics over anything else that spawns. I say no personally, Mario. I personally say no. Um, the reason being is because if you get Mimics, it could be really tragic unless you had a Rage. If you had a Rage in the pocket, I would say okay, but if you don't, then don't do it. Because you're probably sitting on a Resolution. And a Resolution is good, um, because that's going to help you on 189. But if you change any of those rooms to Mimics, your Resolution is useless. Not to mention if you get it, if you get it put up on top of an exit. I'd say no, personally. Doing it the first time, why the machine is on any bites? Oh, so I do have a video, Elohim, specifically for clearing on Gunbreaker. So if you want to find that on YouTube, it's there. My most recent one is about score, so that really would not be appropriate for, um... It would not be appropriate for, like, you know, your first time clear, but I do have a tutorial Gunbreaker one. Uh, specifically just for clearing, so you want to search for that one. Storm Brewer, thanks to the Prime Gaming, I appreciate it. 
Yo, thanks for the support, man. Appreciate that. What's better way to upgrade Aether Pool? Currently farming... <coughs> uh, I would keep... You can keep going for a little bit, but honestly, you can try soloing too. Uh, you can actually try soloing by that point. Starting... Yo, guys, by the way, Tuesday, speaking of Aether Pool armor. Tuesday, Thursday, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to do a... Probably a two-day stream where we're gonna talk about how to farm Aether Pool armor in Pals the Dead. I will nuke my crystal character uh, in terms of the arm and armor, and we will build my arm and armor on stream because I think that will be beneficial to people. Also, YouTube content. Wait, hold on. Yo, Tori! <gasps> what's up, friend? How are you? Yo, it's our good friend Diana Prince. Yo, if we can get a shout out for my buddy over there, she's a content creator and she's awesome. VTube, but oh, she's she's great. She's got such a nice personality. Hey, aww, I think you live by Gifties. Damn, you guys are nice. Oh my god. Yo, thanks for shouting out Diana Prince. What's up? You loving the controller? I'm trying, man. I'm trying my best. Yo, thanks for the five Gifties, dude. I appreciate that. Uh, oh, so. Yo, what's up, sir? I'm using the controller. Yeah, sir. I, uh, I lost, I lost the bet. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I didn't lose the bet. I'm doing it because, um, the reason I'm doing this is because there are people in the Deep Dungeon community who are in controller and some of them are getting a little demoralized because my runs are on, on keyboard and I don't feel like they're represented, so I'm trying to represent them. That's, that's all it is. You know, I'm gonna complain, controller's uncomfortable, I'm gonna look very uncomfortable, I'm gonna want to go to keyboard, but none of that really matters because... I just have to get this clear on the controller. That's all it that's all it comes down to. Whoops. Hold on. Okay, did I do that right? I did. Yo. Good in rotation. What's up, sir? How are you doing? Hell yeah. It's like people kept asking about it too. I'm like, let's just do it. I was lazy to bind to bind my controller. When I was trying to bind my controller, it took me like literally four hours. I took four hours trying to figure it out. Eventually I got it though. <coughs> Yeah, uh, I don't- I, I did it. I did it myself, Takato. A lot of people actually have been doing it themselves too in the community. So, absolutely. I think it's a wonderful idea. It- I mean, it's just up to how much time you're willing to spend on it, that's all. Doing well is suffering feast like always? Good. No, I'm kidding. <clears throat> Are we going rank 1 again, sir? Again? They are just comparing themselves to me and scaring themselves. There's no that's that's called no self confidence. Nah, that's not it. That's not it at all. <clears throat> that's not it at all, Chris. Um, does the run still count if you start at floor fifty? No, you have to start at floor one. Calm. Oh, how do I do this? Uh, where's the achievements? Duty? No, character. Yeah, achievements. Okay, so if you go to the achievements here, it will specifically indicate right here, first to 200. So if you ever had any doubts, like, is do I really have to start at 1? It You have to. And if you start at 51, you'll actually get a message on your scorecard saying this file is in, is ineligible to get the achievement. It'll it'll explicitly say it on, in the game. So on a, Tesla on a Tesla computer? Are you going to buy me one? Mm. Only red mage. <clears throat> Only red mage. Red mage is my most comfy job in deep dungeon. Um, so, only red mage. I think that'll be good enough. I mean, honestly, if people want to be seated on other jobs, maybe I'll consider it. Like, machinist, but... I'm just playing it since his last season. Fair. <clears throat> That's fair. <clears throat> um... Okay. Thanks, teammate. Okay, let's continue, guys. Time to go from piss-colored crystals to clear-colored pistols. Crystals. Me 12 Can you stop it? Like, yes, you can. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> you can do every. You can do. You can do ten floors a day if you want to. Calm. You can break in between. The biggest thing, I guess, the the misconception is that when you finish a set of ten, calm. You're put into a HUD area. Like I was in that that like HUD area, like in between floors. 
You are like you are theoretically in Palace of the Dead, but you are welcome to leave. You're welcome to log out. You're welcome to continue. Whatever you prefer. Um, that area is just like any other open world area. So it's a little bit. It's a little bit. I understand now. Like that, I think is what a lot of people think. It's like, well, I'm still in Palace of the Dead. I got to keep going, right? No, you're, you're fine. And also, when like you watch me do it, I always do it in chunks. But yeah. <clears throat> oh, you're dead. You can really, really. I did not know that. <clears throat> Evening derived. Hello. Does my controller have disconnect from my PC? No, I have it wired into my PC. I've never had a disconnect so far. Hey guys, thanks for level 2 high chain, I appreciate that. Enjoy your emotes if you got any. Thanks guys. You guys are too kind. Too 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 kind. Even even when it's um <clears throat> even when it's even when it's plugged in, I am rain. Like knock on wood, I have never had a disconnect um when I had it plugged into the PC. Interesting. Do you use a program? I am Rain, do you use like DS DS4 or something? Still, oh, I'll use them. I know it's popular to use a PS to do the that the DS4 program with PS4. Yeah, cuz I just mine is just plug and play. I I I don't have anything installed. Um so, I mean it could be the PC, I don't know. I just have never had a problem personally. <clears throat> I love the Extreme song so much. It's a great song. They did, yo, Soken did a wonderful job with Extreme in in this game. Really? That's so interesting to me. Cause I was playing PS4 controller for a while when I was doing Genshin for like a couple, for like a month or two. Never had a disconnect. Interesting. Bougie Pete, thanks to follow. Hey, thanks for those, thanks for those gifts, guys. I appreciate it. Gift, gift subs, I really appreciate it, man. <clears throat> yeah, I guess it might be your port. I'm, I don't know. I, I'm not too into that details. I just all I can tell you is that I've been pretty good. Um, See, so yeah, I'm not gonna use that alteration because I don't kind of want to deal with any mimics right now. If I was on tank or machinist, I would actually I wouldn't even hesitate. I'd just use it immediately. Cuz I wouldn't mind mimics too much cuz I can stop their crap, but on red mage and other jobs it becomes a little bit of a debate. So I'm deciding not to. A lot of times I'll use it if I am sitting on 3 purity and witching, but just literally right now I'm just not in the mood. Hey Bougie, finally. Hey, congratulations. Yo, lone hero Bougie Pete in the chat. Let's go. Yo, welcome to the cup, my friend. I'm glad you popped in. I'm glad you told me that. I love hearing those stories. What, what, uh, what did we do? Did we do Gunbreaker? Don't Mimic takes long. They do, Sarah, but... I mean, it's not that much longer. And since you can just handle them on Machinist, I just don't care. Like, it's just whatever, so... Oh, honestly, though, they're all, they are also a little bit more simplistic. You know, some some enemies are, have a little bit more complexity to them with their abilities, where Mimics just does infatuation and death trap. So some of the enemies are actually like Mimics sometimes are just going to be better because they're just simpler to deal with. Um, yo, is that a Darian? Oh fuck! Speaking of Mimics, hold on, hold on. I don't think I have. Uh, I will use a Witching here. Yo, what's up, Darian? Yo, right back at you, my buddy. Guys, shout out to Darian. She was she on Sundays before I stream. She does she does a carpool interview, and today she had Rin Kiragani. Um, and she will, dude. She she goes through, dude. She does like the full the full interview on whoever she's talking with, man. Like you will know their life story. You'll know like their bank account and their social security. It's amazing what she can get out of the person. Crazy. Hmm. And she's doing it while driving, it's great. It's it's so good. So you guys should check her out. And she's an amazing artist, 
And she's my leader at Team Drifter, it's all the more. That's why you need to check her out. If you haven't already. Sometimes you find me raiding her. Because <coughs> uh, she tends to go a little bit later than I do, so she's actually pretty good. Pretty good candidate for raids. As a silver chest looks. Thanks, Darian. Thanks for the seventh. Thanks, the dude. That's that's two Twitch babies. What the fuck? Eighteen months. Holy fuck, dude. <coughs> you hoping to get the, the behemoth? He will. He's got to be patient, man. He's gonna get there. Today just wasn't the day, but he'll get there. <coughs> do, do. Twitch babies? Yeah, 18 months, man. Just get the one in 90 bots? Same, dude. Hey, you guys, cause you, you, you guys really should give Asmin a little bit more credit. <laughs> he has a little, you guys, a little bit too hard on him, man. Like, it's really hard to stream this content, you know. And I think he, uh, I think he, he found that out really, yes, like today. You really should give him a little bit more credit. <laughs> He's doing awesome. <laughs> <coughs> I'm waiting for that armor to go. Yeah, he's he's doing awesome. <laughs> he's doing amazing for the prog that he's doing in like a week. So, like, I know you guys would want to see certain things, but you gotta give it some credit. Oh, Chad's really bad. Are you gonna? Okay, Chad's really bad. It's just all it is is just you know. It's just a different experience, that's all. Look, you, I think a lot of you guys might be spoiled when you see me do it. You have to remember I've been doing this for like five years. <laughs> He's now been, he, he has now done it on his mainstream for 30 minutes. So... <clears throat> there's, a, there's a massive difference between the two. What's a good job? Um, tank's not bad to learn. I always do kind of recommend business to take the job that you're comfortable with. But if you're kind of looking for a job to like really just like learn enemies and whatnot specifically, then tanks may be a good option there because they're durable. You know, you can survive some things if you start standing in AoEs and whatnot. The so tanks are not bad. Or the job that you prefer. You gonna have some trouble? Well, again, it depends how much how much uh, he's able to practice with it. I mean, I, I mean, it is gonna be very rare for someone to one shot it, to one shot Behemoth specifically. Um, it's not impossible. Yeah. So. Are you gonna have to ask him? If that's the case. Um, <clears throat> but again, my my from my perspective, RPG, it's just now I've just been doing this for so long. I'm just used to a lot of the details in here. But you're as someone who's new into it, there's a lot of very finer details that you don't actually experience until you've done it. Like I was joking before in Heaven on uh, more Heaven on High than Palace, but I was kind of joking that I should have made. A list, a list of enemies <clears throat> that are not streamer friendly, like specifically not streamer friendly. Like, do not look away from chat if you encounter this enemy, because there is a handful of them. And it's something where, like, that's specifically something a streamer would have to deal with, not really anyone else. You know, if you're doing it offline, then, you know, you're probably not getting distracted, but... There are enemies that you don't want to look away from, from the screen from as much as you want to, because you're just going to die. Is Lone Hero easier than Necromancer? Not necessarily. But I don't like Necromancer title, but Lone Hero is something I like... I think is cool for a soul player like me. I don't think they're necessarily easier or harder in the overall grand scheme of things. I mean, Necromancer could probably take you longer just because of all the floors. But it also doesn't necessarily mean a Lone Hero would take that much, like, that much shorter, if that makes sense. Yo, what's up, Luna? Yeah, the yeah the shop tea are bad. The jellyfish are bad. No, chimeras are on that list for me. 
I was looking, I was playing, I was fighting a, a, one of the blue tigers in Heaven on High. And I looked away, and I looked back, and I already, I ate the gaze. <laughs> I just ate the gaze to the face, I'm like, well, great. <clears throat> I've totally died to a Chimera looking at chat too. Also got to 184 in my third attempt. Nice. Had a palace of the run the other day where I timed out one second from- <gasps> Wait, in a party, Big? In a party or a solo? Don't tell me solo. How do you like Heaven on High? You need to complete Palace of the Dead up to 50, and then it'll be in the Ruby Sea. There's a quest, I don't know the name, like, it's something Heaven something. Um, and it's in the Ruby Sea. No solo. Holy fuck. Did you record it? <laughs> That's not cool. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that sounds about right. Knocking at Heaven's door, that sounds about right. You timed out right in front of the shrine, and you didn't get the clear. Oh my god, dude, I'm sorry. Is Samurai any good in Palace? Um, my moderator, Sky, will tell you it's the hardest job. And she's a melee master. Uh, when I took in Samurai, I one-shot it. How are the mobs on higher floors versus my comparison, Bougie? Well, <clears throat> there are enemies in Palace that are just stupid. Like, you just don't pull them because they're just gonna kill you. Heaven on High, there is no enemy where, like, if you pull it, you're instantly dead. Like, there are certain enemies that are make it a lot harder, but you're not just instantly dead. In, pa in, in Palace, there are enemies like that. But now, here's a comparison that I can give you, Bougie. The Mimics in 191 plus, in my opinion, are equivalent in terms of how bad they hit you to the Mimics in 71 plus Heaven on High. And you still have 20 more floors in Palace of Dead to deal with, so... They hit really, really freaking hard in, in, in Heaven on High. Um, but, again, you're not gonna have enemies that, that are just like, don't pull this because you'll die. Like, there are enemies we tell you not to pull, but you can still kind of deal with them. Yo, Epic Hacker, thanks for two months, man. Cheers, man. Hey, thanks, two for months. The, Let's go. thanks for the continued support over here. I appreciate it, man. A Gloom 199 Mimic? If it crits, I don't think it'll one-shot, though. No, it definitely won't one-shot. Actually, that's... I guarantee it won't one-shot, because I remember fighting a couple of them. That won't one-shot. What will one-shot you is a 91 plus Mimic in Gloom. That will one-shot you clean. If it crits. I fought a I fought a mimic in one in one ninety one plus. Yeah, about a about like two years. I actually rage quit trying to get my first necromancer clear. I legit rage quit. But also the thing is the the thing is during the time it was also when there were zero necromancers. So it was really hard for me to keep pushing a goal when I didn't know if it was possible or not. Does that make sense? And also I was I rededicated to PvP because I was doing really well in PvP. So I had to make a decision between pushing more palace for a goal I don't even know can be obtained and get like top 10 in PvP which I was really getting good on. So I had to make that decision. So I, I stopped for like a year and a half, Heaven on High came out, I did Heaven on High, and then I waited another like 6 months and then I, I finally went back into Palace of Dead and then I got the clear. Yeah, I I did use Meiji's guide uh, at the very end after Heaven on High. I used her guide for 191 plus because I had not been there for a very long time, so her guide was was kind of pretty helpful for me on the high floors. But yeah, there were no guides back then. Who got first? Usagi, Mimi, and JP, and then I believe Meiji was number two in the world. It was either her or Ali, but I'm pretty sure it's Meiji. Then Ali came in third. <coughs> oh no. How do I manage a floor with only Anzubird remaining? I would say Witchings or Strength Steel. Strength Steel, you can you could kind of get through an Anzu, but Witching can also help. Oh, it wasn't? You know what I would recommend then? You would pull an Anzu, fight it for a bit, don't open with a Witching. Fight it for a little bit after Windburn, like delay for like 10 seconds, and then Witching. Because then you're buying yourself like 
almost a whole minute before it starts to nuke you. Oh, uh, before it starts to belly flop you. Uh, I did not know where he was facing. <clears throat> Went back in time to give the guys. <laughs> Maybe. <clears throat> I had a treasure room full of mimics earlier in 126. As many would call that points. Oh, hi. Nope. Whenever you're witching something in Furnace, you reset the. You, you basically reset the enemy. So that means, like, imagine if you pull an Anzu. Like what's what's its what's its move order? You pull an Anzu, five seconds later it does wind burn, and then about a, like three seconds later it does um belly flop. So if you're witching it, and then it comes out of witching, it'll be just like how you pull it. Now an another example. Let's take a Mantega in Heaven on High. What does what does what does a Mantega do when you pull it? He he gap closes, right? He does the jumpy. If you're witching a Mantega, and he comes out of witching, his first move is just like how you pull it. He does the gap closer again. So, Witching resets the enemy uh, when you do it. Originally, that was not the case. It did not do that originally. They changed it when Heaven on High came out. Because originally, it was really bad because if you Witching like three worms, you had to kill them in time because they would open up with their enrage. But that is no longer the case because they reset. Thanks, Infernus. I appreciate it. So that is a kind of an important detail, you know? So like, for certain enemies, when you know that- like, for instance, for instance, when you pull a worm in Palace of the Dead, they enrage in 30 seconds. Let's say that you're not having enough damage to do that enrage, you would fight it for like 20 seconds, and then you'd Witching. Which buys you 20 seconds, 30 seconds, and another 30 seconds after that, because he won't get into enrage until he gets back into that rotation. So. Are and I would say in general, uh, crack, crack or yeah. Uh, the enemies are a little bit more lenient. Uh, also, you're probably sitting on three resolutions, which you haven't used the entire time. So that's at least one floor, if not two floors, that are that you don't have to worry about, and you don't have a boss, and you're emptying all your palms. Like you're still trying to, you're still trying to, uh, you're still trying to um, manage your palm. Uh, what do you call it? You're still trying to manage your palms to 181 plus, but... <clears throat> hey Chayla! I'll allow this one, Chris. I can see why Twitch said no, but I'll allow this one. Good morning, Chayla. Although, I'm a little concerned about... The... <laughs> Alright, well, I'll take it, one. If you are auto defy Yep! It fails to open if it's- Yes! Finn! I'm not sure when you started doing Deep Dungeon. But we used to have something called the jump trick. So what you would do is in 21 to 30 in Heaven on High, you anytime you saw a bronze chest, you can go to the chest, jump, and then try to open it midair. And if it if it gives you an error code, like if I jump and I try to open it, like you see it says unable unable to execute while jumping. If you did that on a chest that was a mimic, it would tell it would basically tell you that's a mimic. Otherwise, it would just put the item into your inventory. But they patched that in like 5.3, so you can't do it anymore. So the jump trick no longer exists. But that used to be a thing. Why do you have an... not the... This is the one that the game gives me. So the one that you have right now, which is what you get when your arm and arm is above 60 plus. That's the one you have in here. Swing your worms, how quick is their AoE? 30 seconds. 30 second enrage. Yeah. I don't actually think it was a direct, like, a fix for Deep Dungeon Finn. But it was more like they fixed something else somewhere else. This was during the patch Finn when they changed all of the dungeon gear that you get from dungeons. Like, I think originally you got some of the, um, 
the materials for like like uh, airships and stuff, and they changed that that it was all dungeon gear. And during that patch, they decided to fix it for some reason. Solo Tort, Mala, and Meme Snake. Thanks for those followers. I appreciate it. Yeah, like I don't think it was a direct like like cause and effect. It's just all of a sudden it just didn't work anymore. Was harder at one point. Uh, I don't remember that. Oh my god! Wait, let's see that fumble. That was a, that was top tier fumbling of my buttons. Strength. Okay, we'll use that later. I have a shield strength. Oh, Bane, hello. Oh my god, all of them? I'll do it for you, Luna, just for you. <clears throat> I actually finished farming all the PUTD weapons to use the transmog for my monk. Now it's time to clear. Holy shit, you actually finished all of them? There was a point in time where I was attempting to try to get a lot of them and then I gave up. I got like five or something. Good shit, though. But you know what sucks? Is that there's only one achievement for Heaven on High. Palace has the achievement for each individual job, but there's only one achievement for Heaven on High. That kind of pissed me off, honestly. Aww, oh, sorry to hear about Machinists. Hey, but it's not meant for everyone. You know, it's not meant for everyone. My daughter turned me on to- <laughs> Oh! Oh, hello! Well, nice to, nice to have you. Shout out to the daughter. How much harder is compared to Machinist? So the comparison of Red Mage and Machinist, okay. The advantage Red Mage has is gonna be on 180. And maybe, uh, actually really just 180. Um, also Red Mage is capable of actually clearing this place without sustaining potions. Let's put that out there first, okay. But your major advantage is 180, where Machinist 180 is very hard. And takes quite a lot of practice. Now... Outside of that, in my opinion, Machinist has more of the advantage because you can pull and fight things without steel Where in Red Mage, you would prefer to have steel on, or you need steel So Machinist has a major advantage on the enemies and the, and the floors Because you can manage things very very easily by kiting Where, where Red Mage just can't pull that off Selene! Hey Selene! It's going really well! Yo, can we get a shout out for Selene please? Yo, the, the, the master leader! of our DR Savage group yesterday where we got the clear. And she's also really, really fucking good at the game. Um, yo, what's up? How are you doing? Thanks for passing by. My mods are not here. Oh, there we go. Thanks, Matt. Appreciate it. I get that. Yo, guys, follow Selene. She's awesome. She's, she's one of my best friends on Twitch. Um, and she's a really good raider. She knows her shit. You know, if you, if you, if you like me, how I explain things, ask her questions about raid. And she's gonna answer them for you, so check her out. And the clip that that, that I keep firing out from my bot is from from her end, because you know we did a we did an awesome collab at one point with with it takes two, and her her perspective was way better. That's her right there. Here we go. Stylish. Spelling is hard. Fair. <laughs> hey, Mage wow. Gunner! It's been this long already? I can't believe it's been this long already. Yo, Mage Gunner, thanks for the eight months, man. We almost got Twitch Baby. What's up, dude? Buttons hard? Okay. Don't understand why wolves and. Uh, 170 plus our heart are scary in Mage's Giant. You say no to pull them as well. The dots not as bad as I accidentally pulled one. Uh, they murdered me. They actually, they do destroy me on Red Mage Infernus. If I don't have Steel on. They are horrible. Uh, but also there's another reason. It's because their, their Sanguine Bite heals themselves back. So, that, that again becomes like this, this, this debate about not so much can you kill it, it's more like would you rather just pull anything else? Because it's just going to be a longer fight than fighting an ape. If that makes sense? And it's mostly because they heal themselves, that's really it. 
Do I also have the title Reaper? I do, because I do do a lot of gathering. I would never use it though, but I do have the Reaper title, yeah. I, I, I remember taking a look at it, uh, like a couple weeks ago or something. Buttons are hurt. Uh, I'm gonna check. Steal again? Uh, let's pull this one. <coughs> Stop! Okay. It does a lot of words without a steal, maybe had steal on. Yeah, I mean, with steal, a wolf is not terrible, but again, it's still better to pull, like, literally anything else, in my opinion. Because it's just a longer fight. It's just in the same category as a soul flare who casts, uh, soul, uh, whatever, no, soul drain, which heals itself. That's why it's bad. Um, Ishin, thanks for the follow. Do you have guides for salmon? I don't have guides, but I have my clear attempts, Niz. I have cleared on both Sam and, and Paladin. But I didn't cater them to like a guide format. Um, but I do have clears on them. So if you ever want to, that is on YouTube. If you ever want to check out at least to see how it was done, whatnot, it's there. Matt, don't be spreading misinformation. Uh, let's go. So. Um, here. Uh, I think I aggro that one. Uh, I think I will aggro that one. Serenity. Oh, I don't. Just kidding. Oh, uh, but I gotta fight something here. He needs a con no. Dude, I'm struggling on a controller. I if you if you don't play in a controller, I don't think I would recommend it. Like if you if you are a controller like if you're a controller master, then that's fine. But I'm not. This is only my third time on a second time on a controller. I forgot to add the mimics, so okay, let's, let's do that. There's like two of them. Here, thank you for the guide, I'm now 161! Any changes that impacts... No, not that I recall. What job are you on, Ishin? What job are you on? Fucking mimic gave me a witch in. Here. Uh, because a witching, if I do a witching, I don't get pox. And I'm not too concerned about needing a witching, because I'm trying to be careful with traps. So it's my method of not getting pox. Because purities are limited, so I kind of exchange the two of them. I do like witching one play, I do a purity the other play, if that makes sense. <coughs> I died last week on 193 Selene, so I had to do it again. Yeah. Also, I made adjustments to my controller. Like, I... I I changed around some of the key bindings and whatnot to see if it would make it a little bit more comfortable. Um, but yeah, I died last time. Yeah, it was so bad. It was just, a, it was a bad run. Like, I, like, I was on 193 and I had like 20 minutes left. <laughs> it was kind of silly. But I mean, we got there, so okay. You're better, controller, you're, you're better than you on a controller, you've been playing a controller for like a year. I don't know about that. I think what what's showcasing is me being comfortable in Red Mage more than me being comfortable on on controller. Like there is a very specific reason I picked Red Mage instead of like Machinist. Machinist would be a mess. Like if I have to try to double weave, if I have to try to double weave doing whatever, like there is just no way that's gonna happen. Depending on how I make my my controller, you know. I figured with Red Mage, because I'm gonna be standing and casting. It would allow my brain to at least be able to think about what my next button press is gonna be. Does that make sense? So, how did I die in 193? Uh, I I cleared a path to the exit from the starting room. It was like five five rooms away, and I get to the exit, and it was a treasure room on top of the exit. So I had to kill everything on top of the exit, and then I pick up a rage like as I clear it, and I'm like, oh shit, it's a rage. So I use it, but I had two courses. The ones that do the gap closer. I pulled one, it dipped me to half HP, I pulled the other, and that killed me with a double hit. I mean, honestly, at that point, I, I was a little checked out because of the time, but I honestly didn't think I'd just die right there. Does Gear in Deep Dungeon does nothing in here. The only gear that matters is your armor. You can be in here naked, and it doesn't matter, so... Does that make sense? 
What we say is a win loss ratio on my past 10 attempts? Probably 50%. But to be fair, I've been doing different challenges with Red Mage. Like, we haven't just done a straight run. Like, one of them is a marathon, which I cleared. One of them was no sustaining. We're doing controller. You know, so there's a couple, like, challenges to it that we've been doing. So it's hard to make that assessment. There is a cap that exists for the tincture. I don't know what it is though. But some of the people in the community have, they know what they, there's actually a document somewhere. Uh, I just don't have access to, well, I don't have it off the top of my head. But there's a document that outlays your base stats and like what the ideal tincture to use and whatnot. It's not something I pay attention to because I don't really use tincture that much, but yeah. Say, so, Serapi. Hey, Fuck me. What's my fastest run? Uh, I don't really go for speed. But I can tell you I did a 1 to 100 Palace of the Dead speedrun. Literal speedrun, 1 to 100. We were trying to maybe get into like GDQ with it or something. And I did a 1 to 100 Palace of the Dead, I think on Dancer or Machinist. It took me 2 hours and 13 minutes. So that would be like my PB world record. <coughs> no clue, Infernus. I don't have the answer to that question. I wish I did. They're just saying it's insane. Yeah, it's pretty good. Would Tincture Strat for safer for 2 meters? In terms of the Tincture Strat, I think it's equal. I have never done the Tincture Strat, and the only reason I haven't done it is because I'm very comfortable with my current Strat. So I would prefer not to change, not to change my method if I'm not having a problem with it. But I know a lot of people do it, and a lot of people had success with it, so you know. I think it's fine. Does a new deep dungeon come out in Endwalker? No. If you're gonna see a new deep dungeon, it'll come out like next year. Uh, by about 6.35 is when you should expect a new deep dungeon, so it'll be a while. Hey Solo! Good night. Thanks for passing by. Thanks the thank the daughter for uh, pointing pointing you in this direction. And I'll catch you next time. Steel. Mm -hmm. That would be good to use. Yeah, I really hope so too. But not gonna lie, man. Abyss. Not gonna lie. With all the all the hype that has been around Deep Dungeon as of late in the past two weeks. I almost think it would be silly for, for, for a score next to not bring a deep dungeon, you know? Like, it would just be silly this way to not do it. So my confidence in seeing one is extremely high. The daughter? Yeah! Uh, Solo Tart. Solo Tart said he came to my stream because his daughter told him to check the stream. <laughs> I'm like, oh, thanks. <clears throat> it's kinda random. I thought Deep Dungeon was confirmed. Not, not a confirmation. If it was confirmed, I'd tell you. Um... Oh shit! That that's Papa Chael. Oh shit, dude. Oh, that's Papa Chael. Yo, what's up? <laughs> cool. Yo, does the does the dad does the does the does the dad play fourteen as well? Nice. Well, there you go. I have my answer. Do I pay much attention to NAEU hype? Do they pay? Um, I mean, I'm pretty sure they're paying attention to Asmin, so... <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I'm pretty sure they're paying attention to Asmin. Uh... Uh... Oh, I need... Fuck, I don't know the chest is, but it's over here. I can get it. And your grandma? Shit, family affair, let's go. She's got all her craft rooms and gathers to 80 and has a large house. <laughs> Damn, dude. <laughs> Grandma's money bags, holy shit. Oh, I almost died. And I'm like, YOLO! Oh man, steel though? I might shank steel for the boss because I'm a little unsure about the con- Um... Hmm... <clears throat> I have raising up, let's do it without steel.
This engine that goes to 99. I don't want to. I don't want to stream Deep Dungeon where I don't hit the goal for like three weeks. That seems a little excessive. Um. Oh, that's wrong button. Okay, didn't kind of messed that up a little. Bit. There we go. I gotta hit it then release. I gotta hit the thing, hit the button, then release it to do the, the thing. So it's like a releasing thing, that's how I can do it. Oh! I fumbled! Okay. Fumbled. <laughs> you make this look so smooth, but I always fuck it up. Yeah, so like, if you don't go 3-2-3-2, you better kill the adds. I fumbled at the very last of it, so that's why I got super spicy. That's without steel, that's why I get spicy. It is a joke. Why would food kill you in Behemoth? Alright. So imagine Ishin. Imagine you had a you had a thousand you had a thousand HP. Behemoth does eighty percent. So then when you do when meteor hits you, you get hit for eight hundred HP, right? Because that's eighty percent. If you take food out, let's say food brought you to one K. If you take food out, you get dropped to nine hundred. Eighty percent of nine hundred is less, you're not taking 80, 800 damage anymore, you're taking less than 800 damage. So by taking food, you're dropping your HP, therefore you're taking less damage from Meteor. And Sustaining Potion, Second Wind, they don't scale with your HP. They'll still heal the same amount whether you had 1000 HP or 10,000 HP. So you're effectively being able to heal yourself faster, not to mention you're dropping the amount of damage that you're actually taking from Meteor. But that's why you take it up. Yeah, I did no steal. You always steal. I was a little concerned, Fubar, but but I had raising up. So if I died, I was just gonna do it again. At this point, it would be hard to translate everything. So, oh. uh, we all hope for a new deep dungeon and Walker. Then we'll use we'll release a new Boja firmament. I think firmament went actually firmament went really well. I have no complaints about firmament. I don't do it, but um. So deep dungeons can firmament only as a maybe. Yeah. It, so it's Storm Brewer, based on what he said, it's like um, if things go okay with development stuff, like if there's no delays, if there's no new pandemic, we'll probably see one. That's basically as much of a confirmation as we have right now. But let me tell you, if like we go through like 6.1 and Ultimate gets delayed, I will be like, fuck, I think Deep Dungeon is pushed. Like that is going to be my first response. Does that make sense? So we'll see. I hope it, there's new Baosha, they give us cool armor like Eureka. You want it to glow? I want it to glow. I like a glow. I, I've always wanted I've always wanted a weapon where when I when I sheath when I like when I like bring out my weapon, people have to lower their graphics because it's too fucking bright. That's what I want. Also it has to be blue, which I still haven't been able to ever get. I have not been able to ever see a relic that's been blue for a job I actually play. Which is very upsetting to me. Putting funny accent lady to work. Angelus mimic bongo animate. Angelus pop. Angelus mimic bongo animate. Angelus pop. Yo, don't hurt her feelings. She's just got a unique accent. Yo, thanks for the thanks for the six months of DMP. I appreciate it. Uh for now, we'll see. We shall see. Isn't elemental talk for a bit? Um, is it? I have. I have it. I don't think it. I don't think it's a uh, blue. It changes colors though. You meant funny and affectionate way. Is that how you put it? Uh, Machinist Eureka is like rainbow color, but one of them is blue, so I'll take it. Oh, that's true. Yeah, that's true. Ooh. 
But that's not a blinding weapon. Also, I want a relic. I don't want... I mean, the Uwu weapon's fine. It's just... I'd like a relic. Like, I'd like a relic to work on that is, like... Blue. <laughs> Basically. I was gonna work on Gunbreaker and Ninja, but then I kinda just stopped, like, kinda stunt myself on, uh... On that process for a little bit. Watch for Reaper Claw. Right there. Oh! Okay. Oh, Pyros. Is that, uh, is that before Hydrados? Um, I don't think this one one-shots. Heaven on High will absolutely one-shot, but I'm not sure if this one one-shots. Would you use Steel as Machinist? Uh, Strength, but not Steel. I think on my recent run, I did no Steel on uh, 150, on one of my videos. Any, any, any. Save me, I got to Behemoth the first time yesterday, messed up rotation, died, but I had a racing, died to second meteor. Due to not having enough HP, my rotation was perfect. Did you have food on? <laughs> or did you miss a sustaining potion tick? Those are like the two things that could happen. You love Boja Relic, but the Yuriko is meh. I am Caster. I am a red mage. Well, now I'm a black mage. They've never been blue. And it's extremely disappointing. I'm extremely disappointed. You forgot- you forgot- wait, you forgot to put food on? Well then you should have had enough HP. Food is actually like what you want to take off. So then you'd have enough to- or you have, well, less HP to have the thing. So maybe you missed a sustaining tick? Okay, um, I hope your hands don't die at the end of the stream on a controller. <laughs> um, uh, we'll see, man. It, it has. I, I feel my hands from the controller. Uh, maybe I'm a little bit more conditioned because of last week. Um, we'll see. I'll see. Thank you for the concern. <laughs> but yeah, it's alright. I've been I've been on controller for a little bit too, you know. So I think my maybe my hands are a little bit more just overall conditioned for it. So I think it'll be okay. You had nine minutes left. It might have, ah uh, man. See, this is where like a lot of times I would like for people to like give me a vod or something because I can absolutely try to pinpoint what went wrong. At least give you like a solid explanation. So if you had one, you can send it over. But yeah, I'm I'm just trying to think of like different possibilities of what could happen. Hey, Hollow. Gotcha. Oh man. Could you explain how you missed the sustaining tick? Um, okay. There is one reason where you could potentially miss the tick, Buma, and it's mostly if you have to reapply the sustaining in between meteors. Because think of it this way, unless you actually get the sustaining potion the very moment it drops, then you're missing healing. So like let's say you're let's say the sustaining potion drops and you're mid GCD. Well you don't get it up as fast, which means you're losing healing. And if you need that heal, you're kind of fucked. That's where you can miss it. But you cannot miss the you cannot miss the reapplication of the sustaining potion. Building stamina Google <laughs> Yes. Yes. What's up, Count? Boy in France, you gotta sleep now. Rip. You could make it till the sun rises, dude. That's what most of the guys do. I don't understand why. I don't first on dancer. Oh no. Oh no. Fucking honor you, dude. Yeah. So like a lot of t like what I try to do now on on uh on sustaining potion usage, I try to use a sustaining potion one G city before the meteor drops, because then I don't have to worry about it for the second one. It was pretty sure. 
I'm pretty sure it's because I forgot to eat food, but it could have it been... Yeah, yeah, honestly, any day, any, any, when I first did Machinist, I was scared about food, so I, I just straight up didn't do, do it with food. So I know for sure that not having food would not have been the reason. Because I died one time because I had food on. Because I kept my food on, I just died. So... But again, like, you know, if you had, if you had like a VOD or something, I'd love to look it over, um, maybe you can pinpoint something. But yeah, that's just what I think it is from just my experience, um, but yeah. Okay, Ked. Good. Uh, nice. Oh, and Aoba. Oh, Aoba? Aoba. Aoba? Thanks for that follow for a while ago. Two minutes ago. Appreciate that. Uh, we'll just go. Might be a tick, I'll send you- Yes! Yes! I don't know, I don't record my gameplay, but either way- Okay, 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 yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely. If something happens again, let me know. Because Behemoth, if anything, any day, what is, aside from Behemoth being just fucking annoying and all that with the fight and everything, what is kind of nice is Behemoth is a set fight. So if something went wrong, more than likely it can be pinpointed. You know, like it isn't just a random thing, like some some occurrence that none of us ever experienced, if that makes sense. Um, so that's why, you know... Yeah, so. It doesn't record sound? Oh. I never used the GeForce experience. Your reassembled drill does 13k. I never got it that high. Does it chance unlock mob mob? I don't think so. I tried to him it twice, but even but even just second cold notice how nervous how much less nervous you were? Yeah. Well, the more you see him, the more you get a little bit more comfortable. The less you actually have to think about things, because you because you know what'll happen? Um, Xan, it's that initially you have so many things to worry about, and once you nail those little details, they start to become something you no longer worry about. Because you can think about something else, you get more comfortable. Yo, Annie, thanks for that follow, I appreciate it, man. Do I, do I play this on 4K? Uh, this is, uh, 2K. Something. Yep. It's like 2K-ish. I think. I don't know. My screen is my screen is like 2K. I don't have a I don't have a 4K monitor. Uh Mr. Throw Bjorn. Thank you for the follow, welcome in. On my first behemoth, my hand suddenly forgot how to press buttons. Uh yeah. Oop shit, that's what uh that's what uh sounds like what behemoth would do to you. We think it should be easier on Machinist. I... My stance on that foobar is that those strats are equal. You know, if you're comfortable with it, great. Maybe you're not, but in terms of its efficiency, I don't think you're gonna have a problem. It's just that you won't see me do it only because I'm not gonna change my strategy. I do! And I also play two hands on my controller. Shockingly enough. <laughs> I know that's what a lot of people say. Apparently, it's a uh, apparently it's a weird thing. I don't know why. Not weird to me. I've cleared in a 200 goo, but started soloing. I am not good with machines. Learn one. Play something comfortable. Best. Um. I would try. Give them a try. If you if you. Well, you said you're not good on it though. 
But you said warrior, white meets dancer. It was a tough job in Deep Dungeon though. Um, you can try ninja though. Honestly, you could try another tank. The tanks are not bad. Oh, I mean, Behemoth is bad. But like Paladin, Gunbreaker are not bad. Um, but but also, also, Ga, something to keep in mind. Are you not good on the job for PvE? Or are you not good on the job in here? Because in here, for solo, you may be playing the job very differently than you would in PvE. So you, you may actually create a liking for a job because you played solo, but you can still hate it in PvE. Did that make sense? That's possible. Shit. I knew the ghost was here too. Oh, buttons are hurt. What's up, lava button? You wanna play in white mage? Same. Oh, well. Hey, at least you only have you only have to restart at one. Got my Judy mount today. Hey, congrats! Did you do it solo? But if it works for you, let me. Okay, Chila's let's got you. No, not yet. Gotcha. Yep. On machinist, I would. On red mage. Well, I could, but I don't. Yes! A handful have. A lot of JP, I think, have. Um, but there's been, there's a there's a handful of um, people who have... Above Us is one who has gotten to 200 and timed out. Um, but yeah, there's been a handful. The only one, the only one try on white mage felt better than I thought would a size them. Yeah, a, a size is wonderful. It's what carries white mage. Yep. Yeah. That's one reason why my first choice for healer is always going to be white mage in deep dungeon, and then we venture off into the other ones, like Astro. I'm gonna potion here. Hello! Hey Jam. Got post AR requests. Loving Red Mage and thought of playing Dark Knight Samurai Bard. Sounds fun. Wondering if it's unusual to only play to only play like three jobs. Jam, here's what I'm gonna tell you, man. You play the game you want to- you play this game the way you want to, man. Who cares what other people think? Who cares what other people do? You enjoy this game the way you want to. Okay. Uh, ooh, that's fine. So yeah, is it weird? No. Like, not gonna lie, I've heard weirder things, you know? Like, ERP clubs. So, you're good. Is this the dual music? It is the dual music. Yeah, it was it was a little close. <laughs> it, was, it, was a, it was a little close, yeah. <laughs> yeah man, Jam, you do whatever the hell you want to do. Enjoy this game your way, and you'll you'll get the most out of it. Thank God for raising. Um Tap Steady! Hey, thanks for the five months, man. I appreciate it. Thanks for the continued support, my friend. What do you mean ERP's true gun game? Um I mean I'm not gonna I'm not gonna dispute it. I have witnessed one or two in my day. Just wanna know if there's any kind of disadvantage. Nah man! Nah! There are there are lots of people jam who are proficient in multiple jobs. You just dude, you just have it's just just have fun, man. That's it, just have fun. If so I would definitely say this, Jam. If someone were to tell you there is one way to play this game, slap them in the face. Just slap them in the face. 
because they're dumb. <laughs> the rare 180 waiting room ERP? You mean like on the bench? Well, there's that, the other bench, the one that's on 200. <laughs> Good, it should. Uh, did I have anything else here? Hold on. Oh, three. Um, raising intuition, safety, fortune, intuition. No. Okay. Yeah, exactly, man. You can actually chill there and see. I want my I uh, uh, lotion. I want my when you go into my F FC house and you go into my private room, it'll just load the deep the palace of the dead last floor. That's what I that's what I want. Is it possible to clear only using Jolt and Verera with, with... I mean, why would you? You'd have to give me a good reason why that's actually a thing. Oh, Lotion! No, man! It is hard. Lotion, it took me four times to kill Behemoth on, on Machinist. And that was already with experience that I had on, on like Red Mage and stuff. Took me four attempts on Machinist, I killed him on the fifth one. So, don't worry man, it takes a while. Jolt only challenge? I think it's, I mean, I don't know, I don't know what I'm gonna prove doing that though. I think doing it without sustaining potions was good enough for me. Oh no! Oh, you pushed them too far! Oh fuck, dude. That's okay, you'll find tune. Do I have full palms? I do. Wait. Oh, I don't need to. Okay, I don't need to really open anything. Oh, I don't have abilities. Yep, my first attempt was 195, but I did it again, Sarah, and we did clear. I had that up on YouTube. Mm -hmm. We did clear. It's actually broken up a little bit. I think I only took like the 191 plus area because my other my other video goes all the way up to there. So I'm like, well, it's a little redundant. I mean, I did it once already, but yeah, we cleared 191 plus without sustaining. It was great. We actually only had about a minute left on the clock, if I remember correctly, like one or two minutes on the clock when I hit the bench. So it was actually pretty tight. I remember also I was on 199. And we had to pull a bunch of Gubu to clear the exit, and one of the enemies I fought dropped the steel. Which I needed badly to fight, because I didn't have a rage, so I had to fight through things. And an enemy dropped the steel. Which was just enough for me to clear up. Extremely fortunate run. That is a pretty big flex, yep. Ah, oh, shit, I'm like behind me. My steel is down. I have raising though? Okay. That's not a good, uh, that was not a good aggro. I don't have abilities either. Even, honestly, me healing like this is still kind of uncomfortable because I'm, I know when I need to heal on a, on a keyboard, this is just like kind of weird in terms of the timing. I'm, I can't explain like what I'm saying, but I know when, when I'm on my normal playstyle, I have like this instinctual timing to do my heals and I just, it just doesn't exist on controller. It feels awkward me healing. Like I feel like I should know when my heals need to go off, but it's just awkward. Um, what job? What job are we doing, Asuna? Red Mage? I think you can get away with it, but you might be a little bit more- you might be too conscious on, um, on healing yourself, which might slow you down. But I think it's pop- it, it, oh, oh, first of all, yes, it's possible, but yeah, I just wanna take into consideration. Um, I don't change my hotbars though, 
So I'm actually just on one hotbar. So I only I rely on the R, the L, double double tap R2 and the R2 L2. I don't change hotbar. I actually kind of wanted to, but I can't cycle through a hotbar going forward and back. I can only cycle a hotbar going in one direction, which kind of irritates me. So I'd have to like go like this, which it's not comfortable. If I can do it in only one press, I'd like it, but I can't do it in two. Yep, on YouTube. Mm -hmm. It's up on YouTube. You can probably like search like no sustaining potion something something and it'll show up, but... The Asmin floor? That's not a good way to put it. It would be kind of funny, not gonna lie, it would be kind of funny, like, is it, isn't it a Dark Soul thing? Or actually it was a... it was a near thing also, right? Like when you're walking around the overworld, you see like the dead body of like, another player. That'd be actually pretty funny. Hey BivTech! Hey Lei, thanks for the two months of, of continued support. I appreciate it. Welcome back. Yo BivTech, doing pretty well, man. Thanks for asking, I hope you're having a... I'm, I'm like I'm like fending off a headache right now. I'm still debating if I want to take something, but it's like it's like sitting there, man. I feel it. But I'll be okay because I, I was planning to take something for the headache, so we'll just I'll just deal with it. Oh god. Why not both? Yeah, yeah. I I'm someone Bivtech who. Like my my arm needs to fall out of my socket before I try like before I'm like okay I guess I'll take a Tylenol like like that's that's me you know I'm super super like restrained on, on restrained on like using anything but I know that the night's gonna get more stressful and I have to probably use something chug water yeah I I've been kind of drinking a lot of water too it's just one of those days I just had a you know. I, I don't get frequent headaches, so you just get one of those days where they just show up for whatever reason. I, I failed a couple times on taking a nap today. Um, that didn't help, so... Uh, I guess we'll do it. but a scratch. Yeah, man. Gotta keep their effectiveness up. Yeah, I don't know. My sleep has been trash for a very long time. <laughs> I honestly am thinking about like taking something for sleeping because my sleep is just horrible, man. Anytime anyone tells me they slept for longer than like six hours, I'm like, wow, how does that feel like? <laughs> I don't know what I don't know what past uh I don't know what's past like four hours. Hold on. I always wake up like at some point. I mean like a lot of times I get back to sleep, like you know, I can get back to sleep, but it's just I don't know, my sleep is just in trash for a long time. Buttons are hard! Okay, I need to heal. Hold on. I think these ghouls are coming in at me. Okay, we're good now. That's a long message, Sean. Give me a sec. Anything less than 12 is a- dude, if I get a 12 hour nap, I'm probably gonna feel so damn good. I've never had that. I can't even- I, I don't think I've ever slept longer than like 10 hours, not including when I was sick or something. Alright, I think I can look at that message now. Off topic, what do you think of using Rezos on to clear patrols? Patrols are tricky because of their gap closer. It's not a bad idea though, but their gap closer is what makes it concerning. Like if they didn't do a goddamn gap closer, it wouldn't be a bad idea. But you're taking a lot of front-loaded damage. So... Oh, they get stunned? Hmm. I've debated on doing an opening rezo, Sean. Honestly, I don't think it's a bad idea. I don't really recall the raising the the resolution drop rates though. You probably will pick one up, maybe, but 
there's not there's nothing wrong with that. Yeah, yeah, there's nothing wrong with that at all. Um, it's not a strategy you probably see me do, but bear in mind, strategies are are up to the individual. You know, like if you think it's a good idea, then definitely give it a try. Hey, chaos, what's up, man? Yo, what's up, man? Yo, chaos, are we are we go are we diving back into deep dungeon at some point, man? How are we doing with life? I'm doing good, man. Do my thing. Burping some cumin out of my mouth. I think the problem I have most is mixing mobs. I forget which sound. Oh yeah, yeah. Well, keeping all of that straight is not an easy process, man. But that's experience as well. I was, you know, what was nice. Okay, I know you guys have been kind of, you know, I know a lot of us are a little irritated at at, at chat and, and and Mr. Asman's chat. But I will say, when he, he was asking people, like, hey, what is this aggro to? Like, they were at least correct on that one. <laughs> like, okay, please say the right one. Good. Thank you, chat. Because, man, that's actually really important to know, you know? So... I guess until you start getting... Well, they got the sound ones right, too. So... Besides my couple days online, got one two hours a day. It's such a day. yeah, it is. It is. It, it yeah, it is. So he does. He just he just genuinely likes it, man. Yo, well, when he when he looks into it, man, he's gonna be able to take his Dark Knight in. Or oh, Warrior. I mean, those two jobs are are totally game. You know, those are great jobs. I'm actually. Uh, really strongly debating on doing a week where I will just go warrior for four days in a row and I'm gonna see if I can clear consecutively. Like, I actually wanna do that. <laughs> I love you guys saying that term, necromancers. That's such a hilarious term to me. Like, what's really funny, if like you if you talk about percentages, right? There's what, like, what are we saying? Like 500, 500, 550? Uh, necromancers in the world. <laughs> and there's like, how many people in his chat is like less than, like literally on his chat it's less than like 1%, right? That should, that should kind of know what they're talking about. Yeah, necromancers, that's the term. It's pretty funny. How do I like controller? Eh. 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 But it's not about how I feel. I just have to do this challenge. Doesn't matter if I'm in pain. Doesn't matter if I'm hating life. That isn't the point. I have to do this because this is this is for the community. Did I save you? I did. Ooh, sure. Jack Crispy, thanks for following. So I mean you with what kind of keyboard is it? I have a uh, Razer Black Widow. Yeah, I Mario, I don't I am not someone who knows that stuff. Like, like, so here's, okay, I got a story, I got a story, I got a story, guys. A lot of you don't know, but I used to stream off of my laptop. I used to be a laptop gamer. Because, you know, I went to college, had a laptop, and I really liked the laptop, so I like laptop gaming. I was streaming on my laptop. Um, and I had always used um, the keyboard on a laptop. But what happened was I got frequent blue screens on my laptop. And what I eventually seemed to have figured out was I was pressing my keys a little too hard and so it triggered a blue screen on my laptop. So that was the very first time when I was like, I should just get a keyboard because like, I can't keep blue screening myself in Deep Dungeon, right? So I got a keyboard and when I went to get the keyboard, I basically was just like, oh, uh, I guess Razer's a good brand and this seems like a good one so I'll just get this one. That's, that's straight up what I did. I didn't even know what a mechanical keyboard was. I didn't understand what that term meant, so I'm I just don't know much. But I basically have kept to the same to the same keyboard for all this time, which was now like three or four years, because I just have liked the keyboard. Um, it's been good to me. It doesn't malfunction. It works perfectly. So, so. hey, cheese god, yeah, it's very nice of Zeppla to uh, to give me that shout out. Thank thank you for passing by for that one. Appreciate it. Are they, are they gonna fix the unlimited FPS bug? I'm still watching my. Uh, I don't know. That was a bug. So I don't know, Ethereal. 
If you have free time, check it out if you want. Okay, I'll take I'll take a look. But it's gonna be you know what's gonna be difficult for me though, Mario, is to commit on something that I can't try. Does that make sense? Like if I can't try it, I can't I don't wanna buy something. Aw. It's nice of you guys. You know, honestly, it's really nice of you guys to visit. Um, to see, you know, for 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 Zeppla, to, for Miss Zeppla to do that kind of thing. But then now to have some of you guys stick around, like that's really cool. I really appreciate that. Is there a deep dungeon subreddit? Not that I know of. If there is, that's news to me. A lot of the deep dungeon, honestly, a lot of the deep dungeon discussions happens either on stream or in my Discord. Um. It's been popping really, really a lot lately. Really? No, I guess that's a trap. Um, so I could use an. I could. Okay. Some of you guys, I remember when you got this high, you're like, "Oh, use an echo drop. Use an echo drop." Well, the problem with an echo drop, and I could Vercure, but the problem with an echo drop is that it puts my sustaining down to a one minute recast, where my sustaining is normally 15. So this high, I'm basically conditioned to not do that because I'd rather have my sustaining available to me. And granted I have strength and steel, but again, we're kind of playing a safer route, so that's why I don't use it. I have one, but I don't use it. Not this high. In the lower floors, yes, but not this high. Well on! Hey, hello! Do you think score is really difficult to beat? I would say that's an above average score. I wouldn't say it's that hard to beat, but if you know a handful of things when it comes to scoring, I think it's easily it, you can easily beat it. If you know a handful of the scoring system. Hey, yo, JCAT Gaming TV. Yo, can we get a shout out for our buddy JCAT Gaming TV, my teammate at Team True? I know, I know you were playing uh, Scarlet Nexus recently, and I, that game is awesome. I really like that game a lot. It was nice to see that you were liking that game too. It is... it's a lot of fun. I was kind of like happy with it. I mean, there are some things that like, you know, it wasn't, you know, I could I could say a couple things about it, but but the Sky, thank you so much. I appreciate it. Yo, guys, check out JCAT Gaming. They, they do a lot of variety. They do a lot of MMOs. Um, a lot of times you'll see two of them on the screen, uh, Jmart and, and, and Sassy the wife, and they are one of my favorite streams to watch, definitely. Um, such a, such a good synergy between them, and they've got a wonderful community over there, so... Yeah, it's very fluid. It's very fluid, it's very fast and responsive. I like that. I'm now only getting to 7 remake! Better late than ever. Congrats! Super forgiving with Tincture, nice slip. Congratulations. Yeah, Tincture's great, you know? Like I said, you're not gonna see me do it, but Tincture's a great strategy. There's, there's really nothing wrong with it. You know, except for ping, that, that's the only thing I would say, but... It is great. I, I mean, I would recommend I would recommend getting that game. I'm trying... I was trying to get uh, Platinum on it, but I got diverted for, to play um, the Pixel Remasters, and I haven't gotten back to it. But I wanted to Platinum that game. Do I really have to walk all the way back for enemies? Are you kidding me right now? What is Tincture Strap? So, if you've watched my video... I do, I guess the way that we've kind of dubbed it is the healing trap, where like on, on Machinist you die to the third meteor. When it comes to um, the Tincture trap, you basically don't use sustaining potions or any heals. You just burn it down and kill it by the second meteor. But Tincture allows you to have the extra damage to pull it off. So you don't have to weave this. Well, you could, you know, you don't have to weave second wind. You don't have to weave super potion. You don't have to weave sustaining potion. None of that comes into play with tincture shot. But it also does require you to do basically a perfect rotation. Like you can't mess something up because if you mess something up, you won't have enough damage. Um, Mayuria, thanks for the follow. Welcome in. It was good. I got deep. I kind of got annoyed by. Final Fantasy 2 though, so I wanted to go to Final Fantasy 3, but I got annoyed. If you have an easy time weaving with strategies, if you have an easy time weaving, easier. Again, it's a, it. I would say it's a, it's a, it's a. 
It's a dice roll, honestly, Tut. I mean, you could practice on a dummy too to see how it goes. If you can execute the rotation, no problem, probably go with Tinkster Chef. Um, but, like, on my end, I don't do it because I'm very comfortable with the healing shot. So I don't want to, like, reinvent the wheel, you know, if you know what I mean. I can consistently do the strategy I've been doing all this time. I've been kind of, like, paying attention, too, to, like, what the guys say, you know, what they, what they feel is a little bit better. I still think it's a bit of a 50-50, um, but, but yeah, so... Sky! Hey, wow, 16 months, man. I wonder if these are the times when it's safe to play on EU servers. Sag. Good luck on the run. Oh Red. man, I'm sorry about the EU Sky. Yeah, EU has been. Man, I, I hate that. That the EU has been kind of in a in a weird spot lately. So I feel bad. But thank you for the 16 months, my friend. It, it has been wonderful to meet you here, have you in the community, have you as a moderator. So I appreciate that. Lost two runs to service recently? I'm sorry, guys. It's so weird. It's so weird that EU is getting smacked around. Like, I, I don't even understand why. Hey, Bowen. I'm going pretty well. Thanks for asking. I, I think I'm going to be taking something for my headache. <laughs> I'm, like, feeling my head out. I'm like, yeah, I think I need to take something for this headache. It's not a big deal. Like, it's not a big deal. I, I, I already planned to probably take something. That's not a big deal. See, for me... Like, the other reason why I would take something for a headache is if I know I have more things to do. So like, if it's at night and I get the headache, typically I'm like, whatever, I'll just deal with it and sleep it off, but we still got a lot of work to do. What's wrong in the EU? It's been, it, it, it's been getting DDoSed, and um, right now the, the queues have been really long, some guys have been disconnecting, like, and, and I don't know, I don't know if they're doing like server maintenance or whatever, like on the spot, but it just has been really unstable for EU right now. I don't blame you, Sky. This reminds me, Sky, when you were on vacation. And, uh... You couldn't do much in Deep Dungeon on vacation, right? Because your, your connection was just, like, trash. Um... Okay, I'll pick. I'm, I'm sorry to hear, guys. It sucks. He's gonna main- well, I think we're all getting a maintenance tomorrow. Not just, uh, not just EU, all of us are. Early maintenance. I think it's, uh, 6 p.m. Pacific? 9 p.m. Eastern? Oh, this is the treasure room. Yo, give me a free steal. No? Free steal? Rage? Um, yeah, okay, why not? I might get another- I might get another chest here. Open this one. Okay. I think there's a patrol that might be. Well, I should be fine. Okay, we check this one. Flight. That's the patrol I was tracking. We'll get the reach here. You got a Tonberry? Well, isn't Tonberry a better server for you though, Carrie? There's an recommend to owner and she's saying that he's happy that Aspen Shining up here doesn't like all the net ruining the title's reputation by saying how easy it is on Yeah, but I can tell you that it isn't that it isn't that's not coming from the necromancers. It's coming from like the people who aren't, you know. Maybe at some point. I will do this without steel. I need to get comfortable with this like I can before. The patrol? Because I RP'd walk. <clears throat> so the patrol is sound. So if you walk past that patrol, it does an aggro. Mm -hmm. 
It's great. <laughs> it's great. It's awesome to see more people doing this. That's for sure. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. And 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 not only just doing it, enjoying it, right? Hey, anyone can do it, but enjoying it is the thing. Uh, buttons... Buttons... Okay. Oh, can you ask me that later? Ask me it again later. I didn't have a potion running. <clears throat> Damn it. Good. You really enjoying the challenge? Good! If anything, that's all that I care about, right? It like again, it, it it's great that a lot of people are checking it out now. We gotta have fun. So I hope you do have fun. Because it is fun. Just not a lot of people have been able to see the fun part of it quite yet. Well, not as much of it. Hmm. Nope. I think they're gathered. Okay, that's good. And Bolden is up. I got, a, I got a big cure here, because that's a lot of incoming damage. Well, Ninja is one job that I like a lot in here. I think I can kill it in this cycle, but I'm not sure. I need to heal. Imagine healing! We're fine. Not a concern. Okay. I, uh, that was one hit from dying. Just, uh, point that out. That was legit one hit from dying. Uh, you know, pushing the envelope just a little bit. Uh, here. Okay, good. I need another cycle. Oh! Whoops! Buttons are hard, okay.
Yeah, it's gonna die in the cycle. I have six seconds on steel shank though. Which means yeah, we should kill, we should kill. No problem. Good morning, Luna Bell! Oh, what is the question about the flight or something something? Was it answered? You said I did 160 boss of ninja. A lot of, um... A lot of kiting. A, a lot of intentional knockbacks. A lot of intentional knockbacks. Yo, shoutouts, by the way, to our buddy Luna Bell. Who, by the way, Luna Bell is working on her own run as well. Um, she's working on some deep dungeon runs as well. Uh, on ninja, I found you can open right Han and hide... Right after you reset the ninjutsu, right as the battle starts to get an extra right down. Do you think do you know if people already do this? I don't think I do it. Does Sky do it? Sky's this Sky, by the way, in chat is the master ninja. Would I survive Bloodbath with no steel? Yeah, that that was uh that mechanic for Bloodbath, Chris, doesn't doesn't rely on what the what the succubus is. It does nothing. So whether you kill the succubus or you keep her alive, this the damage to staff is the same. Any tips if you use flight, palm, and all... Wait. Ah! Oh. Strength steel, that's it. You gotta strength steel and hope for the best. Andrews are gonna blow you up, so you gotta strength steal for it. No other way. Uh, Mang, passion fruit. Thanks for the follow, welcome in. Okay, let me take a small break, guys. I'm gonna hit the restroom real fast. I'll also take something from my headache, and then we'll continue. I do appreciate you all being here. I hope you are having a wonderful night. Uh, hopefully we get pretty far today. Um, I'm feeling a lot more comfortable on controller right now. Um, I think when I was doing it last week, I steeled for all the all the bosses because I was just a little concerned about my ability to heal. But now it feels a little bit more comfy. So we'll see how, how today feels and all that stuff. Um, but anyway. They're... <sighs> Anzus, they're not impossible to solo. Now, without steel... You're probably dead. But the general idea is that you don't want to fight them because they are a long fight. They stun lock you. Stun is not even on diminishing returns. So like every every like 15 seconds they're stunning you. Which basically means the fight is just X amount of time longer than if you literally pulled anything else in the floor. Does that make sense? So we highly recommend you don't pull them. It isn't it it is really difficult in general. Some jobs will even die with steel on. But with that being said, it's not an impossible kill. You can kill it with help, but it's still a fight you would rather not have. Um, okay, so BRB, enjoy some background music. I shall be back. Thanks, guys.
Would you guys rather strength or steel? Rage. <clears throat> well... No, I would rather rage. Steels are almost more valuable to me. Especially moving forward. That's a tough call though. Those are tough situations, Lotion. You guys are actually, you know, these situations are very tough. I can understand why you're asking. It's a tough situation. I think I would probably, I honestly would probably rage. You know what I would try to do? I try to do a double rage. Unless you're on 179. Um, but I would try to double rage. Because if you can get two floors out of a rage, that's really, really good. Um, but it's like, I want the steel later. Because you have to use the steel for Behemoth. That, that's a problem, right? So you're already going in without a steal. So if you steal for an Anzu, you steal for Behemoth, you have one steal into, into 191, uh, 181. And you need that one steal for 190. So that's why I think I would actually use a Rage over, over a steal. Getting that clear tonight, Kid Goku? We're gonna try, man. I'm feeling a little bit more comfortable on... Uh... On the controller, so we'll see what happens. Alright, dudes, let's continue. Oh, Wilderness, by the way, thanks for that follow a while ago. Appreciate it. Alright. Wombo Combo! Hey, I like saying that, Wombo Combo. 94, thanks for that follow. You guys ready to see the pretty floors? Let's see the pretty sexy floors, huh? Da da da! With the perfect song. Do -do -do -do. Cleared 50 on my first run! This is where the fun begins. Quite. It it starts, but once you see Onryu, that's when the fun begins. When you see good old tentacle boys trying to tickle you. Do -do -do -do. Oh, you talk about me. This is where the fun begins. Well, that's also true. Ah. I know what I'm doing, I swear. I cannot wait to- I can't wait to hear what we're gonna get for Endwalker, guys. Uh, Endwalker music! Uh. Uh, I don't know, RC dude. That's a good question. I, I mean, I've just been stuck here, so it's like, uh, no clue. <laughs> I don't know what's broken in this game. Probably a lot of server stuff. I just don't know. Any an aggro? Nope. Alright, this is tricky because there could be a trap. Fortune. <laughs> yeah, with the uh, with the messed up microphone. Hey, Fluffy. Just have you on the big on the BG progress on the second file. Hell yeah, man. On the background. Let's go. Good luck. Wait. Man, I'm so happy I put Swift Cast on my L3. I'm actually using it. Like, dude, if, I think if I counted how many times I used an LB, uh, if I used Swift Cast on last week, I probably used it like five times the entire run. I'm so happy I moved that that Swift Cast uh, to L3 right now, because it's a it's a higher priority button that I use a lot, and I want to use it more. But if it's out of sight, it's out of mind for me. Do -do -do. There's a potential trap here, by the way, on this right side. Didn't trigger. Okay. 
110 as Red Mage going for Necromancer. Any tips? Don't die! Don't time out! You do those two things, you will never lose. Never lose. Easy game. Um, one thing I would recommend, Eddie, is that if you're finding yourself feeling challenged, right? Like you're on a floor and like, oh man, like this is getting real tricky. Really, really keep in the back of your mind raising Pomander. Like, once you're going for Necromancer clear, you're gonna be wanting to use a raising starting at 171. But, if man, it's like you've never seen higher than 120, really, really consider using your raisings. Yes, you might burn yourself out on the higher floor, it's like, oh my god, I don't have raising anymore. But the raisings might be the one thing that actually allows you to get that high. You know, and then and then essentially you're progging, so then that's okay. So that's one thing that I would maybe suggest to do. I think a lot of people do feel a little scared about their raising situation, and they hold on to it for a very long time, and then people die without even ever using it, you know? Which kind of feels bad, like it's just sitting there. I mean, you understand why they don't, I get it. But if you're progging, consider using it early so you can at least keep going, you know? Correct, you can die, you can die with raising on and it's okay. The best analogy I can give right now, uh, because it's it's it's, it's uh, present in the game, is if you've ever done any Boja content, DR Savage, DRS Savage, uh, duels especially. The duels especially is one that would be a good analogy. If you die in a duel, what happens? It doesn't end. You can just keep going because you had a re-raiser. I mean, re-raiser is a low percentage proc. That being said, you can still keep going if it procs. Same deal, deep dungeon. You have a raising, you use it, it procs. Well, it, it's not gonna, it's not gonna not proc. But if you, if it triggers, you can keep going. Dr. Dr. Savage. Dr. What did I say? Dr. Wait, hold on. Did I say Drs Savage? Nice. I'll take it. We'll do Drs Savage. Another rage. All right. Well. What is this? This is a strength? Okay. What is this? Didn't see it. Tuesday, guys, Tuesday. This coming Tuesday and Thursday, I will be focusing my stream literally on on building arm and armor. We're gonna do it like a two-day stream, because it probably will take me two days to level my arm and armor. I'm going to go on my crystal character. I am going to nuke my arm and armor on crystal and we are gonna build it on stream so this way we can have like a really good like hey this is how i did it maybe you can do it also kind of thing so look forward to them when i recommend using flights i like to use it in the middle floors 194 195 196 am i building it up solo i'm gonna build it up um I mean, solo is not not entirely true, but I will not have a I will not have a pre-made party, so I'm not gonna ask people in chat. We'll just kind of do it on like we'll we'll do it where it would be the typical person trying to build it on their own. So, what my idea right now is that I would um, do a whole bunch of match parties. Maybe I'm I'm gonna see if I can nuke my arm and armor so that I can bring it down to one one because it's gonna be really hard to do that. But I want to bring it down to one one. And then I'm gonna do, I wanna do 1 to one, one to 50 with a match party. And then we do 51 to 60 spam until a certain level, and then we solo from there on. That's how I wanna do it. And, and more or less, it's like that's kind of the process that I would do in general, but, but what I wanna get out of it is how long it'll take. Like, how long will it take me to get to 99.99? You know, like we can talk about, hey, yo, this is the fastest method. Hey, do it this way, do it that way. But there's no concept of time. I can't tell you how long it'll take. So that's one thing I want to do is I want to actually do it where, okay, it took me 10 hours to get this out, you know, to give people perspective on, okay, well, it'll take this long. You know? I don't know why that trap, this trap is like right here. That's just a little bit off that wall. What should I do with two Odin 7 Plus? 
The second Odin, treat it like a regular Magicite. Save the other one for 90. Unless for some reason your 71 is going to hell, you could use it for Fenrir, but things have to go really wrong for you to have to do that. Like, you would rather not. Like, you would, you would, you would definitely not want to do that. Did I check this chest? I wasted a lot of time on this floor. Just like, being indecisive. Alteration? No. I would say maybe the, the, the best superior way to do it is to take three friends and climb to 200. Like I think that's gonna be the most ideal way. It'll probably be faster than doing uh, 51 to 60 spam, I think. I don't know, but I think. Yo, Wombo Combo! Hey, thanks for the tier 1! There are so many new subs, guys. I, I'm so grateful for all of you. That you guys are dropping tier 1s in. It's really, really nice, and I, I'm so grateful for that. So thank you so much for that support, man. Really, really means a lot. I know we're being safe, but that ignored hurts my soul. Yeah, well, I'd rather not die. <laughs> so, yeah, if, if you're gonna get triggered by me not hitting intuitions, then gotta get used to it. Uh, steel. I'm gonna delay the use of that steel. What is that chest? Witching. Ooh, witching. Is that a silver? Nope, it is. But think of the mounts. Guys are helpful and I enjoy listening to the info while I do my own POTD runs. Nick Tab, I'm glad they're helpful, man. I'm glad they're helpful. That's all I can that's all I can ask for. That they are helping people out and you know, you're having some success, so glad to hear it. Another rage? Hey game, are you okay? Are you okay today? Is everything okay? Do we need to uh do we need to check something? Are you doing okay? Your videos are so full of info, nice chat, positive, super comfy, watch the lens of the setting my wife playing. Aw. I'm glad- I'm glad of the case. I've been told the- I've been told, um... We've been pretty chill in here, and I like chill. Chill's alright, man. Chill's- chill's good. It's not- it's not in my personality to be jumping on my chair and slamming my table. Which, by the way, nothing wrong with that. Not putting it- not saying anything wrong with that. It's just not me, you know? It's just not my personality. I just relax, just playing a game, man, and talk with you guys, you know? Having some fun. And then we have the- the addition of the, uh, wait. Oh, you guys didn't tell me the heart rate monitor isn't working. God damn it. I've had it on this whole time. Alright, hold on. God damn it! Try to weave with him. I mean, I am still in cold, but that's a different story altogether. Um, alright, let me see. I hit... Okay. I hit the button to change my music and it didn't do it. Give me a second. Wait, why didn't it... Let me see. I'm trying to do something, thing. I'll have to probably do this later. I'll do it in between floors, but I'll probably do it later. Switching. 
Actually, I could probably do it when my strength and steel goes down, so I'm not wasting my buff. You really pay attention to it, what I'm doing with what I'm doing right now. Oh, you're gonna try? Oh, you're on these floors. Got it. Just doing your work. Hope I'm not distracting you too much. Nope. The in deep dungeon, nothing scales. It is exactly the same as when you are by yourself. That's why this challenge is so awesome. Because you know you're walking in here that four people have a problem doing. How do you handle luring traps in the higher floors if they happen? If I were to do a luring trap here, I would witching. Probably twice. But it also depends on what spawns. Certain things can be a lot easier than other things. So an example. If I spawn three of those dolls that I just fought, they're like instant witching. If I spawn three Shabdi, I would just fight them straight up because I'm not concerned about Shabdi. Does that make sense? Halfway depends. Uh, I may also consider a witching into a rage once you get higher and higher because in a witching you're not killing them fast enough. So I would probably do uh, a witching, a witching, um, and then rage amount. Or the other potential play, hard jello, sack yourself. You would just take the death. You would die somewhere that isn't bad, and you just die with a raising up. That's also a play, you know. Instead of instead of you know wasting two witchings, a rage, a rage, and all this, and a steel and all that, like at least you use a raising. You know, that something gets used, but at least you use one thing, so that could be also a, a way to go. Um, I would That would be more of a last resort, not gonna lie, but totally a thing that I, 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 I could do. Oh! Wait a minute. Is it just not on? Hello? Thanks for the follow, by the way. Appreciate it. Maybe this wasn't on. Hey, it's treasure room. No, it wasn't showing. True, just don't hit him. So how do you deal with this treasure room, guys? Hmm. As intimidating as it looks, there's an easy way to do it. Kind of. So I will just do it, and see if you guys can think about what you would have done on this type of room. Fuck. Dude, I didn't- I didn't even do a goddamn... Witching every- witching everything? I mean, that's interesting. Alright. Witching reach for- <laughs> vote abandon? Just leave? Also not wrong. Trap palm rage. Rage and probably die? Damn, a lot of people will do their rage. It is blind. Hey, did you guys know that if you're blinded, your rage and your lust and your karibu, they won't miss. They're immune to blind. They don't give a shit about blind. You will not miss a rage. Oh, I should add a mimic. Whoops. Okay, so this works. My heart rate works. Um... Kill proximities, Nura? See, I like that train of thinking. So my plan here is we're gonna kill the proximities. Because I can more or less navigate around the other ones because they're all sight. Depends. But we're gonna try to clear a path. It looks like through the, the left side, actually. Because right now there's a, there's a proximity to the right side. Also, that is the exit, so actually cancel that. So I'm gonna have to, um, kill the proximity 
and work it this way. Now, since that's the exit, I just have to basically clear up what's near the exit. That's all I need to do. So it's not too bad. Uh, but yeah, it's not. It it looks intimidating at first, but you just kind of figure out what you need to kill, and you're alright. So I do want to kill the pot coming in here next, because he seems to be riding a little bit close to that. Uh, to, well, not really, actually. Never mind. He's not. Oh, we got a rage. Oh, uh, I'm gonna purity because of the rage. Pot. Good thing I checked the chest. Alright, let's go. I've gotten a rage every floor. The fuck? Got a rage like literally every floor. Okay, wait for that. So I guess actually, funny enough, the guys who said use a rage were actually right. But that was not my plan, my original plan. Uh, this way. Yeah, the correct answer was pick up a rage, yeah. Uh, losing steel. Chest over here. I think that's it. At least I can start getting chests here. Uh, Avery! Thanks for follow, welcome in. Can't do that. Um, also to Yoka earlier and old jokes earlier. Thanks for those follows, I appreciate those. Intuition. Should I get- no, I wanted to get to more chests. To see if I can get something good from the chests. It wasn't about the points on this one. Let me see about this, uh, my app. Okay, so it works. Reload. Hey, there. Okay, my thing works. Okay, there's my heart rate, guys. My heart rate is now here. Ah yes, I do have a heart rate. Another story, what is, what is the worst experience that you can remember POTD? <laughs> well, I wouldn't call this a worst experience. But the very, very... So so what is not no, known too much, guys, which it's not something I necessarily celebrate because it didn't really end well, but I was the first person to hit 190 in the world. But the problem was... If, any, if a lot of you guys are familiar with 190, I didn't know how to handle 190. So what was my strategy? I had steel on from the previous floor. I open with lust. <laughs> I'm like, I'll open with lust like every other boss. What could be the- what, what could go wrong? Yeah, well... <clears throat> it went wrong. And then I didn't have steel. So I was just like, well, guess I'll just see what happens when I fight the boss normally, and then I got obliterated in like two GCDs. So that was my first time experience on 190. A wonderful, lovely experience. Didn't even see the bomb, not saw nothing. Do I avoid imps whenever possible? Yes. I'd rather fight dolls, gargoyles. Tauruses than imps. However, I would fight an imp over a, a soul flare 100% of the time. Uh, Warlock. Pink Dank. Thanks for follow. Welcome in. Welcome back, teammate. Do -do -do. I'm gonna pull this one. Do -do -do -do. Would I use Alteration as Machinist? Yes, absolutely. As a Machinist arc weed, I would absolutely use an, an Alteration. Mm -hmm. Mimics do not scare me as a Machinist. They don't scare me as a Red Mage, but I don't want to deal with Pox, plus I already use a Purity. So I'm kind of down the Pox already. Does that party list change if you're on Machinists? No, I would never pull a Soul Flare, no. The problem with a Soul Flare, it's it's the same issue as fighting an Anzu. Same issue as fighting a, a Wolf. Because they have mechanics that make the fight longer, so Soul Flare has Soul Drain. A Wolf has Sanguine Bite which heals itself. The Anzu have Stun. 
they are extending the fight longer than literally pulling anything else. Even arguably, fuck, even arguably a Mimic, because they're healing themselves. So I would leave them last just because of that. Not because they have a chance to kill me, not necessarily, it's just because they're healing and they're jerks. Watch, that move heals, look at that, that heals for 4,000, dude. And I'm doing 4,000. It's like one GCD that it just takes away from me because of that heal. So... And then he'll do it probably twice or three times. Oh, yeah. Yeah, okay, and then you crit it. That's wonderful. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's great. Thanks, dude. Yeah, if you guys any need... Oh. Well, oh, let me just switching, actually. That's... that's why. This fight is longer than it needs to be. You know, it's... it's... A, it's like... it's... it's a debate on... You don't want to think of things as killable. It's more is it worth killing. So that thing is not worth killing. Why I choose the Taurus over Fly One? The Taurus are way easier. Um, they only do one AOE, and they just they kind of they, I feel like they hit weaker. The Gargoyles, I mean, they eventually have a they have a soft and rage. Oh. Actually, the big the big reason you take the gargoyles is, is exactly this, what they're doing. If I take them out, they're not doing that anymore. The Tauruses don't do that, so that's why. Oh! Wait a minute. That contradicts what I just said. No, the Tauruses are easier to fight. Um, yeah, the Tauruses are easier to fight. Just in general, they're easier to fight. I just contradicted what I just said. Nice. But usually, it's whenever I see a Taurus, I think on melee too, I just prefer them. That's a silver... Oh, wait. There's another chest here? Resolution, resolution. Okay, resolution. Uh, I'm gonna pull this one. Ever thought about making a tier list Google guide for enemies to prioritize every 10 levels? I feel like Meiji kind of has that in her guide, or does she not? But no, I've never considered it, no. I mean, there's not... I mean, you don't have very many to choose from each floor. You're basically only picking from like three or four. You know what I mean? So... Am I liking controller? Eh. I'm, I'm feeling a lot more comfortable. If anything, Branch, I'm feeling a lot more comfortable right now. I feel, I feel a little bit more mobile. I feel a little bit more, um, more flowy, which I, that's how I like to play Red Mage, a little bit more like, it flows a little bit more, it moves a little bit more. I, I changed around some of my keybinds from last week, which it really feels like it's aiding me right now, so... And it was Salt to Shark on Death. What better happen? Dark Matter Dragon. Because I want clips of it on my stream, okay? But what the fuck's this room? Um... No, it's flighted. It's flighted. It's flighted. We flighted this. I do not do anything because we flighted. I got a patrol coming in though. Lorander, and Pavi, and Doc. Thanks for those follows. Sorry if I'm missing them. I, I, I feel like I get into tangents. Oh, also I did, uh, I did modify my bot a little bit. Uh, my bot used to show the follows in chat, and I took that out. It's, um, I did it for reasons. For, for good reasons. Um, so it's actually, I'm not seeing follows as fast as I used to. I do not actually want to fight this. No. No. Serenities are extremely important, Arcweeds. So, losing DPS is not a factor, is not a huge factor for Machinists because you should be in the in the better, in, in, in the perfect world, or depending how fast you're navigating, you probably have bonus time to begin with. Unless you're chaining them together, then that's bad. But you should be pretty well off on time, especially on this floor, these sets of floors in particular. 
So under normal circumstances, you would keep the Serenity and just fight through it. But if it does start pulling away time, you may consider doing the Serenity, but it just depends on how much time you're kind of remaining. Oh, did I? Wait. Hold on. Whew. Yeah, I missed a couple other ones though, Lore. You're you're good. I missed like two other ones that showed up like before you, so. Oh absolutely. Oh, do I only use it? No, not necessarily. I may consider a safer sight if I want to rage. Hold on. I'm just realizing I'm not keeping my potion up. I need to I need to respect these enemies. It's not facing this way. Witching, which I can use. Guess I'm gonna use it now. I mentioned, <clears throat> we were talking about this a little bit earlier. <clears throat> Whenever you're witching something, and they come out of witching, they reset. So I wanted to delay the witching for a little bit until it started doing infatuation, so it buys me a couple seconds. Uh, although I don't think I'm going to not get Poxy, which kind of sucks, but that's what I wanted to do to buy a couple seconds here. To maybe be able to skip away from this, from this, uh, which, uh, you know, honestly... I'll do another one. Because I have the extra anyway. Okay, I need that witching. I didn't add it in the mimic either. Okay. Is that a patrol coming at me? God damn it, I gotta wait. Is machine is good solo having a high? Absolutely. Whatever machine is stable to pull off in palace, it can still it, it can still pull it off and have it on high. You just have you just don't have that you know as much running room as you do in palace, but it's very good. Move a little bit further. Shit, that might aggro. Yeah, damn it. Uh, it's either that or I wait for it to move again. Whew. There's a reason I didn't want to fight this, guys. There's a reason I didn't want to fight this. Yeah, I can't use Rage here. Priority. I'm gonna get Tank Bustered again. So like, to kind of follow up on that question earlier, right? This is taking a while for me to get through, but I did buy myself a lot of time. And afforded myself a lot of time because of the previous rooms. So because we're so ahead of time, I don't have to worry that my damage is so low. We can just deal with this. You know, like, take the extra time and put it in here, if that makes sense. That patrol is coming back. Oh, he's not coming this way. I'm out. Okay. Yeah. Glad to hear is good. Yeah, it is. It's not the preferred dock, y'all. So, I guess the best way I can put it, dock. Like, Gunbreaker is the favorite. Ooh. Gunbreaker is the favorite for Heaven on High. But it by no means suggests that because Machinist gets worse. Does that make sense? Like, like, like this was the argument with Red Mage, you know? People say, Red Mage, Red Mage, Red Mage. And then it's like, well, wait a minute, why is it Machinist? Why, why is Machinist good? Why isn't it Red Mage? And it's not, it isn't so much that Red Mage got worse. I mean, if, if, if a lot of you guys have been playing for a while with Red Mage, you would know that Red Mage has just literally progressively gotten like better and better and better by, by like little bits and pieces. It's never gotten worse. It's only that other jobs seem to be performing a little bit better. They seem to have a little bit more success, but it doesn't, it doesn't take away from the, from the other job at all. So. Uh, eight minutes. It's actually a pretty, it's a pretty hard eight minutes, generally speaking, because you will strength steal for the bosses. So, because, because you almost always will strength steal for the boss, you just have to get there with eight minutes. I mean, you can probably push it lower, and you can lust to push the time a little bit, but it's a little bit more set in, in, um, in Palace of Dead. Whereas in, um, in, uh, I can't get that chest. We're in, um, 
Heaven on High, it, the timer changes because you can get there with like 10, 20, and that might determine, uh, that might determine like how much you don't need to use to get through the boss, right? So if you get to a boss with like 15 minutes, well, maybe you don't have to use a strength, maybe you don't have to use a steel. But if you get there with like 5 minutes, well, now you have to strength, frailty, double frailty, you know what I mean? So you can make adjustments to the time in Heaven on High, whereas in Palace, you only have a lust. So you really can't go any faster on the boss, and you need to you need to almost always strength steal because they hit so hard. So it just becomes like kind of the set thing. Shit, hold on. Do I always strength steal in each boss? On Red Mage, I can get away with 180 without strength steal, but I won't do it here just because I'm still not that comfortable right now. Um, but I will not strength steal on 180 under normal circumstances. I will strength steal on 170, uh, 160, 170, uh, and 190. Absolutely. Machinist interrupt is really, really good. So, absolutely. Thanks for answering that uh, that question about 180 for tanks. I've never seen a Heaven on High run, what's the major difference between floors? Um, 70 cap is huge. Floors is also huge. The Poemanders are different. So all of the transformation Poemanders in Palace are no longer in Heaven on High and they are replaced by uh, Conceal, pet Petrification, and Frailty. You also have the introduction of Magicites. Magicites are additional Poemanders that can wipe a floor in one go. And you pick them up from Silver Chests which makes silver chests pretty pretty valuable in heaven on high whereas here in palace they're kind of in they're kind of not important i mean you can use them but they're not important uh the aggros are a little bit are a little bit nicer in in, in heaven on high with these debuffs um so yeah you get a little bit better of um kind of a way to navigate but the enemies hit way 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 harder in heaven on high um x than they would in palace way harder like you're gonna you're gonna like shit your pants at how hard they hit compared to, to compared to what Palace does. Like that's how, that's how hard they they get to you, and that's where more the difficulty in Heaven on High lies. It's more about the uh, the way the enemies hit you. Yep, Sarah, it does. It's like literally part of the game. So it's not like it 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 definitely it seems like. Uh, 151 plus in, in 151 to 160 in Palace of Dead and 51 to 16 Heaven on High that the debuffs are overtuned. Like they're just overtuned. Just so many times have we seen on a variety of runs and runners that the debuffs are just over the top. So if you feel like they're crazy, if you feel like they're insane, don't worry. That's what everyone felt, that's what everyone feels. <laughs> yes, yes, Kel. If you're coming, so if you're coming from Palace of the Dead into Heaven on High, I think it would be a little bit of a shock of how hard things hit. I think you will adjust pretty fast, though. Like I think adjustment will be fast. Like you'll you'll figure it out. A lot of a lot of the shit, hold on. A lot of the um, habits you form from Palace of the Dead will absolutely carry over into Heaven on High. You just have to make those slight adjustments to the different commanders and. Um, the way the enemies are hitting you. Hey Nami, got to E1+. Really enjoyed tanking you personally. Yeah, I, I personally like Dark Knight better than Gunbreaker, Nami. I really do. However, my success rate on Gunbreaker is better than Dark Knight. You know? So, it is what it is. But that's just, you know, I, I, I do enjoy Dark Knight better. I feel like I'm taking the same ratios of damage and periodicity with Red Mage on... Yeah, yeah, yeah. They just hit like a chuck, man. It's just super intimidating. It's so by a slight margin, Aru. I would consider Palace harder, but the only the only criteria why I consider Palace harder is just the fact that it's 200 floors, and you have Behemoth. And depending on the job, that alone is enough to really, really be spooky. Heaven on High does not have a boss where you're enraging. Like, you have to deal with an enrage. You know, and all the jobs can kind of get to the top, you know, without, not to say too hard, it's just, 
you know, you're not blocked by a singular entity, if that makes sense. I know there's a seal behind me, but I want to see if we get like a Mimic or something. Hmm, I'm gonna kill this. Wow, dude, so many patrols. I have so much time, I'm just gonna make sure that I can get to the boss with this striking seal that's in the pool from the ground. question. Um, it's Red Mage Machinist is tough because it really comes down to playstyle. I like both of them. Red Mage can arguably be a little bit better for Prog if you're if you're filtering just those two. You know, like I want to do Machinist or Red Mage, which of the two? Red Mage might give you better Prog because of the heals, but let me tell you, there is a reason Machinist has more clears, you know? There's a reason it has more clears than Red Mage, and Red Mage had a head start. So it really will come down to your playstyle. You may love Red Mage like I do, you may hate Red Mage like a number of people, you know? So just take that into consideration. But man, just toss it, you can honestly flip a coin and you'll be okay. I agree G Gunbreaker only went sour because I accidentally super volleyed. Oh, n oh no. Oh my god, you're the second person I heard has done that. Who super bowl lighted on that boss. Because it will kill you. What are the newest jobs? We are not going to see the newest jobs for a little bit. But the new ones coming in is Sage and Reaper. That's going to come in with Endwalker. So Sage and Reaper. Okay, I'm going to pick up the Strength Steel now. <coughs> hey, look. You progged, Nami. You've learned a lesson. You progged. What about the ladies who are those? Uh, the ones that came into Shadowbringer was Gunbreaker and Dancer. Gunbreaker and Dancer. Now I wish I had auto run. I'm silly. Okay, gotta bring it in game. Sage sounds cool. Hell yeah. Oh shit, hold on. I thought there was a patrol here. No, 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 no risk, no risk, don't be dumb. Okay. Dude. Otacon, and JX, thanks for those follows, by the way. And Kea, thanks for the follow. Am I doing, I am doing, okay, the order of events for me when Endwalker releases. We open, we open the patch, we download the patch, we get into the game, I go unlock Reaper, and I go straight to Heaven on High. It is going to be Reaper Heaven on High, Sage Heaven on High, um, Reaper Pals the Dead, Sage Pals the Dead, until all of them are clear. And then uh, we will proceed and do other things. Hey Shadow, hope all is well. All is pretty well. I have a little bit of a headache, but you know, I'm dealing with it. Yep! I pick Reaper Heaven on High for World first, because let me tell you, someone's going to do Sage, someone's going to go into Palace, you know what I mean? I, I can only pick one for a good chance, and my 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 choice is Reaper Heaven on High. I've had a lot of success in melee and, and Heaven on High. That's one reason I want to go Heaven on High. Uh, this is going to be a little bit tricky. The reason why this is tricky is because I opened with a steal from the previous floor, and it may not last long enough. Yeah, hell yeah. What's up, Lone? Thanks for the follow. One sixty. I think that was actually stupid of me to do. Thanks for that follow, I appreciate it. You timed out at 160, understand how much HP the boss had, enter the boss. Oh no! Fuck. Yeah, this boss is a little meaty. I mean, 8 minutes I think is still doable, but you might have to help and get some help for it. Oh my god, buttons are hard, guys. Sorry. Shit. So, uh, this is me panicking. Okay, cool. Okay, we're fine now. Every time I try to hit it like a certain button, I just forget.
Yeah, this boss output is intense. You really, really have to make sure that you're okay and paying attention. Especially you don't want to get caught with- you don't want to get caught in that bleed for even one tick. So I'm going deeper for- yep. Absolutely, that's what I said. That is the first thing I'll be doing. Hopefully Deep Dungeon is not broken. I mean, it could be broken, so... but I'll find out the day of, you know? Hoping it's not, uh, broken. The controller life? Is that really the controller life? I mean, am I just experiencing what everyone else experienced, Raven, or is that just me being, like, not used to the same, you know? What's my favorite melee DPS for POTD? Ninja, hands down. Ninja hands down, Monk personally, for me, as, as second place, but Ninja hands down. Chances are really good, Wayland, especially with the hype that the dungeon has gotten, like, as of the past two weeks, you know? Like, I think it's really good chance, simply because there's so many people, like, giving a shot, looking into it. It's almost like something, like, they can't ignore, but it's good content, everyone's having fun, right? Create content that people are gonna have fun with, that's all you ask for. POTD was Heaven Sword. I didn't actually read what Waylon said, but POTD was Heaven Sword, and Heaven on High was uh, uh, Stormblood. I will tell you when Shadowbringers release, and then assuming that we get a release just as smooth as Shadowbringers, I was a okay in Deep Dungeon. Because I went straight into Deep Dungeon once the game released, and I had no problems. But that's pending on if the game is going to be as smooth as it was, and it's a little- I'm not gonna lie, it's a little concerning because of, uh, how many people we have into this game, you know? It's, it's like a good problem, kind of, but we'll see what happens. Hey, what's up, Sebi? I might miss some chat, I apologize. That's why it's a little bit hard. How are you doing...? I, um... I was doing a little bit of a mix of double files on my end. Sometimes I did a double file, sometimes I didn't, so it kind of depended on my mood, but yeah. A little bit of double file stuff. I'm sorry to hear, by the way. Yeah, I know, I mean, hopefully you got a good lesson out of it though, Sebi, you know what I mean? Like, that's all you can ask for is that you got a good lesson out of it. What's the fastest class to solo? That's hard to say because you don't really go necessarily for speed, Skarky. Like speed would be a thing when like say we have people who who, who are able to um, like literally push this limit and always clear. So at some point you're just not gonna want to care about speed because you need to care about just getting through the floor. So it's, that's always such a hard question because I don't really think you ever focus speed in here per se. And, and it wouldn't really be like determinant on the job that you're playing. So. Looks like I can get this with him to steal. Watch my Gunbreaker video on Twitch at the same time? Hell yeah. Well, that's a lot of me on the screen. Am I streaming and answering chat? Uh, this is a recorded uh, version of me. So my gameplay is actually not live, and I'm just answering chat at this rate. Do, do, do. Oh, I was not the button I want to use. <laughs> How do I do it? The magic of TV. All right, cool, we did it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I've been waiting for a queue in PvP for seventy-five minutes or something. Telling me not to pop. But it might pop in 76, Ethereal. Did you ever think about that, man? You've only been there for 75. It might pop in 76. Come on, man. <laughs> the chat interaction is scripted. <laughs> uh... Okay. If, if I was a game designer, the human would be spamming me for 6 seconds. Uh, you know what horrible idea I had, Chris Brown? You know what horrible idea I had? 
Uh, you would you would you would fight a savage behemoth who would do ecliptic meteor every twenty five percent, and you'd have to push him down like ten percent before he stops. So you'd have to have a burst every twenty five. You'd have to line up your burst every twenty five. <clears throat> That's how Behemoth worked in 14? In 11? Was it? I actually don't remember. That would be how I'd do it though. <laughs> Alright. Uh, let's use the Fuda. Using the control to hit play. Wait, using the control to hit play? What do you mean? Did I update it? I did. No, I didn't update the title. Whoops. I had one job with my keyboard and I didn't update the title. Rip. Oh, the recording. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Why does Behemoth casting... Why does Behemoth casting throwing meteors onto himself? Where else, he, where else is he gonna put it? The arena is only so small. <clears throat> I got a file parked at 161 on Red Mage and Skr to go in. Well, I'm on 161, man. Let's go. Let's go at the same time. Let's go. <laughs> X. Um, silver, silver, silver. And a patrol. You're RPing my chat? Alright. You're glad the controllers are getting love? Hey, you know, it's something that people are asking for. Gotta, gotta do what the people ask for sometimes. And then, you know, of course you have the, the other thing of like, oh, it's an excuse for me to have content. Like, you know, I get to have more content. God forbid I, I have more content. Buttons are hard? Okay, nailed it. Do I want to deal with this patrol or not? The answer is no. Uh, Pomander list, I know some people have brought that up. I don't think it's possible. The only reason is like, even thinking about Heaven on High, like I don't think you get past Heaven on High without using Pomander. It doesn't matter what the job is. You need help. I'll pull the patrol. Against my- oh, oh yeah. Uh, okay, we're gonna deal with the patrols. <laughs> Uh, yeah, we're gonna deal with the controls. Mm -hmm. I need another one right now. I need another one so I can keep my slow DR. The Condor. I've been studying my Black Mage player video and never apply. It's helped me talk a lot. I'm constantly rubber banding between thinking it's fascinating trying to balance between my and triple thing. Wondering why I was clicking it bump myself. Do you escape on Enko? I think pull a death. Oh my god. So your connection sucks and you're still doing Black Mage? Holy shit, dude. Now that's hardcore. Check back in four years. Maybe we can do Pomander lists when uh when when uh, Endwalker comes in, you know? Maybe they break deep dungeons so hard we can actually go without Pomanders, who knows? You never know. How long did it take you? This is day three, uh Bulamon of me on a controller. I started on a controller last week on Friday. And then we did it last week on Sunday. I got to 193 and Pals of Dead. Then we are actually day four. So Friday, two days ago, was my was my third time in a controller, climbing up from one to one one uh, one to one twenty one, and then this is day four where we're on one sixty one right now. So I wouldn't necessarily say that I'm comfortable or or used to a controller. Like I still feel very awkward on this right now, but at the very least we're getting through content. So this is day four.
How long does it take to craft all 4k potions? No, I... No, uh, Heaven on High. Stem. Heaven on High, when you kill enemies past 31 plus, you will get super potions from the drops. So if you're familiar with, uh, Heaven... If you're familiar with Palace of Dead, usually when I kill something, you get a max potion from killing it. In Heaven on High, it's, it's a super potion that you get when you kill things. Well, on the higher floors. So all of my super potions are actually from drops from uh, from those floors. I did not craft any of it. They are just literally drop rates. So like if you see, if you look at my max potions, I have eight thousand and thirty-seven max potions because they are all from drops. I just happen to have four thousand super potions because uh, that's from heaven behind. Yeah, they're actually pretty good money too. Like I could sell it on the market, but for pretty for for a lot for a pretty penny. Oblivion, I always I do put Palace a little bit on the edge because of 200 floors and Behemoth over Heaven on High. But really, they're different difficulties. Like they're just it's hard to compare because they're just different. You know, they're not really comparing apples to apples. They're just different. They're just different in difficulty, different in what they give. You know, so it's really hard to give a a true assessment or a true answer to that question. Is hard to get sustaining potion palace can um technically yes. So so the thing is, Bulo, I, I do have a video, you can do exclamation point potchard. I do go through an explanation on YouTube about how to best get um best get potchards in palace. And in palace it takes a little bit more work to get to a part where you start farming potchards. However, you typically don't actually have to go back in and like re-farm it. Like you, you, the only concern you'll have is your initial stock. Like if you're if you're starting fresh into deep dungeon, you have to concern yourself about getting those initial potters. But thereafter, and especially depending on the job you pick, you probably don't even have to worry about like refarming or whatever. Because as you climb, you're gonna get enough to keep going. Whereas heaven on high, it's different. Where you can farm enough to do a clear. However, you probably have to go back in and refarm. Like that's extremely common for like almost all the jobs, even tanks. I'm actually getting a video ready, which might be ready tomorrow or Tuesday, that will I'll talk about the postures in, in Heaven on High specifically. But that's basically the gist of it. It's that um It's it's easier in Heaven on High, but it's probably more grindy in Heaven on High. In the in the long run. You know, like like I personally prefer the way Palace is with the potsherds because I do get really annoyed that I have to go out of my way to get potsherds in Heaven on High. Like that annoys me. But it's a necessary thing because I, there's no other way for me to do it. I can't rely on a climb to get me back potsherds. Like it just doesn't happen. Whereas Palace of Dead, I can take in like a tank, I can take in Red Mage, I can take in even Machinist, and I could almost reliably like get them back eventually. Here's, here's a solid example. Here's a solid example from personal experience. I did Monk for like 15 attempts because we're, I was trying to clear Monk um, on uh, in, in Palace of Dead. And I dropped my potsherds to like two. Like literally two potsherds. And then I decided to go tank because I'm like, okay, well, I need to make some potsherds back so I made tank. I built my potsherds all the way up to 130 from just spamming tank over and over in Palace of Dead, just doing tank runs. I got it back up to like 130 something. And right now since the, since I did Black Mage, a little bit of White Mage on a Red Mage, I'm back to 19. So I've been fluctuating my postures like constantly in Palace, but I can semi-control it where I'm not necessarily going out of my way to re-farm them. I'm just adjusting the job I take and trying other jobs and whatnot. Heaven on High, it almost doesn't matter what I use. I will have to eventually just start farming them again. Like for instance, if I'm planning to do Reaper in Heaven on High, I actually need to farm some to make sure I have enough so I don't have to go back in and farm, because I know I'm going to use a lot. Yeah, unless you're Dark Knight. <laughs> <laughs> Jam! Hey, soon, man. <clears throat> a lot of detail. Oh, it's a pin. Good uh, good afternoon, my friend. How's the item used on the controller? I use um, Muramasa. I'm on a PS5 controller. So I will use my touchpad. Which brings me to the UI here, and then I menu through it on the D-pad. Which is basically like, just how I do it on a keyboard. So for me, it's no problem. I'm, I'm, it's, it's like, I'm back at home, you know? No different for me. Um, and, I, and I manage it very quickly. I know there's people on a mouse, uh, I'm sorry, people on a controller who have their mouse ready and they just use the mouse. 
I think maybe there's a way to also get the mouse out using your touchpad. I think there's a fe- I didn't just do that. There's a feature, I think, that you can pull the mouse out. Um, so, did I lag? No! Oh, I'm sorry, Amy. Oh, crap. I have, a PT I have a PhD in Deep Dungeon. I've just been here for a long time, that's all. That's all it. Like, I would almost think if someone else had been in this content for literally four plus years, like, straight, you'd probably possess the same amount of knowledge, you know? That's all it is. I just, I just have time over you guys. L1, R3. Uh oh, there's a patrol. Oh, uh, hmm. Oh, I don't want to pull the patrols because there's not a lot of patrols. Studying my degree in controllers? Yeah, I'll get my certificate once we clear. Is there a benefit for using alteration as solo? There are going to be situations, yeah, yeah, where mimics might actually be easier than some of the other enemies. Um, you'll see this more so in for something like a machinist and a tank. That'll definitely be a thing. Um, for red mage, it's kind of a little bit of an iffy situation when I when I decide to use them. Um, like, I actually might use the alteration now. So so actually, because I got this Mimic, this changes my thought process about doing an alteration. Why? Because I already have Pox on. So if I use an alteration and we get Mimics on the next floor, I don't care because I still have Pox on. Like, I kind of don't want to have Pox, period. But now that we have it on, it's like, whatever. You know what I mean? I could risk the idea of getting Mimics, or I can get uh, the Mandy's and we're better. Um, actually, let's go, let's work. So, also, because of how big these rooms are, yeah, yeah, there is a potential chance that you can get the mimics just dead center. And if they're dead center, they don't aggro. So they show up, but they don't become a problem. So that's why up here, specifically, alterations, I will probably use it more times than not. Whereas on the lower floor is not really because you, if you spawn mimics, you have to kill them if they're anywhere. If they do come out with another deep dungeon, what job would I prioritize? Red Mage. 100% Red Mage. Red Mage was how I got Lone Hero, it's how I got it's how I got Necromancer. It is my most comfortable job amongst all the jobs available. And unless they fundamentally destroy Red Mage, where like let's say Red Mage no longer has dual casting, I'm still on Red Mage. If if Red Mage doesn't have dual casting, which I know is impossible, that sounds impossible, but you know, just to just to push my point across. If Red Mage is not fundamental anymore with dual casting, I will consider a different job. Probably Warrior. Or Dark Knight. But as long as Red Mage is basically the same as it is now, it's Red Mage 100%. This is the job that I am most, most comfortable with. I will. I, uh, what I would like to do is I would death- I would just take the week off. And just go, like... Like week one prog hardcore, you know, week one clear prog kind of kind of deal. Like we're just gonna go, no schedule. It's just when I'm feeling okay and awake, we're just going live and just grinding out floors. That's how I want to do it, you know. I've never done that before. I mean, I've never raided. I've never had to do that situation. I didn't do that for the last deep dungeon because <laughs> who was soloing last deep dungeon? Like ten of us. Uh, but yeah, I totally want to do that um, when it comes around. Massive, massive hardcore on, onto the deep dungeon. Competition is going to be so amazing, Merlasa. And the biggest thing I'm going to be excited about, what job is everyone going to pick? Because it no longer is... Okay, Red Mage. Like, no. I would, I would say Red Mage is in the minority, you know? What are we all going to pick? Warrior? Dark Knight? Gunbreaker? You know? Ninja? Machinist. See, I, I, you know, I would not be surprised if someone goes Machinist, 
But in my opinion, machinist is a job that will benefit off of knowledge. I would not want to prog a machinist, you know? I think machinists might suffer on prog. You're going in with no information. We don't have information. So it's like, you know, as mach like I would think machinists would be really good eventually, but not for prog. That's my opinion. I just don't think it's going to be good for prog. Black Mage? Black Mage might be one of those jobs that benefit off of prog. You know, when you know the, how this play, when you know how Deep Dungeon works and everything. Okay, Black Mage. Um, so, um, so yeah, Black Mage. But. Hey, yo, Black Bard. Thanks for, that, thanks for that raid, man. We can get a shout out for our buddies that, that were kind enough to say hello to our side. I would greatly appreciate it. What's up, man? How is your stream? Welcome in, Raiders. Angel's Demon is here. Doing some Deep Dungeon. Um, I am doing it on a controller. Uh, and I don't typically play on a controller. This is literally my fourth day on a controller. Um, so we're trying to figure this one out, but, uh... You wanna do this so bad? Hey man, we still got- we still got two weeks. Uh, I'm sorry, two weeks. You still got like two and a half months, man. So, you know, no time like the present. This is good, chilling, doing Gunbreaker leveling. We'll try Palace again. Hell yeah, man. Hey, and if you do, keep me posted, let me know. I love to hear the stories. I love to hear when people hop on in here and do their thing, so... Definitely keep me posted. Hey, thanks for the follow, I appreciate that, man. Welcome in. Welcome in, guys. Thanks for being here. Um, today we are going all the way up. So if I were to wipe, that's the end of the stream. Or if I were to keep going, we're gonna go for the clear. So if you got, you know, maybe about... You know, three more hours to spare. Um... And to relax and stuff. Then I got you for like for that, because that's how long we'll probably take today. All the way down. I do I yeah, it's always awkward for me to stay on, it's not gonna work. Okay. I got mimics, I saw mimics here a while ago. So they're not in my- wait, something just spawned? No. Do you have a guideline for the amount of time required for boss? Uh, I don't have it down on paper, Jar Jar. I kept track of that in my head, but I personally don't have that information. You can probably check a VOD to see the circumstances and something. Like, anyone's VOD, check out the circumstances in which they're fighting the boss and then just kind of track it down that way, but I don't have like a, like a written list or something. I find it hard to play new jobs, especially knowing it's good. Uh, yeah. You think Machine is best for someone going for Necromancers that they've never set foot? Um, I don't think it's- oh, I have to kill Mimics, guys. I don't think it's a bad idea. You're not gonna know how you feel in a job, Orange Juice, until you try it. I can tell you Machinist is great, but you might try it and you're like, Machinist sucks ass. I don't know why anyone plays this job. Which is, by the way, a fair assessment. That's your opinion, that there's nothing wrong with saying that, you know? But you're not gonna know until you try. That's just what it comes down to. Hmm, it opens that shop. Try to see if I can get the exploding chest. I had enough time for that too, I got him low enough. Can you start at 51 and enter 101 plus? Yes! You can start at 51 and enter 101 plus, but you're not going to get the title. You have to start at 1 to get the title. But you can absolutely start at 51 and get to 101 plus. So if you're thinking about progging, you know, like you want to prog a little bit, instead of like, you know, go straight from 1, absolutely, go ahead. Just don't accidentally clear. If you clear, then you don't get the title, so... <laughs> yeah, 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 mm-hmm. Absolutely, that's a prog, that's totally, that's totally a valid uh, method when you prog like that. I always say, Ami, if you can look at the mirror, you look at yourself in the eye, you know, and if you can tell yourself, today I'm getting Necromancer, today's the day, then you better start at 1, you better have 99 armed armor. If you can't tell that, if you can't look in your eye and, and convince yourself that, then start at 51, start with lower arm and armor, you know what I mean? Yo, thanks for that follow in Zane. Appreciate it. Welcome in. Also, I think I missed a follow by uh, Enomen. Enomen Daris. That was 25 minutes ago. I apologize. I don't think I said that one. So if you're still here, thank you for that follow. 
By the way, I do want to I do want to just kind of remind people if you're asking me a question and I miss it, do not be afraid to ask it again. Um, I will miss some chat and I apologize, especially the higher and higher we go. Uh, but some people have been tagging me, which is perfectly fine. That's actually a little bit of a better thing if you got a, if you got a, like a direct question to me. Some of my mods and some of the guys in chat are answering as well, which is wonderful. Uh, I trust I trust my chat here. You know, unlike uh, unlike uh, some other chats, uh, you know. My guys know what they're talking about, so you're in good hands. We are still gaming, Miss Celine. You should also start at 51 plus... What? What? Oh my god. Why do you take offense to that? When I'm opening silver chests. What do you mean? I just want to respect some content. Your chat's very diverse. Your chat's awesome! Celine's got one of the best communities in chats, guys. They're very nice. They're very nice people. They don't bully people. They don't ban- they, they don't- they don't yell at people. Super, uh, super, super nice over there. Get wrecked, dude. Okay. I'm on order. Going for my fourth behemoth. Good luck. I send you luck, Rez. People answered me, but gave tits that you're done high ping. Yeah, I have. So that's what I've been building on now. But are there any jobs that advise trying with high ping? Casters, I think. Casters are pretty good for high ping. Pow pow wow wow! Thanks for Prime Gaming and also Novel. Thanks for the follow. Appreciate it. Uh, hi, I have a 171 to 180 file ready to go in my first time machine. As for Behemoth, do you recommend me dropping food before the start of push? Yeah, you can you can even drop food before you even begin Behemoth. Honestly, if you're not if you're if you're concerned about um your like you dropping food in general, don't even go into food. Very nice of you to say, Shayla. <laughs> I would recommend 51 to 60 spam. 51 to 80? I would recommend 51 to 60 Oblivion until like 60 or 70 and then you can solo. Fuck. Don't mind me unbalancing my mana. Okay, still on out. Always fun to watch. Aw, thanks, Pow Wow. Appreciate that. Uh, let's pull Cheese Dinosaur here, Mr. Vinegar. Vinegar! Come here! Okay, good. Get behind. If we, if we keep staying behind him, he's gonna keep doing the thing. So that's why we like this dinosaur. Dinosaurs are fun. Dinosaurs are good. Yep! It's very hard, mind you, Black Bard, Black Bard, and I'm currently kind of- I've, I've been trying to work on Dark Knight and I did Warrior like one time and I failed. Very hard compared to the other four tanks. But, it is doable. It has been done. People have done it. Okay. Removing these invisible walls to nerf it. What do you mean? What's wrong with me jumping jumping to the thing? Wait, I dropped the chest. She. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh fucker. Should I pack this on another save file pack time floors? Nothing wrong with that, Bulu. Absolutely if you wanna do that. Cool check with the vinegars? Yep. Easiest enemies in all of Deep Dungeon. I feel bad for the person who coded them, you know? They already have short arms and they can't even do anything else. Nope, you can start at 51 pow wow. Pow pow. However, you can't get the title if you start at 51 plus. So if you want the title, you have to start at 1. Hey 
It's really funny looking at my character because my controller's on my lap and I'm moving my leg so my character looks like it's drunk. Nubal. Nubal? Nubal? Nubapple? Nubable. Thanks to follow. Is it easy to clear? Nothing's easy. Nothing's easy. You know, like, like the only thing you could really indicate is like... Uh, is like clear amounts. How many people have cleared on a job? Um... Well, for Heaven on High... Gunbreaker does have the most clears. And it really has the most clears by a long shot. So, you know, people are gonna look at the board. Uh, you know, probably the guys are gonna say like, Hey, do, do Gunbreaker. So that's probably one reason why, you know? It's kinda, it kind of leans towards that job simply because a lot of people have been doing it. Doesn't necessarily mean that the other jobs have a have a more difficult time or less effective. I mean, some jobs have a difficult kit, that's for sure, but it doesn't mean that. It doesn't mean, you know, it's the guaranteed job to be the easiest. I actually don't even put, I don't even put Gunbreaker really like my top three, uh, my top four of jobs I would, I would want to take into Deep Dungeon, you know? I'd have other jobs that I prefer to take in Deep Dungeon before I take in a Gunbreaker. And there's nothing wrong with Gunbreaker, it's just I like some of the other jobs better. Heaven on high, tanks. Or healer, tanks or healer. Um, tanks or healer. But if you're going in a match party, Yaya, yeah, yeah, it doesn't matter what job. Take in whatever you want, level the job. Do, you want to do 21 to 30 match party, so level the job and do it that way. You see earlier how I got to 190 and died, but my rank 1... But your rank 1? Ooh, I did not see that, let's go. Oh, what? I, wait, but I think you did mention you did mention that you got to 190. I think I, I think I remember you mentioning that. That's nice. You got up to rank one. Nice. Yo, be the first on Crystal to do the thing. I mean, it's a really it's a really huge deal that you got past Behemoth to begin with, so that's kind of really good. I'm all over the place. Yes. I drop pieces of me everywhere. I don't think it's been clear. Yes. I have steel on. Yes. Yaya yeah, yeah, and Heaven on High, it is going to be 21 to 30 because you get the guaranteed at floor 30. So that would be a little bit more ideal to do. Just just hard farm that, get a good stock, and then you can start your own run. That's my opinion. Still need full. I'm losing my Fox though. Hey, oops. Did I check this chest? No, I didn't. Try. Oh. Let's use it. Why did that sound weird all of a sudden? That had a. That sounded weirder than I'm used to that. That's that that thing doing. I don't know. What's the next class I want to clear with most? Uh, I don't know. We we uh, I mean I was working on black mage initially. White mage. Uh, I was. I'm hopping between four jobs and palettes. So we're hopping between black mage, white mage, warrior, and dark knight. So I'm not sure. I'll take any of the. I'll take any of them. I think healer would be fun though. Question. Uh, we'll leave it alone. I got. Oh, I didn't get the. Oh, come on. Oh, it's my bad. I didn't go there. La okay, hold on. Let's go this way. What class have I cleared with? Novel. And Pals of the Dead, I've done. Uh, Red Mage Machinist, Summoner, all four melee, Paladin, and Gunbreaker. For Heaven on High, I did all of them. Okay. Thanks for the follow, Juju Trigger. Bard or no balls? I ain't got ball. I ain't got balls. But I did it in. Uh, I got it. I did it in uh, heaven on high though. I got balls in heaven on high. Do, do.
You should get a title for killing all class like Ultramancer. The one that someone suggested, Pow Pow, from Heaven on High, if there is an Omni Clear, if there is an Omni Clear title, was uh, loneliest ex loneliest hero. That's what they that's what they said that it should be for the Omni Clear. I'm like, I want that one. I will wear loneliest hero over Necromancer, and not because it indicates I did an Omni Clear, just because the title sounds cooler. Yeah, loneliest hero. Yeah. The loneliest, the loneliest hero. That, that's that's me. <laughs> what do I do with with um, uh, Yolo? But the thing, okay. So the problem here is that the enemy options are pretty bad. So I probably would just pick off these enemies here and hope I have enough for it. But for Red Mage, I probably would uh, I probably would give it a shot. But I don't know. It might get risky. For Machinist, I would be fine. I would actually have no problem with a Machinist, because you just kind of just tie them out forever. But for Red Mage, it might get a little tricky. Nah, Forever Alone sounds like... That sounds like... That sounds bad. Loneliest Hero, man? That's alright. That's alright. I want to pull the Triceratops before I lose Steel. Low Necro. Oh, Shank, yo, man, go ahead. Be the first on your data center. Show them, show them who's boss. Is spinning cheating considered, uh, considered cheating immunity? It's like split. Some people will have hard feelings about it that like you shouldn't do it. Some people are perfectly fine, you watch them do it. Here's the thing, there's the thing, generally speaking, um, Goog, it's that no one has gotten banned for it. Not a single person that I know of has ever gotten banned for it. There are YouTube videos of, like, JP runners, like, literally spinning for six hours, and they're not banned. Like, that's just the only thing I can tell you. Like, if people got banned for it, I would want to protect you guys and make sure, hey, don't do it, because you're gonna get in trouble, but no one's gotten in trouble. But people do have some feelings about it, some hard feelings one way or the other, you know. So anytime, anytime it kind of does get discussed, you'll you'll hear it from both sides. And in my opinion, they're all valid reasons. Um, for me, I don't care. Like your like what like what you do on your run has no bearing on what I do on my run. You know what I mean? Like we're all running in solo, so like however you decide to do yours, it just doesn't make a difference to me. I don't care. Tough to ban something, tough to ban something for something that's entirely in game. Is Necromancer alone here more rare? Uh, Necromancer would be currently more rare, but the the that number I think is starting the gap is starting to close a little bit. But right now, definitely Necromancer is more rare. I want this, I want the chest, but I might aggro something. Do. Although I don't know what the hell I'm going to pick up, fortune. Okay, I'm out. I'm outie. Yeah, like a lot of people, I think when you visually see it, when you visually see spinning, you automatically think it's like cheating. But it's like mechanically complicated, you know? So that's why it gets weird. That's why it's such a weird conversation in general. It depends. You know, Aspen has also said that he, he, well, he said he would go into Heaven on High. But I do honestly believe that if he really, really enjoys Palace and he gets the title in Palace, I think he would totally go into Heaven on High. Like, like no joke. Um, and I think one of the other things that would be probably tempting to him, if he, like, does the research and whatnot, it's the fact that he could run it on his Gunbreaker. And, I'm sorry, on his, on his Dark Knight. And his Dark Knight will do really well in Heaven on High. So... That would be like really something that he could push the limits of the job that he's kind of, you know, preferring right now. Okay. I really like Dark Knight. Chess, but I don't know if I should- ooh. Okay. Um, they're, um, they're probably gonna tell him Gunbreaker, you know. 
but honestly, like... I don't know. It, I guess it depends on what's going on. <laughs> That's the best I can say, you know what I mean? But I, but if, if like he pulls chat, they're gonna say they're gonna say Gunbreaker. Um which is the correct answer. Or they'll say Red Mage, which is the incorrect answer. Or 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 which could be possible, which is honestly like logically makes sense, is that you if you clear on if you clear on machinist, well maybe you take machinist, you know? Like that would make logical sense. How does Hide interact with mob aggro? Uh, you are protected against sight and sound, but not proximity. It has an invulm. Just don't, just, you know, make sure you heal yourself back up. Because that's practical and possible. Wink wink. Do you think it'd be bad to change the- if they rem remove weakness in deep dungeon? I don't- I don't see why they would though. That's like a basic mechanic in the game, so I don't see why they would. You know what's one thing that I actually thought of? Because PvP has it. If you actually got individual limit breaks in here for solo, that would be interesting. But then it would be weird for like a healer and a tank if you don't get a DPS one. Do I main Red Mage? No, I main Black Mage. I main Red Mage in Stormblood, but I have fallen in love with um, Black Mage. Like, like, like there is... Hey, Red Mage hasn't changed. Like, Red Mage is Red Mage as it is, but... The way Black Mage seems like nice and complicated and tricky to play with, that's one reason I really like Black Mage. So... What's the best way to farm Potters? How many would I recommend for his clear? Yeah, Copen, actually, the video, yeah, what Jar Jar, what Jar, Jar thinks just uh, posted... Hold on. What Jar Jar thinks just posted in chat, that is the video I just made that does kind of discuss that topic. Um, but 101 plus is what I would always recommend. You want to go 101 plus in Palace Solo, and you'll get a good amount that way. Only gotten one raising so far, check all the rooms so to keep checking. Yes. No, keep checking, Alpha. Also also something of worth noting, Alpha, is that um something worth noting is um 71 plus sometimes yields higher amounts of raising. Why? Couldn't tell you, but that just seems to be a thing. So something to note on that one. I don't I'm just thinking about silver, but. Yeah, like I said, the conversation always gets weird whenever it's brought up. Case in point. Um, like, honestly, all of the arguments that are made in any any direction, for or against, whatever, they're all valid. It's just the thing is, Square Enix has never said anything. And no one's gotten banned. So... That's it. <laughs> like, that's, that's all I can tell you, you know? Um, Again, my only thing would be to make sure that you guys are protected, that you guys don't do something that drives you into the wrong direction. That's all I honestly care about. So, um, no one's gotten banned, and uh, that's the best I can tell you. I would like to use that steel, thank you very much. Okay, let's continue. Time is a little bit okay, but not super awesome. Am I having fun in controller? I'm getting more used to it, I feel like. Honestly, I think I'm getting a little bit more used to it. If I was on JP, I would have gotten hit with that with that telegram. Without solo? Not that I've heard about. Whether it's happened, I don't know. But not that I've heard about. Do, 
I'm still on out the floor, but I have steel, so it's okay. Oh, this Mylodon wants to wants to jump off the cliff. Let's save him. Or, at least, or he's taking a poop, one or the other. I think it's more like he's taking a poop. He had like a nice position there, butts off the edge. At least he doesn't make a mess of the ground. QTD soul level 1 challenge. You're not gonna get very far. What do you consider the hardest set of floors? Uh, 181 plus. Easily, 181 plus. Yeah, enemies have turn radius, yeah. So like, you would envision an enemy basically, for them to hit you, uh, for them to hit you they have to look at you, and it's like a conal. So you essentially stay behind that conal, and then that's why it works. But there are places in the game that you actually cannot spin at all, it's just impossible. It's like they turned off the feature, so... Yeah, there are places in the game where you just, you cannot physically spin. No, no, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a worthy question, you know? It's on Meiji's guy too. Fuck. I have a witching. Ah, uh, but I don't think I killed it in time. I'd rather go to I'd rather go to two witching than three purity. Yeah, so we'll see what happens next deep dungeon. Like that would be the the spot where we find out what happens, honestly. So you guys should just have to uh, sit and wait. But like I said, whatever one person does shouldn't really matter what you do, because you do you, they do them. That's all it comes down to. Now for me. My my thing why I don't spin is simply because I know people cannot. Like they just cannot. Whether it's gameplay, whether it's ping, whatever the reason. My whole thing is that I want to make sure that the most amount of people get into the content. You know, that they feel okay, that they feel confident with it. That's one reason I'm on controller, you know? That's like the reason why I'm controlling. So that's all it is for my side. Uh, I th wait, I flighted this, didn't I? But I have to kill this to get over here. It's a jank. It's not for everyone. What's the thing you just said about using Witching Sun of Purity? Okay, so I, I, oh, I did pick up Purity, didn't I? I did just pick up a Purity. So I wanted to not push my Purity to one. So instead I utilize the Witching on the Mimic so I don't get the pops. And that's assuming that I was going to kill the Mimic in 30 seconds, which I was very sure of because I had like, you know, there's no debuffs or whatever, and, and that's why I wanted to do it. Because me, there's a potential, there's a good chance I'm not going to trigger a trap, hopefully. I think I'm good enough navigating to know that, so the only reason I'd be using a Witching is if I aggro something by accident. So my Witchings usually just sit in my inventory without being used, so may as well use it on a Mimic. I think it's cool that you're priority showing that everyone can POTD. Yeah. Um, I think that's important, personally. This is this place can beat you up. Aspen. This place can mentally kick your ass. So if there's any other way that I can display that you that anyone can do it, that's what's important. Hey yo, Memex, man. Thank Thanks you for so ten. much for the streams and videos to help me clear. Oh, you cleared! <gasps> you cleared? What did you clear? Palace or 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 or, or heaven on high? Thanks to ten. Appreciate the tip, man. Paradox, thanks, man. I like the emotes. Yo, Memex, let's go, man. Thanks for thanks for that. Potter, ooh, Potter. I've actually not seen a Potter in a while. Yes, so the POT on machine is posted in my Discord on an alias. Oh, oh, Mems! Oh, you're Mems! Oh, shit. Yo, Toyoko, thanks for the Prime Gaming. I appreciate that, my friend. Dude, let me check this last chest and off we go, team. Huh, strength. Oh, 
there we go. That's why I checked the chests. Can doing? Yes. 100% X codes. A duo feels like a solo. The the enemies that you decide to fight and stuff like that, it actually is no different than if you try to do it solo, honestly. Memex, I'm so glad to hear. Congratulations, dude. That wouldn't kill me, but... Oh, that's not good. <laughs> now I can get Red Mage first cleaning on... Hey! Let's go, Mamex. Mamex, I'm so proud of you, man. Congratulations on joining the club. Good on you, dude. Oh, Jesus, dude. Oh my god, the buttons! Oh my god, I fumbled my buttons so hard. I wanted to use Fletch and I couldn't get to it. Because I kept hitting 20 other buttons. Steal. I didn't forget, I didn't forget, I didn't forget. Bear Curry and Yon Yoned Yon Yon Oh my god, hold on. Yonidaverse. Yonidaverse. Thanks for the follow up. Man. Why does he swap the controller in first place? So Novil. The reason I'm a controller, Novil is simply because a lot of people in the community are controller players. And a lot of them had a lot of concerns about on controller. Like, um, doing RP walking, doing resolution, doing commander usage. And for some of them, you know, they watch me do the videos. Like, I have the explanation and have whatnot, but I'm on a keyboard. And, you know, even if there's that little percentage of kind of a little bit of like, you know, the confidence is not quite there. Like, well, you're on a keyboard, I'm on a controller, it's a little bit different. So for me to get the perspective of a controller player, I have to play on a controller. So then now, if we get the clear, I can talk about a controller. I can talk about, hey, well, I had this success on a controller. Like, you know, maybe try this, maybe try that, you know. I cannot, I, I, I find it unfair of myself to, to speak of something that I just... I have not done yet, if that makes sense. If I've never done it, I can't speak to it. So I, I go and do it. That's all it is. I mean, I complain about controller a little bit, you know, it's uncomfortable, blah blah blah, but at the end of the day, it, it doesn't matter how I feel, because that's what other people feel, you know? I gotta, I gotta like, essentially put myself in their shoes to understand what the fuck's going on. Yeah, that's all it is. I mean, I did, the first time I did something like this, Noble, was when we went to JP on a high ping. I had an opportunity to try to do a machinist when I had high ping going from NA to JP. And we were able to almost clear. I got to 197. So we got through Behemoth, we got through the hardest parts on machinist with a high ping, with a noticeably high ping. You know, that's the same thing. So now I can talk about high ping. I know what high ping feels like. Before it's like a lot of people were like concerned, like, hey man, my ping's really high. Would you would you think it's possible? And that's a valid concern, me. You don't think it's possible, you know? Because you haven't seen it yet. So, a lot of times just displaying that it could be done is enough for some people, you know? Okay, it's doable, so that means we can do it. That's it. Uh, I have the my VPN video on Machinists, where I talk about... Um, where I talk about how it feels like to play Machinist on specifically Behemoth, that's up there. I don't know if actually my my high ping run is on YouTube. I actually don't think I put it up there. I only put clears up there. But the run where I did Behemoth on high ping, and then I'm comparing it to how it was with, with like a lower ping, 
That's up there. Hey JMO, finally taking the serious side of Necromancer and Red Mage. Let's go, man. Love to hear it. Oh fuck. Did not mean to do that. Hold on. I have to prioritize the heals. Using these two guys and good stuff. Hey, thanks, JML. I appreciate it, man. I'm, I hope they're helpful to you. You know who's watching? Please add Nintendo button to the controller options. Nintendo buttons? Are there? Are there? Oh, I guess Steam probably has that option, right? You can probably do it on Steam. Do I have an alt spout with a Necromancer title? Yeah, you're gonna see it on Tuesday. Um, we're gonna go in Crystal on Tuesday because I'm gonna nuke my armor, my Aethercoil armor. We're gonna we're gonna farm it live on Twitch, and I do have a uh, my crystal is still a sprout. I tried running. Hey Nave, I tried running one twenty, but it failed four times on the thirty boss. Should have watched more videos. Uh, but I'm playing machine just now. I can say as much manageable side test. Okay. Yeah, look, Nave, you gotta just see how how it feels. You know, not not everyone is gonna jive with certain jobs. They always do feel. Um. You think they're gonna release an actual Necromancer job? No. Not after Reaper. Reaper was the biggest hint towards Necromancer. Also, historically, there is no Necromancer really in, in Final Fantasy, I believe, except maybe for like one Final Fantasy. So it's not really a job that you would you would associate with uh with uh Final Fantasy. Any tips for for one for 90 bucks? She keeps talking away, she keeps knocking away the the bomb, but I and I can't move it. Wait, who's she? You're talking about the POTD one, right? Armana. And who is she? Well, the bombs will only move if you hit them. So the, bo the boss themselves will never move the bombs themselves, they, the bombs will only move if you hit the bomb. Does that make sense? Jesus. Alright. Bring the intuitions. Oops. Sure. My free trial account... Uh, Necromancer, I forgot the password. So it's sitting in, in the void where I can no, no longer access it because I'm stupid. The controller is actually working. Yeah, you're probably hitting it by accident, Aramon, because the bomb, the boss wouldn't push it. Yeah, I don't remember the email either. <laughs> I think I do. I think I, Look, if I really wanted the account, JC, and I probably could figure it out, I'll just put it that way. But I, I don't really care. The, the score is up there, it has my name on it, that's all I care about. Let me just refill the water, and then uh, we'll keep going. This is gonna be Behemoth now. Which I'm not too concerned about. Red Mage Behemoth is kind of a joke. It's 190 that's the concern, you know? My channel points aren't great. They're not that great. I mean, we don't really have too many options, but, you know. One day we'll have something cool, maybe, possibly. But... Okay. Alright, so let's go. Continue, Behemoth. Let's go. Hi, hi, hi. Hi, 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 hi. A joke? Well, I could still fuck up, but, you know. Uh, oh, I didn't update title. Man, this is so awkward when I'm not using a keyboard. It's like... Imagine, imagine typing things out. Okay. How do I? Oh, there we go. Cute girls music. Thanks for the follow. And Demigod from earlier. Thanks for the follow. Did you get a single steal? Oh no. Oh no. You'll get it on the next floor. You'll get it on the next floor, Clark. Do do do. Oh no! 
Hey, Zan, don't worry about it, man. You know what I say? One thing I do say, Zan, as long as you're not dying to the same thing over and over, it's still prog. It's only kind of annoying if you die to the same thing. So if you're dying to new things, then... You know, you, it's okay. You scared if I became it, what's the safest strategy for Paladin? I would recommend looking at a video. I have one up, uh, a couple other runners have one up. It's- I, I, I don't know it off the top of my head. It's something like open your, your thingy, take the first meteor, double clemency, take the second meteor, hollowed ground, do one clemency with your sustaining potion, uh, something something- I don't- I don't 100% know. It's been a while. I made it to 180 thanks to thanks to you trying got to oh 0 0.1 oh fuck dude Chayla are you around? No actually it's okay actually forget it forget it, forget it. you're fine no don't worry about it I I'm probably just gonna get worried about something that I don't have to get worried about so don't you're good no no it. I was thinking about something, but I don't want to, uh, yeah, we're, we're fine, we're fine, we're fine. Yeah, 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 I appreciate it, yeah, I, it just crossed my mind, but I think I don't want to make a big deal out of it. Well, actually, you know, actually, Lefo, I'm not gonna lie, maybe it's a good idea that I get it. Because then we can talk about what I'm gonna do, if that makes sense. Like, that would be beneficial to you guys, if I get it. Yeah, so, I mean, not to not to put curse on myself, but you know what I mean. Like, then we can like see what we do. No. Oh come! On. The one time I don't want to slide cast. God damn it, dude! Yeah. I think it would be better, you know, at least you guys can see it, that's the whole thing. I, Black Bower, thanks Paul. Okay, I didn't check the other chests. Um... Oh dear. I've been using Video Bible for I got to 170 in a second attempt. Been checking Discord and saw a few different strategies along the way. Yeah, there's a few, there's a couple around Sean. And just pick the one that works. You know, I had mine. Like like how I see it, Sean. If you get the kill, doesn't matter. You know? You get the kill, good. That's all that matters. So who's ever you pick? I mean, they got the kill, just see which one seems cooler to you, and then go with it. Witching... Strength, yes please. I'm down the steel from what I used on the previous floor. Wait! Oh shit! Oh! I was like, where's the exit? I'm looking at the map. It's here, but the Domel is blocking him. So I should have pulled the one there to the left, not this one, but, but I just didn't see it fast enough. How about the stupid thing with turn does yet somehow better than a first third party controller? First party controller, somehow secretly undestructible considering how many times stuff. Stupid thing. Damn. Yeah, this was my bad. I mean, this was a mistake. Because I could've... I mean, the other Dommel could've walked towards the exit as well. 
but it, but this one guaranteed is blocking the exit, so that's kind of my bad. I just I just didn't look between his legs, so. Best of best theme expansion? That's a tough one. I'm using alteration. Oh, I thought there was a silver chest. Whoop, I'm done. That was a heck of a thing to hear out of context just now. Oh. It happens. <laughs> out of context is best, man. Do -do -do -do. A lot of Cyclopses. Sock, sock. What's that? Whatever. whatever. Cyclopses. Multiple Cyclopses. Yeah. Check the chest. Fuck. Didn't I flight this? No, I altered. I will take the pox because I might run into more mimics. Oh shit. Oh really? Oh dear. Nice crit, dude. Oh, government, no! Oh, beauty. Uh, I will just use it right away. What happened, government? We got you. It's called a cloak? Like, for real, it's called a cloak? Like, you're not you're not pulling my leg? It's called a cloak? Yep. Just don't clear by accident, Rig. Although, depending on the job, you might actually get all the way through. So, it's a tough... Tough decision, but okay. I mean, I would have appreciated the education, but it's fine. I respect it. Do -do -do -do. I think I flighted on top of alteration. The altered is like all the way across the map. I don't know if I want to go all the way over there. Fuck! Well, I don't want to go over there now. But I'm gonna definitely witch him. Ran out of time with Pox, waiting for the monsters to move. Oh shit, dude. Is that your PB though? Is that your PB? That's pretty damn good though. Why can't I clear in a pra uh because you don't get the title if you clear in a practice one. If you start at 51, you don't get the title. You have to start at one for the title, so. I thought I altered. Did I not alter? I thought I altered. Hmm. AFPP could. Government, what job are we doing, by the way? Gunbreaker? Gotcha. Okay, this will be a little bit of a tricky fight.
I would I would not skip alterations on Machinist at all. I would totally use them on, on cooldown whenever I see a bonus one. Because I'm not really afraid of Mimics on Machinist. It's just trickier on Red Mage. Hey, it's trickier on Red Mage because of the box and stuff. So like sometimes it becomes a little bit of a decision-making thing. But then also, there are times when things are going to be easier than... Uh, things are going to be easier than... Like, a Mimic is easier than other things. That makes sense. So, what type of food am I using on Red? I am using Zephyr. Kind of a good price, um, so I'm using Zephyr. Did I alter the next four? Oh, I altered the next one! Oh, it's the next one that's altered. Oh, I tricked myself. I did use Alter, but it's the next one, you're right. I see I see the icon, I wasn't looking at the icon. 100 years could you tank against... Tank Could tank heal against... Healer, it's infinite. Tank, it's limited. Because tank, you have to manage your invulns and stuff just to get through. Uh, Dags, Akka, uh, Wald, the let. Yo, thanks for those follows, guys. Appreciate it. Yeah, all same there. I I would use them on demand almost, so I wouldn't be too concerned with it there for a uh, for a tank either. Welcome in, guys. Good to see you all. Tank is really tough, some of them you don't have to do weird things to- yeah. I'm not in it. I need to get to the altered room to see what I'm doing in this room. The banter snatches are bad. Hey, this is that room that has the wall trap. Got my steel. And we got Corrigans. Nice too. Boom. I'm probably gonna need to fight something, so I'll pull this right now. And this is, by the way, an example by- like, if you're kind of debating on alterations... Granted, it's RNG, right? It's RNG. But look at this situation right now. I got them in a dead-end room. Even if these were mimics, it's not a problem. Because it's a dead-end room. So I wouldn't have been- I wouldn't have been bothered by them. I wish they would NPK- NPK their own kind, but they don't do that. But this saves me a lot of time. Like, I have- this is a big time save for me. To get three instant kills in a gloom floor. Compared to red- wait, compared to how hard is a melee class? Melee is pretty hard. It, it is definitely harder. You're gonna use more potions on- on- on average. Um, but, um... It's fun. I still- I still hold to the fact that- oh, I still hold to the fact that, um... Ninja is the most fun in Deep Dungeon, in my opinion. It's not the best one to use. Like, your rate of success might be a little bit lower than some of the other ones. But nonetheless, it's still a really fun job to take into. I really love Ninja in here. It just- you, you do have to play really out of the box when it comes to melee, though. That's the one thing you have to keep in mind. Might have to play pretty out of the box. Could just enough kills. Meaning, like, you have to kite a little bit. You really have to manage your bloodbath tremendously, arm strength, all your cooldowns, you know? You have to play a little bit differently than how you would even imagine for PvE content. Not Rezo. You don't get dual cast on Rezo, but you do get dual cast on Lusts. Because I think. I think resolution is uh, an ability. It's not a. It's not a spell. I left the chest. No, the chest is in here. I never checked it. Okay. Witching. Nice. All right. Nice one. <clears throat> yeah, tanks are great. Tanks are tanks are great. I just find the tanks a little bit boring, with the exception of warrior. Mm 
Alright, we take out the Damel. Because it is proximity. <clears throat> Why Warrior? In Heaven on High, Warrior is ridiculously good. Uh, what's actually pretty funny about Warrior in Heaven on High, and I'm gonna be doing something in about two weeks, I have a perfect record on Warrior. I've taken Warrior in three times, and I've cleared three times on Warrior. And what I want to do in about two weeks, depending on how the controller run goes and how this goes, um, I want to take Warrior in for a week straight. We'll do Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and we'll do Warrior just straight. And I'm going to see if I can retain my perfect record for four attempts in a row. And that would really, really set a stage for a lot of things. There's, there's a like, couple of reasons why I want to take the same job in consecutively. One of which is to maybe help dispel the idea that Deep Dungeon is really RNG. Because a lot of people still argue about that. No, no, Palace, Deep Dungeon solo, it's all about RNG. You know, you just need good RNG and you clear. It's like, no, not how that works. <laughs> but but you have to prove it, right? Just show them like facts. That's what it comes down to. So show them facts, there you go. Uh, that's how it's always been too. I think that's the funnest part about um, the most fun part about Deep Dungeon Solo is that and especially having all the bots in the videos, is that if anyone tries to dispute anything, you're just like, okay, well, here's the video. Here's the evidence, you know? Dispute me now. Oh boy! Okay, okay, we have a slight problem. Hold on, okay. Alright. Not lucky Chris. Yeah, we're good now. Hey, what's up, Faros? Yeah, you were talking about the same thing. I was thinking about it um, a little bit before, but my, my schedule didn't line up for it. Like, I'm, I'm in Palace for like, a while just for like, obvious reasons, but I was thinking about taking in a job. Like, you know what I wanted to do, Faros? Also, if we get a shout out for Faros, I would greatly appreciate it. He's been running, he's back on Deep Dungeon, and he's, he's put in work, and it's awesome to see. Um, like, when I was, when I'd be getting close to, um, like, the next Deep Dungeon, I wanted to go, like, a month straight on Red Mage. Because I wanted to practice on Red Mage, first and foremost, but also to say, to also to see like, well, what's my what's my win percentage on 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 red mage? You know what I mean? So, yo, thanks for shout out, Faros. He's gonna be streaming in about uh uh math 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 nine hours. He's gonna stream about nine hours. He's back in deep dungeon, man. How's it going, dude? Good to see you. I've been lurking. I've been a little busy lately, but I've been lurking. Saw you, Dark Knight clear. Saw the 99, saw the 98. Getting the getting the rust out, you know? So, good shit, dude. Um, I'll just pull this one. Wait, the, uh, yeah, I'll pull this one. No, no, yes. Stop. I need my displacement. Yeah, we're, we're healing. We're healing. Oh my god, stop. Can you please stop? Okay, we're good. Is it possible to create Absolutely, cutie pie! I'm done it myself. Now, bear in mind, I do want to warn you, cutie pie. I want to warn you something. One, for melee, 190 is... Whew. But I had my heart rate monitor on for... <laughs> I had my heart rate monitor for two situations on, 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 Dar on Dragoon. One was when I botched Behemoth. Because I was setting up Behemoth and I just like, I my, my hand just like went right over my keys and I just hit a GCD and I pushed them way too fast. Uh, and then I died. So I had to do it again. Like I had to, I had to repeat it. I had enough time to do it again. So my heart rate 
that was the that was the first time my heart rate hit like 180. Like I just straight up hit 180 on my heart rate. And then when we were doing 190, my heart rate hit up to like 150 on that fight, and I probably almost died like six times. So, um, you know, it's it's not good for the health, but it's a lot of fun. <laughs> <laughs> It's not the greatest for your health. It's okay. It's fun though. <laughs> I mean, you know, you want a cardio workout, you know, just take Dragoon in on on on, on Palace today. Ah, uh, that's cool. Yeah. Because I was panicking. I think I just retained like a 180 heart rate like the entire the entire time. It was pretty funny. <laughs> <laughs> I was looking back at my video, it was so funny. Like, I, I, mu I legit died almost like six times in that fight. Like, I couldn't believe how I was just making it out alive. Do you mean that? Yes. Oh. That's awkward. I did not get as far back as I thought I would, what the fuck? Okay. Okay, so that's the exit, but I think there's a chest here, but I can't get to it right now. I don't know if someone has told you, but... He did! I watched him! I watched him. He died to really something unfortunate. Um, he was put in a situation he didn't know what to do with. So, that just, you know, that just is what it is. He tried, but yeah. Serenity... Uh, this thing. Hello, you follow after watching. Hey, oh, hey, let's go, man! Congratulations. One fifty is a tough one, so congratulations. Do, do, do. If you started one fifty, uh, started for one and get to one fifty, can you start your progress? Whew, I didn't see the wolf. I was looking at chat. If, if you reset anything or you delete it, it does count as a KO, so you don't want to do that. You want to probably keep going or take a second file. Yeah. It's been really funny watching him, Faros, because he is studying. So there are like pieces of information where he, 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 like you would understand that he looked something up, like he was definitely studying something. But then there are other pieces where it's like, Okay, he like he's kind of you know he hasn't just learned it yet. Like he's he's like he just has to be in there and learn it, you know. Like I don't think some of the guides would even go over like certain things. So, yo, thanks for those follows and harder flesh. Thanks for the thanks for the prime, man. Appreciate it. Um, uh, I know what I'm doing. This is just not okay. Oh god. Okay. We're good. Okay. Good. Wasting too much time getting portraits, getting portraits killed. My oh no! I mean, that's with good purpose though, right? Watch ten of my videos. He's doing what he needs to do. I, I, you know, again, like I think, I think a lot of guys just need to give him some credit that he knows what he's doing. You know, meaning like in terms of research, in terms of just how to accomplish the goal. Like he knows what he's doing. Like, he'll do what he needs to do. And if he really wants it, then he'll do, he'll do what he needs to do. Don't double attack me. Ooh. Ooh. Double dodge. Yeah. Like it's his like it's his like fourth day on machinist. <laughs> you know, it's like he, he just unlocked the job and he's still learning it. Yeah, I have no. I, I honestly, I have no doubt he'll pull it off. Like in, like just in general, yeah, no doubt. Yeah, he did say that. But that's also one thing, Jar Jar, that I've been also arguing too. It's that, um, one of the biggest ways you can have success here in Deep Dungeon is you don't get surprised. So if you can kind of predict a situation, if you know what to do in a situation, 
and you keep like a calm head, then, you know, mistakes don't happen. Like, even if I trigger a luring trap right now, I already have in my brain what my kind of like method method of poem anders or whatever I want to do. Like that, you know, I might get initially surprised by the fact that I just hit one, but I won't be surprised by what my decision would be to, to handle it, if that makes sense, you know? In his case, he had not run into a situation where... He, you, know what is, you know what is really funny? He died in a way that I died, which was he killed something, a Gravekeeper was coming, and then a Succubus does its AoE. So he had to make one of two decisions. He had to either run out of the AoE, which aggroes the Gravekeeper, or, like Galaxy Brain, keep walking and just take the damage, which, by the way, he doesn't know how much damage that does. That was just a complete no-win situation. And that's what happened to me on like 198, where I got too close to a wall, and I had a Gravekeeper coming at me, and the ghost shot at me. So I had... that was an impossible situation. So it's either I continued walking, which wasn't gonna happen, or I run out of the, I run out of the AoE, but I had a Gravekeeper on top of me, which basically two-shot me, and I died. So. When you get an answer, title, I feel like... No, man. Lazy, don't feel bad. Everyone is gonna progress at a different pace. The best story that I can tell you, Lazy, is one of our one of our good friends who just got it like about a week ago or so. Took them 60 attempts. 6-0 attempts, man. 60. 45 on Red Mage. And 15 on Machinist. And a lot of those were also disconnects. But they kept trying. That was like a one and a half year adventure, man. But you don't want to ever kind of compare or look at what other people do. You know, someone can clear in a week, some people take two months. No, no, no. This is just your thing, and that's your journey. So that's all that matters. Never worry about, uh, never worry about the other guys. Because everyone also is going to process information differently, you know? Everyone's going to learn differently, everyone's going to execute differently. So it, it really just isn't a, a solid comparison. You know? So don't feel bad, man. You'll get it. Does Succubus AoE actually kill you? Um, in 141 plus, it should not. Even without seal. It should do a big chunk, but it's not going to directly kill you. A lot of the AoEs in Palace, except for the higher floors, they don't kill you. Whereas in Palace of the Dead, uh, I'm sorry, in Heaven on High, starting at 51, all the AoEs kill you. Actually, Honestly, even at 41+, plus, the AoEs really start to kill you. So it happens a lot earlier in, in Heaven on High, but not really when it comes to Palace. Yeah, no problem, man. Just always remember that, Lazy. Even if even if you don't accomplish it before Endwalker, it doesn't matter. What's, what, what's important is that you're having fun. Don't worry about anyone else, you know? You'll probably learn something about yourself going through the journey, you know? Maybe, maybe by then, You'll come into that next deep dungeon, you're gonna rock it because of something you learned from that huge experience trying to go for it. So just, that's just the best way you, you, you want to try to take it, in my opinion. If I die, do I reset to floor 1? I won't get the title if I start- yeah, correct. If you die and it hits a KO, one, you can't continue, but two, uh... Like, uh, I'm just gonna go. Then it flips? Well, you find that chat becomes... Horrible? Is that what you're implying? Or detrimental? Is that what you're implying? Oh, you moved. Why, thank you, Mr. 8. What's a good rule of thumb of palm usage 141? I feel like trying to keep... Yeah, 141 plus... Uh... Oh, you... Oh, no, the exit's here. Oh, whoops. Okay. 141 plus, you still want to keep your palms in order. Except if you get like a gargoyle, then I do recommend steel just to play it safe. But you're pretty much like on 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 Pomander reserve until like 171 when you would want to start getting things. All the way, Chris Bound. All the way today. I feel like I want to die inside until 150, and then the chat keeps me going. Gotcha. <laughs> it's not that bad. Come on, it's not that bad. Yo, Lane, thanks for the follow. This is the clear? Well, we'll see. However, the one thing I will tell you is I am feeling very comfortable 
more and more right now. Like, I'm feeling a little bit more like my old red mage self in terms of the button pressing. Like, that was the one I was missing last week. It just felt a lot of things were very awkward. I was still trying to learn how to press the buttons. Right now, I feel like I'm a little bit more on pace with how I typically feel on red mage. Is it worth going to heaven on as tank to learn how it moves faster? You can go in as anything. Tank is nice and durable, so you will survive things a little bit longer. So it's not a bad it's not a bad job for progging, but it honestly isn't a bad job for even clearing. But yeah, it's not a if you want to kind of learn the enemies yourself, that's not a bad way to go. Minus play the macro you recommend the other day about Behemoth when you get there. Uh remind me Oblivion after Behemoth, because I'm not using it on Red Mage. And since I'm on the clock, you know, we're on the clock, but I will not be using it on Red Mage because it's unnecessary. But it's the HPP macro that you're talking about. How's my fingers? That's a personal question, dude. Oh, they're fine. My hands, my hands are um, my my hands are okay. After, after like Friday and last week, they weren't that bad. Yeah, I didn't really get like any too any like lasting effect. Does that make sense? Deal with it. Oh really? I don't know that reference though. So question for the titles, do you need to start from floor 1? You have to start from floor 1, yeah. Yeah, Lazy, you have to start from floor 1. Yo, Namcrom, hello, nice to see you. I think I have seen none of your messages, so... Sorry, but it looks like chat got you, so that's good. <laughs> oh, would it be a good, start good one to start with? Any job, any job that you like is a good one to start with. Um, so... Machina just so happens to be the one with the higher clears too. Do I have all the pure TD? No. That's so annoying to get, not gonna lie. Hi Doa. On my hands, are they all, are, are they wait. Um uh, hold on. Are they are they all firm? Like wait, are we implying I had more than two hands? I'm not sure. Light. Pretty good. I have three. Oh yeah, true, 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 true. Um, if I say yes, I just pulled a wolf. Why the fuck did I pull a wolf? <laughs> and mouse. <laughs> and the mouse. Yeah. You know, I was actually afraid to fight a wolf like last week, but we're like YOLO. See, this is the reason why a wolf is dumb, because he just keeps healing himself. Shit. Okay. How's controller today? A little bit better than last week. I still prefer, you know, my keyboard, which is directly in front of me. But, um... You know, we're doing this for a good reason. There's another. I need to rearrange myself, hold on. Why are sharks a thing? It's the welcoming committee, you know? Hey, you want a solo deep dungeon? Well, welcome to sharks. Drop the chest. Steel! Ooh. Well, that's very fortunate. Are you asking me to use you, Doa? Is that what you just said? That's pretty, uh... Damn, dude. I mean, you gotta go with DMs for that one, dude. Oh, is that what you're saying? Oh, okay. Got it. I will... I need to continue heaven on high. Oh god, okay, well, plan B. Good thing I have steel. At a bad angle. Alright, cool, let's pick up the steel and get on... Oh, this dropped another chest. 
Raising? Okay, well. I need to continue having on a high. I did 1 to 10 machinists for just dipping your toes. It was 3 4 so no items back to back! Well then. Uh, next floor is flighted. Um, not in Palace. It would probably kill you in Heaven on High, Chela. Bako Beats, thanks for the follow, and si and Silencer earlier, thanks for that follow as well. Bird of Paradise. Yeah, Heaven on High will probably kill you. Do you see this intuition, guys? That intuition, where that intuition is, is right now, that is also the same spot as a trap. Like, no joke, that's the same exact spot as a trap that we warn you about in this specific room. That's a troll. I'm trying to bait you into, into getting that thing. Take a screenshot? I'm on a controller. I don't know how to take a screenshot on a controller. These are things I didn't practice for. But the horde? Too bad. <laughs> uh, strength. Capture button on PS5? No, that opens my menu. The other button? No, that doesn't do anything either. Nope. Oh well. I'll just have to do this again to get the footage. Would hugging the wall tight and trigger the trap? Date me, please. Uh, I think a JP player may have demonstrated that if you were RP walking, you can get around it. Just for the sake of displaying, you can get around it, but... Kind of like... A lot more effort than just... It's a lot more effort than just simply not going over there. <laughs> you would just not go over there. You know what I mean? Uh... Oh, it's just standing and chilling right here. Is it a luring trap? It's a trap, but on these floors, a lot of times it, it is going to be a luring trap. Mm. Prizoa, thanks for the follow. And, uh, Poke, uh, Pokarison. Thanks for the follow as well. Yeah, like, like, it's really interesting about certain conversations, date me please. Of like, can you kill something? Can you go over here? You have to kind of put in a little bit of like, is it worth it kind of like, discussion, you know? That's one of those ones where it's like, it's not worth it. Oh, I gotta fool you now, huh? That's a confused ape. Hey, what's up, Bronson? It's going pretty well. I'm feeling a little bit relaxed, because we're, we're getting a little bit more of a feel on the controllers. I'm feeling the controller pretty well, so... What the what floor does reset stop doing 50% HP? That's a little bit of a good question because I'm not entirely sure. I mean, I don't know. Maybe like these like these this floor is these high probably. I mean, it takes you about 30 seconds to kill an ape. Um, that much I remember because in about 30 35 seconds an ape dies due to due to the kiting and whatnot. So that's gonna be more than 50. Is it treasure room? Yeah, it is. That's a lot of fucking answers. Hold on. Okay. Good thing that's not the exit. You're a controller player myself, and I'm happy getting more used to it. I don't know if I'll ever convert over, man, but in terms of, like, my mobility on Red Mage, I feel like I'm getting a lot more... I'm getting a lot more comfort. Um... Like, my movement feels a lot better. Like, I really felt I was just like... Like, just having so many issues remembering what to press and all that stuff. I wasn't using my gap closer enough. I wasn't using swift cast at all. I was probably sitting on, like, on freaking ver stone and ver fire forever, you know? Just because I, I just wasn't used to things. But I made adjustments. I swapped around some buttons. I put swift cast on L3. I have sprint on R4, R3 now. And it seems to flow a little bit better, so... I didn't look at my time. Oh, we're good. Okay. Well, we're on 78, so I still need to move a little bit faster. I have to change my time. Um... Oh, good music. Enter, enter. Upwards.
Oh, all physical. Wait. Oh. Thanks, Ben. See, for for when it came when it comes to control a uh, keyboard for Nilo Ronson, I'm I'm I basically am like in full motion. Like I have no mobility issues on on a keyboard at all. It's because I'm really used to it, right? Um, like I would say the movement on controller does feel pretty fluid. I don't feel myself getting caught up in certain instances where like I'm I like I can't really move correctly. If that makes sense. Uh, hold on. So, we, we are running to this problem about the enemies that I have on the floor. Um, because the options are not great. Did I just- oh, I killed it. I'm like, wait, where is it? So I have three enemies here. We had three Anzus, I have three enemies. So, I'm gonna hope that this will be enough. Right now, what I'm trying to debate on is if I need to kill a single Anzu. Uh, because... I only have three more left to pick from. So we'll see what the key turns into after this pull. Because it, it will determine what I decide to do. Oh, that's not good. Okay, so I'm gonna pull an Anzu. Because I'm a little concerned about, um... I just have to respect it a lot. Now you lion. My heart rate is rising? Yeah, because it's an Anzu. <clears throat> I wanna pop in before I head back. I wanna support Cactor fam. Hey yeah. Cactor has been busy, you know? It's been busy a little bit, but it's but it's always nice to see the the Cactor fam. Uh, keep me out! Thanks for follow. Welcome in. I think I'm going to get hit really hard. Oh yeah, that's a, that's a, that's a puzzle. Let me pick up this strength. Yeah, Anzu was a really good call. Anzu was a freaking good call. Because I felt like we weren't gonna get- we were not gonna get enough kills. Although, we still could not get enough kills. Uh, but we'll see what happens after this cat. You wiped on- Oh no, what happened, Hez? Oh, I'm sorry. Yes, it does, Red Aether, it does. And we, I, I do have a joke sometimes, I call it 50 Shades of Orange. You'll see various shades of that color that can show up, it's pretty disgusting sometimes. Um, No, Kadan! Oh man, I'm sorry. How did it feel though? Was it like was it like a timeout? Was it just like you just get hit with really bad debuffs? Ah uh, shit. So here's that question that we were talking about earlier. What am I doing when I only have answers left? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do oh or plan B, we wait for something to respawn and we pick this one up after being here for five minutes. Well, never mind. Need to steal to fight things to come down and get bonked. Oh, I'm sorry, Kadan. Perfect! Absolutely perfect. I'm gonna do a flight for the next board because of time. Those glint. Oh, yeah. Mm. 
I DC'd on 139 on Teleport Beacon to the boss room. Oh fuck, do hard mods determine how fast the door opens? No. Uh, it's- enemies are, like, as far as we know, there is no, like, enemy weight. You know, like, so if you kill something, per like, perceived to be harder, it will open the exit faster. Th that's- yeah, I don't think that's a thing. It's five minute respawn up here, Aspen. Just a as a heads up, it's five minute respawn. Fuck me! I'm gonna steal. I have to steal because of this one goddamn mate. But I, that means I will have to do some of Behem Behemoth without steal. Which is fine. I, I think I was gonna do that anyway, but now I really have to do it. Are we sure about that? Um, am I sure about that? I'm on 100% sure about that. But I don't think anyone's gone and tested it. I, I do feel like... Um, I'm not sure if that'll be too easy of a thing to test out, but that also determines on like, what are you basing the weight on? Like, we as a community have deemed certain enemies difficult, but that may not necessarily be true for what Square Next decides is hard. I, I don't know. I don't know how you could do it, that's all. Uh, RB Waltz thinks- Oh, Thanks, game. Damn. Well, it's okay. I mean, it's, it sucks because I was not gonna use the steel. Okay, the crow has to die first, and then the minion. The sale effect of meteor, nope. It's more that I was used. I was gonna probably decide not to use it to survive the entire the entire fight of Behemoth, but that really sucks. I was thinking about diving into that that exit, that that um that chest to see what it is immediately, but it was flighted. I'll be really unlucky if we get Mimic, too. Strength is here, so I don't have to use the other one. I do want to check the other chests. Yeah, you have to figure out... There's a whole bunch of details that have to figure out if you're going to determine weight. That's the rage, that's the strength. And then these are two chests I never got to check. Oh, I got the steel back! <gasps> well, that worked out nicely. Okay, well, the Mimic dropped me a steel, so this floor is free. I do want to move a little bit faster, though. I got a bing of the in-game music. So I'm only down the flight, that's it. Which is fine, because I needed to use it. I will drop steel on this fight, and that's okay. I'm okay with that. Okay, Boston. I've done this fight without without steel on on um, Red Mage before, but not on a controller. But I'm getting a little bit more comfortable on a controller, so you know. Hey, look! If you think that's a thing, please by all means see if you can test it out and let us know. You know, there are so many mysteries involving Deep Dungeon. It's pretty incredible how even up till like the very this very day, we're discovering things that I didn't know about, that you guys didn't know about, etc. So, you know, there is a lot of mystery with Deep Dungeon. A lot of it has, you know, the community has sort of like chipped away at, but I'm sure there's still more. Gonna make sure I keep my MP going. I thought about it. Mm -hmm. 
Gotta keep an eye on my steel. Ah! It's a little bad that I had a slight delay there. Okay. That slight delay could be the difference between me taking that hit or not. How do people do this fight on tanks? Very carefully. Very carefully, and very preci precise. But it's been done by all four tanks, so... It is doable, it is really hard. <laughs> like, right? Like, in- like, amongst the jobs, in reality, Red Mage is easy mode when it comes to Behemoth. Now, you could still die, like, like, don't get me wrong, like, you could die horribly to Behemoth even as a Red Mage, but in terms of what needs to be done, it definitely is on the kind of the, the better side of things versus like really a lot of the other 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 options available. Forget how bobbin this music is? Oh my god, this is just the best music. Like I was talking about it before, I really hope that Revenge Twofold will show up in the next Deep Dungeon. Like, maybe not as much, fine, but you have to give me a Revenge Twofold, you know? You can't, like, this is, this, this, this theme now is like synonymous in my opinion with Deep Dungeon. Not, not Heaven's Word Dungeon theme. No, no, Deep Dungeon. When I hear this thing, I think Deep Dungeon, 100%. I've been trying to get my potion up for like the whole half bit of that fight. Good fumbling. Uh, Rant, thanks for the follow, and Shall Tear, thanks for the follow. Welcome in, guys. You've definitely come and followed at quite the awesome time. I'm gonna handle Behemoth solo on the on the OG Red Mage. Oh hi! Thanks for the follow, welcome in. Yeah, seeing the timer, yeah, yeah. mm-hmm. It's a really precise fight. It's a solid challenge, like, it's, it's, if anything, like, it is super exhilarating to pull it off on tank. That is for sure, you know, that is without a doubt something that is probably one of the most special things you can do against Behemoth. You know, the harder it is, the more satisfying it is to pull it off. But it is damn hard, and you can totally get demoralized. But... My steel is down in 28 seconds. I need to pay attention to that. We are making really good time on my shank though. I don't think I have to worry about that at all. Getting closer to the enrage. The enrage is at um, 20, uh, just under 15%, so 14%. 14.9 specifically, but we won't see the decimal here. Okay, 3 seconds on steel. Steel is now down, so I need to make sure I manage my heals here. A little bit, a little bit. Fights basically into enrage just about, you know, very soon, so... I'm gonna push it here. I just botched my, uh, my sustaining potion. Okay. I double tap L2, which I don't like. Should be fine. Should be fine.
should be fun. Okay. Not too bad on red mage. Not too bad on red mage. <laughs> Cheers. Lowest heart rate for Behemoth? Yeah, because it's not that big of a deal. <clears throat> of my recent runs? Oh, when I hit like 180? I was that macro. So that macro, the one we use for a lot of the other ones, which Oblivion was talking about. Okay! Oh my god, I don't... What did I just do? Oh, I did that. Okay. Good night, Celine. Hey, guys. Check out our buddy Celine. Please. Give her a follow, check her out. She's gonna be streaming tomorrow when maintenance is down. She's gonna do some FF10 and that playthrough is a lot of fun to watch, but she is a FF14 vet. She's got a wonderful community, but she is damn good at raiding and if you ever want some raiding advice and all that stuff, you have to go to her because she is wonderful. She got me into doing PvE content, dude. That's a, that's enough to tell you that I she's trusted, so check her out. So have a good night. Thank you for staying as long as you did. I really appreciate this thing. Thank you for being here. Um, yeah, there's that macro oblivion. That's the one we use for, uh, Behemoth, for, for managing the HP. Mm hmm Thank you. Thank you, man. Just curious, is there a reason I don't lust? Um, because Aspen, I want it for 190. I don't need lust here for Red Mage, because it's unnecessary. I would much rather have it for 190. Because there's a chance I don't pick one up, um, moving forward. So I'd rather have it for 190. That's pretty much what it comes down to. Uh, Dark, hello. Hey, Los. Can Machinas... Yes. With Steel. With Steel. With Steel. What percentage do you go full burst? So with that macro, Oblivion, you push it down to 14 point... Uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You push it down to like 15.1, 15.0 using that macro. And that's where you do it. And then... You kind of set up the situation in the rotation that you want to do the push. Ideally, once it's about to start something, because that buys you a couple GCDs before it gets into meteor, and then you start your, and then you do your 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 burst. So, what should I eat in Palace of Dead? Depends on the job, Akia. Um, honestly, you can use your favorite raid food. I use Zephyr for for caster because I just kind of like the little, the tiny little bit of spell speed I get. Um, I use pizza. For, for my melee and my tanks and all that, and my DPS. But for my casters, I use Zephyr. It is viable, yeah. It's really hard though, it can, but it's, it is, yeah. Um, okay. Shall, uh, let me do the title, and then we shall continue, boys and girls. Boys and girls and girls and boys. 181 plus. Palms are looking sexy. Three mages, but two flights, but that's not a bad thing. Let's keep going. No, so one of the things where we, we were able to dispel Salty, aside from people actually actually breaking down your base stat, like there, we have a spreadsheet in Discord where someone was able to break down all the base stats. So they actually also figured out what is the best tincture to use, like what's the cap essentially. But one of the early, early ways that we figured out that, that the secondaries work Salty was when you use spell speed or skill speed, you look at your GCD before the food, you look at your GCD after the food, it changes. It's very minimal though, it's not like a significant change, it's like a hundredth of a thing. But it still changed, which means it applied. You know what I mean? So. Kind of funny that Red Mage can withstand Behemoth like Polish no steel, but with the monkey they get their ass. Well, I could kill I could kill a monkey without steel, but again, that's one of those that's one of those discussions about is it worth doing? You know, is it practical to do? Is is my heart rate gonna take it? It's a dead end. Okay. Best I actually don't know. I'm not well versed in that. I don't kinda do a lot of optimizing for those details, so unfortunately I couldn't really tell you. <laughs> Dunderson, thanks for the follow. Can you get rage one? Oh absolutely. The thing you cannot get from here on, Midnight, is Raising. I will never see another Raising for the rest of this run. You can only get Raising up until 180. <laughs> you want Unreal Mog Mog King, okay. 
Just don't just don't say that in public. Best of luck, man. Yeah, Los Johns. Best of luck, dude. Good luck. Good luck, good luck, good luck, good luck. Yo, Los, definitely come back and let me know what happened, alright? I'll still be here more than likely. I did 121 to 130 set and I found seven potchards! Yeah, our buddy, um, our buddy Zamboka, who's also a content creator, he came in and told me that on from 110, uh, 101 to 110, he picked up eight, and eight potchards. Like, yeah, that's what I said, man. So you get the potchards, the higher floors. Doesn't it seems like a lot of work, but that's where you get it. <coughs> Enemy options are not great. I have two more bombs I can pull though. Because I keep thinking I'm gonna hit a trap. Oh yeah, that's uh that's the um spawn room. That donut room is the spawn room, so. Hold on. I gotta walk out of here. Nailed it. Find the Kruger spot to and do until floor 30 over and over. That's not bad. I mean, honestly, I would recommend you just keep going. As long as- you keep going until, like, you die without using potchards, in my opinion. That's kind of how I did it. Uh, but yeah, that's that's not a bad problem. It's just you still only get most of it from, like, 101+. plus. How hard is Dancer in Heaven on high? Not too bad. Um, I will say it's not- it, it is kind of on the bottom tier for me for the physical range. But by, not by a lot, it is a good job in Deep Dungeon, uh, in Heaven on High, so you're not going to lose out too much. But does but do moves that shift the character position? Yes, they do. Yes, it will aggro. I think I've tested that before, Bip Tech. It will aggro. Because I think you're in full motion. Ooh. Hey, and, and Magus, thanks for follow. Welcome in. What's up, Relics? Good morning, I think. Yes. Yeah, so that is a whole- that is a complete update. The sprites got nerfed hardcore. Because now you can see the radials, I know exactly which way they're facing. So I know this one's facing over there, because you can see the, the arrow. They got nerfed hard. They didn't see it coming, man. Because <laughs> they don't have eyes, get it? They didn't see, they didn't see it coming. Oh. I thought it was okay. <clears throat> The reason I say because I get a lot. Oh, you get a lot, seventy-one to eighty. I don't get any that on those floors. Forward-facing aether sensors. <laughs> aether sensors. I like that. So they're basically your stola. Just stole elementals. Okay, so that's a witching. I can fight the sprite. Let me fight one sprite for the witching. Just enough. Wonderful. Let's go. Which room's the hardest? Like, which floor is the hardest, Bishamon? Is that what you're asking? How many Spain toys do you use in one floor set? Um, between... You'd probably use between 500 to 600, depending on the job. Like, maybe, like, high, high, like, high 600-ish you'd probably use, depending on the job. Um... I'd say 187. Once we start seeing 187, 186, those are really gonna be like tough, tough floors in general. Like the worms and the frost dragons and the and the and the scorpions. It's like really kind of a bad, bad mix of, of, of things altogether. together. 
Blood Dragons, everyone's favorite. Okay, that's a strength. Dude, there's all Wormoras everywhere. Oh, it's annoying. So one more and more and more and more. Holy crap. Oh my god! I only have five things I can kill here. And I have to steal for the Wormora. Well, I mean, I don't have to steal, but I would prefer to. Just learned about doing solo creators next next two days ago. That's why I found my channel. Hello, my fourth one machine is now on four 120. Trying, I'm now trying Red Mage controller to guide my posture. Hell yeah, let's go. Um, I think I caused a problem, guys. You caused a problem. Okay, we're fine. But it was important to read that message, you know. I can't I can't not read the message. I'm getting way more comfortable on all the healing and, and weaving in my heals. I really like the position of my Burk here now. That it's on the right side, not the left side. Okay. You got the Cola Bear! Okay, I, that will not be me. I will not become any unlazy to get the Polar Bear. It's a... Uh, and that makes sense. I mean, you probably used a lot on the boss too, so that, that kind of pans out, you know? <laughs> yeah, I wish they... I wish you can interrupt them. Alright, I figured. Um... Alright, I'm going to get myself back to the spawn room, and we're gonna try to do Wamuras. They are not fun without steel, but I do have strength, so we'll try to do it. Oh, I have one more. Actually, I have one more spider too. Let's do another spider. Before I have to go crazy on this one. Neo Strides, thanks for that follow. Welcome in. Potion. Oh boy. Good. Uh, hey, yeah, Bishmon. Well, this is temporary, you know, this is temporary. So, but yeah, that's actually pretty funny. I do have the Warm Mura. So, the exit has the Warm Mura. So, I should clue. I, could, I wanted to get back into this room so I can have some kiting room. I really, really have to be diligent on my heals, though. This is gonna be a tough fight. Because they hit me from afar and they do double attacks. That's why this fight sucks. I was thinking about using a steel, but I'm a little bit more confident now. Confidence goes a long way, you know what I mean? Oh, wait, chain, chain. I gotta go to the chain. Almost forgot the chain. Seem to use it in the sprites. Um, yeah, I was, but I, yeah, I mean, I guess, but I was also, uh, I kind of correctly knew how to do that, yeah. Because I was mitigating some of the damage from the melee, you still get hit with cannonball, but yeah, probably. Maybe I maybe I should adjust. Yeah. No, the cannonball's what's bad. Chitauri almost saved me, man. Yeah, I just remembered. Oh, nice. Not nice. This is gonna be a purity, I think. No, it's a witching. Witching, witching, witching. Thanks for that follow. I only get hit for 10k, what's the big deal? Oh, fuck, it's an imp. That's really bad. No, I don't think I killed this in time. Shh. 
shit, dude. Oh, that's not good. That's not good. Nah, I wasted the witching. I don't kill this in time. Oh, you kidding me? Oh, uh, witching again. Because the one more is gonna heal the mimic. Now that's a really big waste of a. Oh, that's bad. I'm probably dead. Great. Because I didn't see the Omura. And then I can't use this room either. That sucks. Because I didn't look at the uh, I didn't look at the witching after, and I wasn't I didn't have enough HP, so I couldn't survive the the volley. But I lost this shank though, which really sucks. I think I might up it up. I might put it back up again. But I cannot go into this room either. I guess on the bright side, I don't have pox. But I lost the I lost the raising. Which to be fair, I would have normally only had one raising going into the next set anyway. Nice dodge. But the spawn room is lost to me. I can't use the spawn room. Because that mimic is just sitting there. Okay. Now let's see. Good for this. <laughs> That's nice of you to say, Chris Brown. I am trapped in a hallway without any ability to kite. Pretty lame. Uh, 98 aces, thanks for the follow. Welcome in. Also, Messiah, you said hello. Uh, you followed in as well. Thank you for that. Then you, okay, my weakness is now gone. Everything's shoved up into the area over there. Flight came back. You're looking this way. Grenade. Can't get too close. I didn't get the ugh, hit the wrong button. Okay, a little concerned about that other one, but I got across. There are so many sprites. Okay, let's go this way. Witching came back, that's not bad. Doesn't make up for the strength that I lost though. Purity, which sucks, because I could have used it. Great. Hey! Oh, thanks for the tier one, man. I appreciate it. Thanks for the two month, two month of support. I appreciate that, man. Thanks, 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 thanks. Okay. I have no healing. That was a purity, which does me nothing. There is a chest here. These are sound. You need dungeon small hallways and claustrophobic corridors full of enemies. Uh, what I was thinking was traps traps on hallways, enemies spawning on hallways, and whenever you walk along the wall, you get pushed into the room. So, technically wall traps. <laughs> Come on, I need experience. Uh, I'm gonna pull split. I don't have one- I don't have running room for uh... I don't have running room for Walmart. Mm. Mm. I'm double tapping. Okay. 
kill you next. You like the idea? It is a little tempting to pull this Mimic Knuckle line, because uh, I've already cleared the room. Uh, rather, I have a Purity that I could pick up times two, but I won't. That interrupts. These are so much more annoying, holy crap. Oh my god, stop. I'm just gonna go to the next trip. Okay. Nice. Okay, enemies are gonna be easier. Sight is I, I have not seen a sight in a long time. Two They sure do! Um, in that specific situation, cynic, uh, cynically, that's a tough one for Machinist. Machinist will benefit if you have running room, but also you wouldn't pull a sprite on Machinist unless you steal, to be fair. Casters are a nightmare when it comes to Machinist, so you're at a disadvantage, but everything else is fair game. Uh, the Wamora not that bad, the Garm would have been good, the Mimic would have been fine, the Wamora would have been fine, like a lot of things would have been fine in Machinist, provided you had the running room. Um, but in that tight quarters, it's really bad for a lot of jobs in general. I mean, it, really, all the jobs except maybe like healer or tank, so... But it would have been handled differently if I was a machinist, like, 100%. I'll pull one, this is just kind of annoying. <laughs> it's not. <laughs> it's not. It's my playlist. It's not the game's playlist. But I'm glad. Uh, I'm glad I was able to. Con I was able to immerse you that you thought it was part of it. Uh, fortune. Yeah, my playlist. Mm -hmm. But I changed around the tra like I change the music every so often, so it kind of does have the vibe that is in Deep Dungeon. If that makes sense. I kind of like that immersion. About to hop into uh, gonna have its way with you. Yo, good luck. Damn, it's nice to see a lot of the people coming in and, and hopping into those high floors. Wish you all good luck. Okay, my strength is gone. Rip my strength. Do do do. Er Lee, thanks for follow. Give me something good to fight. That's not one of them. Oh shit. Controller, 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 controller. <sighs> Man, at least, you know, I figured that would happen at least at one time, huh? God damn it, dude. That was 100% me jerking the, the analog stick. 100% me jerking the analog stick. I tried to be careful. <laughs> I tried to be careful, but I was in between two things that did sight, and I stopped for a second because I think I was re-angling, I was changing my angle. So, that sucks. Yeah, now I don't have witching. I tend to actually use up a lot of my witching on these fours too, so that kind of sucks. Also, I had to use the steel, you know, to, to do that, so that's great.
So what I'm gonna do to help myself out now that the steel is, is running, I'm gonna do a flight for the next floor. Um, flight nap once to see if I can pull some back because I'm now missing some things. Um, but this will also help me with speed to kind of get the most out of the steel. If I was gonna steal, I was gonna start flighting to try to get like two floors out of the flight. We use this so early now. There is Katori, but I'm not relying on it because if I get hit while I'm doing it, it will kick me out of it'll kick me out of walk. I can I can hit zero I can hit uh circle and walk. Like that. But if I get hit while that's happening with that worm that, that you see up there, I'm gonna get kicked out of walk. So it's a habit I don't wanna form. I have to do with the analog stick, that's all it is. What's my favorite solo jobs to play? Ninja is a lot of fun. Red Mage is by far my, my favorite in general. And um I do like I, I like a lot of them. I like I like Warrior in, 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 in Heaven on High. I like Machinist a lot in general, so yeah. Pew pew. Oh shit! Why am I getting my ass kicked? Oh, because I got hit with okay. Got it. Yeah, I don't want to do the zero one, the O. Oh. Then R one to walk. Oh, if you do like an auto auto run thing. Really? Oh, that's interesting. You're talking about auto. You're talking about auto run, right? You're talking about auto auto run. All right, the true test of my ability to walk right now. No, yeah, I know what you mean. I, I figured, I figured, I know what you mean. But thank you. That's that's actually interesting to know. Flight came back. I... Nice and easy, easy peasy. I do want to get to that other chest though. Well, I guess I'll get to this one first. Is that controller? Okay. Yeah, I mean, I'm not gonna know- like, that's an actually interesting one. I wouldn't have known that one. Uh, Psychopath. Thanks for follow up, man. Yeah, maintenance is tomorrow. I believe in myself. Good. How long is maintenance? Long. I think it starts at 6 p.m. Pacific and finishes at like something later. I don't know. Yeah, hot fixes is what they said. Maybe, maybe. Maybe to do something about the DDoSs. Six to three. Yeah. Early, early maintenance. Which <laughs> nerf or make it harder? Steel came back! Yo, let's go. Something respawned. Okay, I can do this. I can do this. Alright, good luck, Space Crumbs. Hey man, just 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 keep fighting. You never know. You know, you never know. Just keep going. I wanna check the chest first, because if it's a mimic, I can eliminate it. And then we will, uh, proceed. 
Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. That's why I check it. That's why we check it. It's a flighted floor, so I probably only need one more kill. In between floors, yes. In between instances, no. So my raising will last me all the way until we kill the boss, and then I need to apply a new one once we get to 191 close. Stop getting them at this. Yes, at uh, this set of floors, 181 plus, you no longer see raisings. We know that only because of just a large sample size. It's pretty much like unless someone shows up, so shows us evidence that you still get one, we're going to believe that you don't. Let me use another. Same for heaven on high, 81 plus, yep. Shit. This is not particularly good. Because I don't know what my options are to fight. If I steal again... I'm committing. Let's see what, it can, let's see what I can get away with. Yep, Heaven on High is only 100 floors, that's correct. Ow. I cannot check that room. Oh, the debuffs are extremely scary. Don't get me wrong, they're really fucking scary. Unless he's Serenity. <laughs> they're not so scary after you use Serenity. Let me check this room. I still only have like one thing I can fight, which is the uh... Which is the dino the, the, the dinosaur. We'll see. I'm gonna Purity. I don't- I don't know what I would have done. I think I still would have Serenity, because I was debating a Rage. But I think I still want to save the Rage maybe once we get into 187. Maybe I Rage there. We'll see. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. I only have- let's I only have two- yeah, I only have one thing I can kill. And the other one's the Worm, which I prefer not to. Scorpions, I want to have Steel for for the Scorpions. Um... If I'm forced into a steal, then I'd be forced into also doing a flight. This, by the way, is what I was afraid of, uh, 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 fighting this one last week because, um, I wasn't very comfortable about my heals, my healing situation. I don't know if I fought this without steel last week, but I know I was trying probably not to because this takes a rather particular method of trying to survive this fight. Takes a little bit of a particular method to make sure my heals are managed on that fight. That wasn't com com as comfortable as it could be though. Um, so now what's the play? 
I think it has to be the scorpions, but I think I have to steal. If I steal, then I should flight. Which conserves me one rage, because then I could maybe get away with two rages. So it's strength and steal. Uh, if it's no knockback, then rage doesn't work. If that makes sense. I'm gonna take it slow here. It's fine. I'll just heal through it. If I have to pull another one, it's gonna be the other scorpion. My DR, my, my diminishing return on slow will be better though. I'm gonna heal again. Oh god, I hit the wrong button. Nice. I'm gonna flight and I'm gonna go. Don't jerk the analog stick. Good. Um, not they're not necessarily free. Tail screw still kind of screws you up, but they are not bad because they don't pull you in. That is definitely true. Yeah, I'm blinded. OG, OG Puckboy, thanks for follow. Me. Like being like so like let's take a machinist. Um, take a machinist, Mister Th Mister Throw. If your whole thing is to stay away from the enemy, then having no knockback is tremendously useful because they could never pull you in. You know what I mean? So yeah, that's really really good. Um. They still do an enormous amount of damage, like they're still gonna kick your butt, but at least you don't have to deal with that one mechanic and it really is gonna mi mitigate so much of your damage. Oh, he is cheating. This Chimera is cheating. You see him leaning to his left? If I was on the wall, he would've aggroed. You have to watch out for that when they're going through the room because, um... They can totally do that. So if I was on the wall, I would've aggroed. And Dan's paying dividends in POTD. Chimeras are the leading cause of deaths in here. 100%. Dragon Boy's in again. They are as long as you're paying attention. Just pay attention. If you're not paying attention, you're instantly dead. Like, it is just a one-shot. Just pay attention. I, I didn't do it now, but a lot of times I would verbally just yell it. Ram out, ram out, ram out, drag it in, drag it in. That might actually help you. Um, oh, we got the, uh, we got the floaty chest. I'll get, the, I'll get, I'll do it later. Got the, got the, um, the infamous floaty chest. Do, 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 do. Dude, it's a frost dragon. Oh, there's nothing else. Okay, we're just gonna pull. Nothing else here. I did say it? Yeah. Sometimes I'll say it, just to remind myself. You never know. Yo, good luck, Nora! Yo, so many of you guys hopping in on the high floors. Let's go, man. Good luck. I should still be here by the time you're done. Damn it. Man, don't make me kill a worm, because I actually, I don't know if I- Well, I'm not gonna kill it. Oh, fine. We'll figure it out. Hmm. Oh, I missed.
Once I took that much damage, I straight up looked at my steel. I'm like, do I have steel on? Yeah, I have steel. I got steel on. Okay, thank god. I'm gonna alter the next floor. We might be able to squeeze out of it, but it's, I'm very unsure about this. But we'll try. There's also a potential trap on this right side, but if I go very close to this wall, we should be okay. Good. Hey, it's Rin! Yo, what's up, man? Wow, I'm actually... I'm actually live when you're done. Well, you had a long day. You were with Darian in a car. Talking, talking forever. Yo, thanks for shouting out our buddy Rin Kiragane. Yo, Tank Hub. Tank Hub, dude. But also, like, just... Man, one of the one of the greatest raiders the game has to offer. And helps so many people try to clear raids. That's Rin Kiragane, guys. Yo, what's up, man? I'm doing pretty... I'm doing pretty good on my end. Thank you for asking. Hope you're good. Slept three hours? Well, you know what? You guys had a wonderful show over there with, with Darian, so... You know, I think, I think it's... it's it was worth the lack of sleep, maybe. I'm sure she treated you well, right? I'm sure she treated you well. Sometimes I get a little concerned, you know? I was telling her last time, I'm like... The first two guests that she brought on, like, I haven't seen them again. Like, they, they're just gone. Like, I don't know what happened, man. They, they did the interview and they the, just, like, vanished. I'm like, shit, dude, what are you doing? Need to keep them alive, man. But I'm glad to see that you are okay. <laughs> is is, is Zyros is missing? <laughs> Yeah, man, it's a little concerning. I mean, those car, those carpool uh, interviews are such a great idea, but people disappear after. It's really scary. But yeah, thanks for bringing you guys. Thanks for bringing the crew over. Angela's Demon is here doing some deep dungeon on a controller, by the way. Um, if you, if some of you guys from Rin's community are are in, are um, big fans of the uh, Drifter community and the Drifter streamers, then a lot of you would know Komi is a. Uh, Master, master controller player, and I'm I'm drawing inspiration from her right now because I do not play on a controller. <laughs> I uh, this is my fourth day on a controller. I played keyboard only for like eight years, so we're trying to figure this out. And of course, you know, the place I know best is in here. So we're trying to clear on this job on a controller. When we get, when can we get a screenshot of the um? So, so Sin Vanity, we don't have one for the 90 boss, only because it's kind of a really simple fight. But you can do exclamation point T-O-T-O -T -O 190. T-O-T-O -T -O 190. And that will give you the one that we're going to be using for this fight. I got out of this floor without using a rage. I'm going to get pummeled here. Just kidding. Uh, without the space, without the space, my friend. So one, one word. There you go. Thanks, Sean. Thanks, team. I begin my solo run, but I don't know which one. Which job to do? Hey, I mean, you were you were trying machinist. Machinist is great. Um, okay, so I want to do a fortune rage. Oh, I can't. Hmm. I have to surrender name. We'll do it. Let me do a site. I do want a fortune rage here. I absolutely want a fortune rage here. This will also buy me time to figure out uh, what I want to do. Okay, hold on. Oh shit! Oh, I'm stupid. Mm, stupid, stupid, stupid. I'm stupid. I didn't do the thing. Fuck. So that's great. What am I gonna do now? I think I'm still gonna do it because I can get chest back. Mm, that's not good. I'm still gonna do it because I can chest back. Because this is blinded, or was blinded. Damn. I haven't done that in a long time. I still had time to probably fight through things, but... It's fine. Please be safe. I wanted to make it harder to myself, clearly. Man, I forgot to do it in order. I also called it out too, which sucks. So like you called it out. You're like, hey, okay, I need to do this. Um. Oh shit! Well, we really had to rage here. Right on top of the exit, so I had to do it anyway. Good. I guess. Can I kill them all in time though?
That's it. That's all I get. Thanks for follow, by the way. Lusts. Fortune. A little concerned about that dragon. Intuition. Not great on the pulls. And I don't know if I'm getting over here. I don't know if that's worth it. Dude, like nothing dropped either. What's the least stressful job to play? Tanks. Well, you're stressed about time, but tanks are pretty good. I did not get shit from that. And I wasted a rage for that too. Hmm. And I have to use a strength steel. We really set ourselves back a little bit here. That sucks. So in the end, it actually would have been better to fight through this floor, although it still would have been really complicated. I'm gonna try to get over to... Well, there's one chest here I need to check. That's first and foremost. The dragon did move. He wants to go into the wall, apparently. I'm gonna check that one, and then we'll see about the last one. I have not done a knockback rage in a long time. But it happens. Fuck. Now I have to... Purity. Or, no, I have to purity. I was gonna say I could wait like 10 minutes, but I think I have the purity. But I do have time for the mimic. Alright, so... What do you do if you don't have bus lost the boss? You better hit your buttons really hard. Like really, really hard. If you hit them harder, you do more damage. That's what I've been told. No items got turned into an otter? Oh no, lazy. That sounds painful. Oh, you fucking dragon, dude. Well, I'm gonna have to wait anyway, but I'm not sure if I wait for this pox. If I wait for the pox, it's gonna come out in six minutes, so I'd have to do... It's not worth it. I have to use the pox. But but I only need 8 minutes on the boss, so that's why I'm chillin'. Ah, it feels bad about that rage, dude. Mm. So, instead of going into 191 with like really good palms, we're kind of going with standard palms. It is what it is. What's the easier attempt to... I actually recommend Heaven on High, Gordo. The only reason is because it's 100 floors, and you kind of learn kind of the basics a little bit faster, because you just get to things harder faster. If that makes sense? That's why I typically recommend Heaven on High, but there's nothing wrong with going Palace first, there isn't. You can go Palace first if you want to. Um, and honestly, we're currently in a time period, Godo, where, what do we have, two and a half months till Endwalker? Unless you're seeking out- oh shit. Unless you're seeking out both titles, you probably want to just focus on one right now, you know? If you really want Necromancer first, you probably should go to Palace first. You know, if we had more time, I would say, hey yo, do Heaven on High, you know, relax, go into Palace later. A little bit different now because of the timing of the patch and everything. The uh, timing of the expansion. I have five more minutes I can kill. This dragon is taking forever to move. They are. There's a possibility for literally anything, Sean. And and we haven't really seen anything lean in one direction or another, so I could not give a I could not even give an ounce of a speculation, because I just don't know. Um, we'd have to see potencies and whatnot. You know, and see how they kind of go in for it. With your even sage, you're more than likely to have a decent kit out of them. Yep. Yep, what Rin said. What's the rush to get titles to expansion? It's not so much a rush to do it. I mean, there's a couple reasons that you can make. You can think, like, maybe Deep Dungeon gets easier later. Maybe Deep Dungeon gets harder later. You know, adjusting your chances. My thing is more that once Deep Dungeon shows up, then... Oh, I'm sorry. Once Endwalker shows up, then... Um... Everyone's- we're all gonna be busy with the expansion. And we're gonna probably be playing the expansion for like a month, two months, you know? Like, you may not have time to delve back into Deep Dungeon. This dragon does not want to move. So that's why I'm, I'm kind of pushing that two month- like, I'm trying to say like a two month- two and a half month type of, um... Um... Limit. Because, you know, if you really want the title, it's either you can get it now, or... You get it like... Like six months from now. I'm going to back run of these two if there's new D dungeon. Oh yeah, absolutely. We're gonna go... Fuck me, dude. I'm gonna give this one more move, but then that's it. 
Yeah, uh, yeah, everything gets back burned into the new- I'll probably, like, try to omni-clear the new deep dungeon, honestly. <laughs> I'll just do the whole new deep dungeon. M maybe I split it up like I've been doing now, just to kind of make sure I don't get burned out. But absolutely, we're gonna dive into the new one. Fits the Reaver? Yeah, Necromancer Reaver, man. That's, that's a really cool combination. I still have three minutes to burn, and I can get to the exit pretty well, so we're gonna chill. Uh, did Ebola ask something? I missed it. Saki, hello. Man, the only reason I'm not, I'm doing Neko is to is to combo it with Reaper and Endwalker jobs. Yeah, fair. Are these sand pillars completely random? They're coming from this bitch ass worm that's back here. This one over here. Right over there. Right back there. I'm getting shot by him. Okay, after patiently waiting for 12 hours, we actually got the movement. Now could I get this chest? That's the question. Without dying. Can I get the chest and make my way back? Hey Scorpion, you gotta move, man. And I could sack myself. If worse come, push comes to shove, I can sack myself. That scorpion is not moving. Dragon just move. I'm locked here. I gotta get to the exit soon though. Don't jerk the don't jerk the pad. Don't jerk the analog stick. Oh, the crits, dude? If I take another one! <laughs> if I took a crit, I would have died right there. Are you kidding me right now? Oh my god. Sometimes I really hate this game, man. <sighs> uh, Mump, thanks for the follow. Safe to say that I need to purity now. This will make my life a lot easier. No, because this dragon might move any second. I can sack myself if I really need to. Like, if we get to 9 minutes and nothing's happening, I will probably just sack myself. Um, although I should probably do it now, because then the weakness would wear. I'd rather not die, though. But I'm running out of time. I'm going to give this till 10.20. We got- we got the movement. Gotta hope the scorpion doesn't give me a problem though. That dragon has not really moved this entire time and now you're being a bitch? I go this way. That's a lust in the chest. Alright, boss time. I'm gonna look at the uh... I'm gonna be looking at my chart, so I will not look at chat for this fight. Also, I really shouldn't, because I'm not even gonna be a. F I'm not even gonna afford myself to do that, because I'm still not even used to it. So I'm gonna be looking at this and uh, Godspeed, guys. Um. Okay. Strength. Oops, strength. Steel. Thank you. Dead yet. Okay, got him. Shit. A little late, but we'll do we'll work with it. I that swift. Okay, I'm gonna get him to the first spot, which is going to be over here. 
thanks for the follow. Can't see it, but I appreciate it. Next bomb is going to be south. Gonna get my thing up soon after this one. Next lost just one tick. Okay, potion. Oh, potion, potion, potion. Okay, we're good. Next one is all the way over here. Gonna get him over here. Almost did my Contra, but I remember it's a hold. Next one is going to be middle. Okay, that was really good. Potion should be coming up now, which allows me to do the last lusts. Gonna move. Gonna kind of set myself up to the next one, which is going to be up here. Gonna wind up a cure. Bomb out. Next one is going to be a uh, y'all. Uh, it's gonna be south. Follow. Uh, oh. Okay, buttons. I can get this one off. Um, next one is to my this direction. We're actually doing exceptional damage right now. I'm gonna kill a lot faster than I thought I could. I'm gonna tank a tag buster here. Park. Double heal. Hold. I'm gonna push him. Why do I have- oh! Math is hard. Okay. Next bomb is gonna be- oh, I don't care. The next bomb is southeast.
think there's one more sap. I'm just gonna heal up anyway. Yep. And the last one is gonna be there. He's already where it needs to be. But this is a really fast fight. I actually have not killed it. I think this fast since Ninja. Holding. Good thing I held. Not that bad. <laughs> Not bad. Uh, <clears throat> dual cast lust, yep. But like in a good way, thanks Madison. And thanks for those follows, uh Lorana, Fluffy Tails, Absord, Ariolus Ariolius, Ari oh Ar Ariolois. Oh god, I'm sorry, I apologize. Yeah, my red mage was 0.1%. How feasible is it started trying this content with the rough ping? AU to GP. How bad is that? Is that bad? I tried- I had tried to clear Madison this with high ping from NA to JP, and I was on Machinist. And, uh, I just about pulled it off. So, it, it's doable. I mean, honestly, with high ping, casters would be a little bit better. Something with a slower GCD might be better. But with Machinist, it was still doable too, so yeah. 150? I don't think it's that bad. I did a 180. I did- I did NA JP. It was really bad. Um, thanks to these follows, by the way, guys. Madison, Kiwi, and Just Play Fair. Appreciate it, guys. Welcome in. We are going to continue. I will continue. However, I need a small break. I'm going to hit the restroom, and then we'll continue the controller run. So this is attempt number two on a controller. Last week, we got to 193. This week, we'll see what I had. I made a critically bad mistake, so I'm hoping I can, I can save myself and we can recover the next set. It's not a bad mistake in where I don't think we'll clear anymore. It's just, um... I put myself in a tough position, so we'll see how it goes. Is this hard on controller? What I will say, Aereo, I am a keyboard I am a keyboard only player. I usually play with both my hands on the keyboard. And I played like that for seven and a half years, eight years. This is my fourth day on a controller. And it's hard for me to suggest that it's harder or easier. I think people who are main controller players will be fine. Like I don't think it's a problem. You know, if I'm able to pick up a controller kind of this fast in four days, I think we'll tell, definitely tell you that it's not about harder or easier. It's just more like, are you able to? So I don't think it's about harder or easier. Like my my perception right now is totally skewed because I am uncomfortable with a controller. I'm very uncomfortable. But by no means would I suggest that it's harder. Like that's not that's not what it is. It's just I'm just not comfortable. If I put eight years of time on a controller, this would be no problem. You know what I mean? So. Um. Giving D giving Pete and Monday through Necros. Well, it's like 500 of us, you know, our rant, but yeah, it's very nice of him. And it, it really looks like he's having fun too, so. Um, but yeah, um, Melody, like, I would give it a shot, you know? Um, is there a tier list? Any Anyone you ask, Madison, if it comes to a tier list, is gonna be subjective. So if I provide you a tier list, bear in mind it's subjective. If you ask someone else, they might give you a different answer. But the job that has the most clears is Machinist. The second job that has the most clears is Red Mage. And there's a spattering of other jobs that have clears. I mean, all the jobs have clears, but the numbers kind of vary between the, between the liking. So you can try your favorite job. There are some jobs that will have a varying degree of success, you know, maybe a little bit more, maybe a little bit less. Um, but yeah, I mean, if that's a good starting point, give that a shot, you know, and then see how you feel with the job. So, um, all right. BRB guys, hang on for a couple of minutes and we will continue this run. We'll see how we go. Bean, thanks for that follow as well. Thank you all for being here. I hope you're having a good watch. Um, I really hope we can get the clear today and we'll see you and try best. So thank you, BRB. Thanks for being here, guys.
Now, like, team, you broke two controllers. You, you, oh god. I, this is my PS5 controller. I have not broken any controllers, thankfully. So we'll see, uh, we'll see what happens there. Alright. Back in. I'm gonna refruit up. Controller! Is it even worth using POTD to get level gains in other classes? If you're trying to go for the title, it's not a bad thing. But Pals of the Dead is only really good to get up to like um, 60. And then it kind of really takes a while past that. So. Valerius, hey man. Won't be seeing you next two weeks. Oh, hey, enjoy your vacation. I mean, I appreciate that, but enjoy your vacation, man. Cheers. I'll be back when you come. I'll be I'll be here when you come back. Mhm. Mm I'm on a PS5 controller. See, PS5 controller. I was able to find a way to um. I was able to find a way to get it to work on the game. Can I do again? Yeah, come back. Uh, come back. There was this thing on um Reddit that. Like, basically, you change the settings in your config to just put in a code that makes it read the PS5. That's basically all it is. Like, that's all I can say. I, like, it was really complicated. But, like, like, I think the original settings for PS4, you just, like, input codes and then, boom, it's PS5. And it worked. That's it. That's all I did. So. All right, let's go. One on your plus, guys. Last 10. Whether I clear... Whether I wipe, end of stream. So I hope the next hour will be a good one. Pal- uh, dungeons, dungeons, dungeons. I, I would suggest dungeons. Do, 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 do. Oh shit. That's not a good start. Oh, that's a good start, though. Oh, that's a bad start. All right, hold on. Oh, dear me. Whoa, Gordio! Gordo! Nice to five gifties, man. I'm black clenching, guys. Okay, they all went that way, thank god. Yeah, I don't have to use anything. I cannot fight these without steel. And for them to trap me in a big room is- Ouch! For them to trap me in a big room is pretty disgusting. In a, in a dead end, rather. Snip clip, thanks to follow up, man. Yo, Gordo, thanks so much for gifting those, those subs to the community. I really appreciate that, man. Hopefully, uh, that'll, uh... Give us some good vibes for this run, huh? I'm really tempted to use this strength, but I, I kind of don't want to use the strength until I pop the steel. What the fuck? Okay. Two flower traps here, which are the perfect pulls. But I kind of want to get ahead here because I want to make sure that I'll have a good shot to the exit. Okay. Snip, hey Snip, thanks for the Prime Gaming. I appreciate that, man. Yo, come in with the follow and right into the Prime Gaming. That's pretty awesome. Thank you so much for that. Appreciate it. Can you do the floor 60 boss without potions? Uh, yeah. 
Use a lot of max potions. Try to use a lot of max potions. And steal, steal. Make sure you steal. Ampor? You can do, um, oh, ar ar arm and arm. Yeah, yeah, do, do, uh, do 51 to 60 arm and armor grind until like maybe 70 or 80, and then you can start soloing. And to watch and be careful. Okay, I want to pull here. I need to watch the uh, patrol though. I guess that's a T-shaped room over there, because he went straight instead of at me. Oops. Okay. Still a blue key. Two mummies here, this is not the exit. But there is a chest here. Traps galore. Nice pickup, that's huge. Um Hey Luna. Welcome back. I will use them all. Exit is I don't know what the exit is. Let me see if it's this way. It is this way. Okay, it is this way. Okay. Um, I'm gonna pull this. I need to keep an eye on to see which way he goes, because I need to adjust if he goes in the other direction. We're good. Uh... Medicinal Mochi, thanks for the follow, welcome in. Yeah, and I'm not even gonna try, you know what I mean? Shit. Finally died! I mean, hey, at least you're happy. I mean, happy is cool. Uh, Master Perp, thanks for follow. Uh, to some extent, yes. Also, tough list. It kind of also depends on how many I've been killing up to this point. So, like, a lot of times I will navigate more than kill, but I've had to carve a path through to the rooms. So now my kill count is on, oh, what, five or six? So now I want to be somewhat closer to the exit and make sure that I clear up the exit before I kind of like look- oh shit, hold on. Don't do it. Okay. Uh, I want to kind of clear up the exit first before anything. I'm gonna wait. Nope, it lasts for this whole instance. Lasts for the whole instance. Rana, hello. Oh shit. Okay. Is there a two patrol? I think so. I don't know what the other one is though. I know there's two, I just don't know what the other one is. No, no, no. It, it'll survive through the instance. So your instance is 10 floors. So you use it on 50, you use it on 51, it'll last up until 60 in the assumption you don't die. So right now my raising, which I used on 191, will only last me up to 200. Well, not that there's any more floors, but that, you know. The raising I had on 181 would have lasted me all the way up to 190.
<laughs> yeah. Sometimes people forget. Like, legit, they just walk in, they, they just go, like, you know, game mode, and they forget. I've forgotten. But I try to make it a really big habit. That's, that's literally the first thing I do, is to make sure I get the raising up. This way you don't kind of have that happen. Alright, that's pretty good. I'd say that's about average. Nine and a half, uh, eight and a half minute floor. That's that's. I can't complain. In Palace of the Dead, I say it's more a little bit more linear. Heaven on High gets a little bit more jerky, um, but Palace of the Dead feels a little bit more linear. Yes, we got Corrigans. Very good. Gamble paid off, and I'm gonna do another one. That's the exit room too. We got four. And I have haste. Got our rage back! Well now we're looking real good. Strength, which I'm gonna use. Okay. Now I'm gonna use strength. We have a patrol coming in. And a lot of hippographs. I'm just gonna pull. I need to I need to steal for a lot of those over there. So it's a good thing we picked up this strength steal because I am definitely using it right now. Uh, he's gonna do gap closer sometime soon, so I just want to make sure I have the heals ready for it. Should be coming in now. There's another one coming. I think I will pull it. Alteration came back. Do you want to check these chests because I affluence? Can, uh, with steel on? Yeah, absolutely. With steel on? Yeah. Because you could run away from them. Uh, I mean, they only catch up to you with the gap closer, but you can totally keep them at bay. But with steel on, not without. Damage is going to be really high for that. There's no gold chests here. I'm just going to pull back. Pick up the gold chest here, and then we'll probably carve our way to the exits. That's fine. Notice they're using flights. You have some. Wait, I have some used flights. Hold on. I noticed you have you used some flights. Is there any particular set of flights that you like, use it on? Um, in the previous set, I used it for 184, 185, I think. And one of the main reasons was because I was rolling a steel, and I wanted to kick the steel and be able to utilize that steel to clear a floor. But a lot of times I'll use the flights uh, kind of midway. Because a lot of times the earlier floors are easier in general than the later. So like here for instance, I think I'd use the flight for like either 195 or 196 around there. Is when I want to plan to use the flight that I have. Oh wait, chest drop. So... Okay, yeah, it's fine. I mean, it's not fine, but it is what it is. Thanks for the follow. The House of Sob. Um, I think so, because you can still mitigate a lot of damage overall. I think it's okay, but... You probably want to try to avoid them. I, yeah, it's, it's that. Also, I kind of don't want to use the last purity right now. I would like to use the last purity if I need to start raging. Because I would not want to have purity, I would not want to have pox on with rage. So even if I had one, I just wouldn't want to, you know, preferably use it. Still not out of this floor though. Um, tough list, thanks for that follow. Appreciate it.
When is it good to use raising? When you're progging. So if you're if so like more than likely, especially with Palace, you should have three raisings for a majority of the you know 100 plus. But you basically want to use one when you're progging. Or if you're going for the title, your first you want to try to hold off on using it until 171. Because 171, it, you get it. You get one at 171. You get one 172. You get one 173. Uh, I'm sorry, 171, 181, 191. So you have three three rages for those for the insurance on those high floors. How rare is a mimic and mimic? It's rare, but I mean, it's you know, it can happen. I get it pretty often. I alter this, right? Yep. Gotta keep an eye on this uh, chorus because he's not walking straight. I'm gonna respect some heals because uh, I think the other one's coming in soon. I'm gonna do this. Uh, because I wanna try to get rid of as a lot of this floor. I want to try to get rid of a lot of this floor with my strength steel on. I'm kind of losing time here with all this damage. Uh, okay, I need to prioritize that. He was gonna jump. So maybe a chorus in a gloom is not too it's not that good of an idea. That thing was really chunking me. But granted I was taking a lot of damage to the face. I think I need to wind up a heal. There it is. I wanna get that chest. The dragon is proximity. The hippo is sound. Gotta get some more chests. Oh, buttons are hard. Okay. Last last week, by the way, we got to 193, so we're all already looking way better than we were last week, which I'm happy about, at least for now. Wow, got a rage from that chest. Okay, that's good. So now I really don't regret use like missing out on that that other one. Mm. One minute on strength. I'm gonna pull the hippo. Just get rages, forehead. If you wanna control if you wanna clear in a controller, just get rages. We still have to clear. <laughs> I still have to actually clear. First things first, we need to actually clear. Corgans, I got Corgans, I got Corgans. <laughs> Get lucky. Yeah. Oh, Midna! Aww. Am I really this late? Wait, what the hell? Am I really, like, awake so long that all the homies are coming to me now? The fuck? Yo, shout outs to Minna Baby. Dude, she is, like, one of the best healer, raiders, raider in general out there, guys. She's awesome. I'm sure a lot of you guys know Minna. Yo, what's up, Minna? Hello. Aw, it's really nice of you. Good to see you. Hope everything's okay. Because, you know, I usually catch you at, like, 4am, 5am, but hopefully your stream went okay. On your end. 
And nothing, 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 nothing crazy. But thank you for bringing your, your guys over. Hi, guys. Leon, good to see you, man. Jackie, Creech, Evo, Klevik, hello. Angela's Demon is reporting in. We are doing, on the last 10 floors, by the way, uh, Pals the Dead on a controller, which, uh... This is my fourth day on a controller, so um, I'm still kind of progging on a controller, but we're looking pretty good right now. But... Oh, okay. Oh, I hope you feel better. Damn, I hope you feel better. Yo, yo, right back at you, Leon. Leon, one of the one of the best raiders out there, man. The voice of 14. Raiding. Okay, I hope you feel better, Midna. Please get some rest, my friend. This raid song is so familiar, why am I not remembering it? This raid song? Oh, yes! It's a uh, 7 remake, mm-hmm. It's, um, it's High Five. That's the name of the song. It's the Cloud and Aerith uh, battle theme. Thanks, Cluster. Yeah, it's... It's appropriate It's appropriate for the situation of the part of the game. But yeah, it was, really, it was a really cool name. But it's such a good song. Dragons Ahoy. I'm gonna get hit here pretty hard. I will say, like, last week I was really uncomfortable on a controller. This week has been a huge change. Like, I feel really, really comfortable now. Like, I'm able to kind of more or less hit what I want to, which before I was so struggling. Actually, last week what happened was I was fighting one of the enemies and I... 100% gap close straight into an AoE. Like, there is an AoE and I just gap close right into it because I just hit the wrong button. Feels bad. Um, let's do this. I don't think really there's much else I can do here, so we'll go. Yeah, welcome in, guys. I hope you guys can stay. If not, I hope you have a wonderful night. Uh, this is the last bit of my stream, so either we wipe or we time out or we clear, whichever it is, that's the end of my stream, so. Probably get at least uh, at least 40 minutes of time remaining. Witching. I did an alteration here, and it is mimics. So I think what I want to do. Hmm, Serenity. What I think I want to do, I want to do the rage here. We'll do a single rage. So I do a rage that gets me to 95. I could do a double. I could do a double rage if I could. Hmm, interesting. I might actually chill a little bit and wait for, um... I might wait for my pox to get out here and then we can do the rage. Let me kill this first. Yeah, we're gonna do a- I'm gonna try to do a double rage here. Especially because I can kill this pretty easily. Double rage, what we say with a double rage... Is that we're gonna try to use a rage palmander and try to get two floors out of it. That's kind of the, the, the kind of goal there, to do to do two rage, so we call it a double rage. It can afford me two room clears, it could afford me a room and a half, but it's still gonna be pretty good. Hell. Triple double rage. Yeah, I could just go straight to the exit, but no, that's not that's not gonna work out. I gotta be very careful with how I use the rage. I definitely want to rage for 199. Period. I, I want to get into 199 and then rage, not double rage into it, um, because you know I could get no knockback, whatever. I don't want to do that. But we're still kind of early enough for me to afford a double rage. 30 minute bonus. E True. Hmm. I'm on aether though, pin. I cannot get a higher score in aether. Okay. So four mimics. I've killed one. I see one. <clears throat> I see one, two enemies over there. Probably three. We have to be very careful on this pull. Be very, very careful. This is how you deal with mimics in these type of rooms. You gotta let them come to you. They didn't even drop a chest. There's two- there's three enemies here. Alright, to the next floor.
Yeah, so if I have Pox on Torch, my HP doesn't come back up, and it's really, really risky if I start taking hits. Like, super- oh, fuck. That didn't work out. I have no knockback. I need to stay close. That's okay. I got through that floor, but I didn't get through the I didn't get through the double H, which is fine. I mean, that's that's just gonna happen. But it is what it is. Oh, I didn't mean to hit that button. Okay. I wanted to hit uh something else. Dead. Yeah, haste is gonna be nice. Actually, haste is not that. It's like it's really funny. Haste is nice, but not entirely because I am benefiting off the fact that I have um, a little bit of a slow G C D, so I can hit buttons properly. Because I'm still kind of you know getting my feel on the controller. So having faster G C D S means I need to actually think faster, <laughs> which is which is kind of funny. I'm not sure if that course will aggro. How does the 30 minute bonus work? It is basically just a singular bonus. You either do it in under 30 minutes or you do it in over 30 minutes. If you do it in under 30, you get bonus points, 15,000 points to your score. But it isn't practical after a certain point. Like, like here, it's just not practical, obviously. Well, hopefully that's obvious. Aramon. I would want an Aramon. Bernie Sa Bernie Sun? Thanks to follow. Mika, by the way, and and Scry, Mika, and Haru earlier. Thanks for those follows. Really appreciate that. Uh okay, a little bit of a problem. A little bit of a problem. The exit is not entirely clear. Rezo? A little too early for Rezo, um... I'd rather have the Rezo a little bit later. I mean, I could, but I can kill the dragon. The knight is blocking me, though. And it wouldn't be really any different than... Fortune came back. Dragon time? Dragon time! Because I will have more options to fight here. Like, I can fight the Wraith down there, I can fight the, the Dragon down there. Although, I do need to find a way to get past this exit here. So that is a question. And I wouldn't want to Rezo just for one enemy. I think they're still on top of the exit, though. Yeah, that knight is definitely on top. I'd have to steal for that knight. I'm trying to debate on how I want to handle it. If I do a strength steal now, then I can carry it into the next floor by doing a flight. So that gets me to 197. And 197 I can do 3 rezos of 197. And then I can do Rage Rage. Oh. So I guess I could fight these things then. I can clear this up and then we go. Yeah, 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 let's do that, let's do that. Okay, we'll do that. So we get through this floor, next floor, with the flights, and then we Rezo 197, and then we Rage Rage. That'll be the plan. That'll be the the play on the uh, on the on the book. But we'll see if it actually pans out that way. We'll see. We have to clear this whole thing up though.
What did I just use? Surecast? I didn't want Surecast. I wanted Lucid. Yo, thanks for the follow, I appreciate it. That is, um... Space Ninja! Thanks. Hippograph just spawned. Nice. Uh, do the next course. Queen, hello! Good to see you guys. We have a plan to victory today. I've never played on a controller. Technically, this is my fourth day on a controller. And we might actually get the clear, which would be... Hot! Be hot! Something something pals the dead being a little uh little little hype around these parts. So this will be really cool to get this clear. I'm gonna pull the knight next. And it is open. Get in, because it's gonna do a donut. Don't accidentally jump out. Have I done POTD with Dark Knight? I have. I haven't cleared yet, though. That's one hell of a hard job, but I haven't cleared yet. Uh, it's on my list. Not on my not on my short list, but it's on my list. I do like Dark. I do like Dark Knight and Heaven on High, though. Okay. No Palace of Dead. I have not. Heaven on High. I have, but not Palace of Dead. We're still hunting down clears and pals dead. Strength. Uh, that's not good. I'm just gonna fight him if he aggroes. Okay, good. No, I have not done in pals dead. That's why we're chasing certain jobs in here. How long does it take to learn the enemies? That's up to the that's up to the player. That's up to the player. Took me a while to memorize everything. I mean, a long time to memorize anything, honestly. But um, that is going to be up to the player. Okay, this is not great. I think I Serenity here. Yeah, I will Serenity here. This is just not great. Uh, I do have enough... Okay. <laughs> Yesterday I had luck to find a Mimic. I dropped the chest with another Mimic! That's your lucky day! It happens. I haven't had one in a little bit, but uh, yeah, that totally happens. I've, I've, my PB on that one is three. I've gotten three mimics back to back to back, and I've seen four before too, but not me. Yo, thanks for the follow, uh, Requius. Appreciate that, man. Is that a? That is not. Oh, that's the exit though. I need to clear the exit. It is flighted, so I want to clear the exit. I'm not gonna check the other chest, it's kind of unnecessary right now. Gotta get off the spore. Yep. Okay, two down. We get the third one down. I have the safety. Are all enemies in heavy immune? No, not a lot of them. I don't rem I don't remember what's immune here, but I would say like less th like. A lot of them are not immune, for sure, because that's what that's what Machinist has the benefit off of, to be able to put heavy on them. Oh, I'm out. Alright, so next floor. So now, the next floor, I want to rezo. Which is going to be the big test on controller, so we'll see how that goes. But I did rezo before, but this is going to be where I want to rezo here. Hmm. Blind. Safety. No abilities. Be careful. Got him. Before you before you did the tank bus, that's pretty good. Shit. It's gonna move.
Good. Did I get him? Good. Next. I li Dude, I like the res- oh shit, I like the Resident controller. I'm not complaining about the Resident controller. Kinda like it. Oh shit! Okay, well, I still have Shanks Seal on. I didn't- I, I got- I got so excited, forgot that it was gonna drop off. <laughs> like, oh yeah, that's a thing, it drops off. Just gotta get through this floor and then it's kind of... We're, we're there, that's it. This stuns, I know this one stuns. I think someone is asking, can you get the three shots before they come at you? Yeah, the question- the answer is yes. I'm gonna do two at once here. Thanks for the follow, by the way. Appreciate it. Uh, thanks. Appreciate it. This, I think, doesn't stun. Yep. He might can't. Okay. Oh, hey. Oh, we're done. Yo. Well, rezo, rezo, rezo complete. But what did I do? I did something bad. Hit the wrong button. Okay, let's go. Um. I don't need anything else, so we're just gonna go. I'm gonna skip on the chest earlier, and this is just now... I have I have two Serenities, I have two Ages, so... Haven't played 14 in, in a few days, gotten used for two days to go to Pyro Puma. I'm going, I'm absolutely hooked by gameplay, however. Went down maintenance for 12 hours! Damn. Alright, let's do a here. Let's do a here. And I have haste. Oh, don't worry, that's a high possibility, let me tell you. Don't worry! It can still happen. Nah, I think it's the same GCD. I think it's the same GCD. Alright, next floor. I didn't even have to surrender here. Controller clear! Well, not yet. I still have to get to the end. I could disconnect. Please, why the song? The song is great. What's wrong? You found on controller the worst in Rezo aiming from outside of the room stairs tight. Oh. The staircase. I guess it's just level it out. Uh, exit is this way. Oh, auto heal is disabled. Oh, forget it. I'm just gonna surrender. Uh... Hey, yo, Anna, thanks for the, thanks for the, thanks for the tier one. Damn, I appreciate that, man. Thank you so much. I haven't looked at the exit yet. Uh, okay, well. That's a nice chill clear. I mean, you pick up two rages, that does have, what the frick? Oh my god, Oblivion. Holy crap, dude. Thanks for the 25, hello? Let's go. Thank you so much. Oh, dude, Oblivion, holy hell, dude. Thank you so much for that, man. Thank you, thank you. Let's go. Oh, I need to kill the music. Kill the music! What's playing? Oh, good old uh, Keeper of the Lake. Keeper of the Lake. Oh, let's respect content. I'll respect content, guys. I'll respect content. Controller run completes. It, I, I definitely will say I got I got way comfortable on controller. Like after after last week, guys, this week was so much more more comfortable. I don't know if it's showcased on the gameplay, but I did not complain as much. I just it just got so much Congrats better. On the controller hey, and clear. Aw, thanks, Arash. Hey guys, thanks for the hype chain. Yo, we did it. We're back. We're back at the bench. It's been a while. I I, I have been in the bench for a while, but uh. We got, we're back on the bench. How many points did you How many kills? No. It's pretty RNG. I really don't think there's a way to figure it out, but it is pretty RNG, so... 
Quarter hundred is sick. This is the best place. This is the best looking place in all of all of Final Fantasy fourteen, guys. Hell yeah. I'll get my uh. I don't know how to sit on a controller, so I'm just gonna have to use my keyboard. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how to screenshot on a controller either, so we have to deal with my keyboard. Hey, sit back and relax. Cheated. Oh my god. Oh my god. Yo, thanks for those follows, guys. I appreciate it. Oh, let's see the score. What we actually want to find out is I don't get a high score. Because if I get a high score, I'm going to be very sad because it kills my, uh, kills my thing. Good. I actually, close. I have a... My, my score on the leaderboard right now is one that is back in 2019, and it's kind of important, so it's a good thing I didn't beat the score. Um... Start. Oh, I have to go into menus? No, that's too complicated, dude. Fuck that. <laughs> Fuck going to menus. Hey, we did it again, guys. That's uh, number 17 in the books. But on a controller! On a controller! We did it on a controller! Yeah, that was fun. So, I hope uh, that'll help people who are on a controller. This will. I'm totally uploading this to YouTube. Um, but... <clears throat> to throw the score. No, I already threw the score by not checking in on the stuff. That was a fun experience, guys. I... You know... Last week, when we first did controller, my first day and my second day in controller, I was it was really awkward. Again, I don't know how it came off to you guys, if any of you watching, but I was really uncomfortable. Like I was, I was just like fumbling the buttons. I wanted to get here, but then all the buttons are weird. But I made some adjustments. I I organized my keybinds a little bit more with with how that experience came in, and this felt way smoother. Like this was really fun. Um, like, I would definitely say if I had to do a controller run again, I may not be opposed to it. Like, maybe we do Machinist or something, but that'll be like... I, I want to go back home to my keyboard, not gonna lie. Um, but yeah, that finishes uh, that finishes controller, controller, Red Mage, and the first controller clear, so that's really cool. So, what's my artifact count? Uh, 222. 222. We are almost at the, the desired number of, what is it? Uh, 255, I think, right? Almost there. Actually, less. I need um 230 because I already exchanged one of my weapons. So I actually ate more than I'm capped. Um, but yeah, guys, thanks for the hype train. Thanks for being here. Thanks for watching. So let's let's do the let's do the outro, shall we? Socials. Yo, Discord is popping. If you wanna if you wanna do Discord and talk a lot of deep dungeon, come on down. Twitter, we're gonna have to go live. YouTube, uh, you're gonna expect a new video soon. I have a potsherd video, which is this one. I just made one to kind of talk about how to farm potsherds in POTD. We're going to have one for Heaven on High coming in the next two days. So if you want to, you know, keep track of it, I'm working on it. It's very close to being finished. It'll kind of give the lowdown on how to do potsherds in Heaven on High. You got it. And I'm actually thinking about a couple more YouTube stuff, so. Um, sign the controller and sell it on eBay. <laughs> no, dude, I need, I need to play PS5 with this controller. I can't do that. Um, Tuesday, oh, okay, so next stream, Tuesday and Thursday, 9pm Eastern, we're actually doing something a little different, a little special. I'm going to take my crystal character, and I'm gonna nuke the arm and armor. We're gonna nuke it down to 9, and maybe if I can nuke it down to 1. We're going to spend two days, essentially speedrunning how to farm your arm and armor. So we had a couple people asking, how do you get arm and armor? Well, we're just gonna do it on stream, and we'll see how fast we do it. So I'm gonna do that Tuesday, Thursday. And then uh, that might actually set me up for another clear attempt somehow, some way. And then Thursday, and then Friday, Sunday, I'll see. We'll probably still be back in Palace, but I'm not sure what job I'll do. So we'll see what happens, but that's going to come up. So that's what you got coming up, guys. Um, yeah, it'll, it'll just be, it'll be what I think is a good idea. I'm not going to suggest it's the best idea, but I think what I want to do, which would be really cool, is just that we'll have, I'm going to have one of my speedrun splits up, and we're just going to set a timer. And we're going to see how long it takes with the timer. Like, you're going to see the timer live. How long is it taking me? And that might give a good perspective for everyone how long it takes to get arm and armor, at least in one method. And then you can do, do comparisons after that. So we're going to do that. So, um, I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. going to do with the, uh, the crystal one. It's on crystal, so I don't really care. <laughs> I don't care. Guys, thank you for that hype train. Dude, yo, Oblivion, thank you for the 25. I appreciate it, guys. So let's go say hello to someone. Oh. Well, let's go say hello to someone. Um, let's see what we got. Uh, do, 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 do. See if someone is new. Um, 
I, I, I looked at, uh, I just looked at, uh, Asmins and they said he died, so that's not good. Um, you guys, I mean, you guys know him, so I don't, I don't, I don't want to, I don't want to raid him. Um, I, I mean, I respect him, but let's, let's say hello to someone that, um, is a little bit down here. Oh, yeah, it's just, yeah. Um, it's a late Sunday night. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Oh! Um, I know who I can check out. I haven't actually raided them in a little bit, but we can go check them out. They've been around the block for a little bit. They're, they're V2, but they're pretty cool. Their name is, uh, Rinisaurus. I raided them a long time ago, but they're really kind. Um, if you haven't checked them out, they're really, really cool. They do a couple of variety, but they've been on 14 for a little bit, and, um, they've been around the block. So, oh, their partner anniversary is in 8 days. Cool. So let's go raid, uh, Rini. Uh, she'll give you a good time if you guys want to continue watching some, uh, some, uh, some FF14. So, guys, thank you for being here, um, and I hope I catch you guys, uh, Tuesday for the next, uh, the next stream. Guys, if you have my animated emotes, if I have my own animated emotes, dude, I don't understand why Twitch sometimes is like, you have animated emotes? Oh, I never knew that. If you have my animated emotes, yo, copy-paste that in, in her shop. Really appreciate it. Thanks for being here. Thanks for, thanks for witnessing that clear, guys. That was really fun. Um... I'm glad I can show it, showcase it to you guys, and anyone working on their own runs, please let me know. Join the Discord. Let's talk. Let's have some. Uh, let's have some parties, and good luck to everyone out there doing their runs. Um, you know, I, I I really would like everyone to feel like they can do it. That was part of what this controller run is all about. I think I achieved it. Hopefully, I hope so. We'll see what happens in the in the future. So, all right, Luna, you said it in Twitch chat. That means it's official. Good night, guys. Let's go. Uh, let's go raid Weenie. Have a good one. See you guys.